the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start a Eight minutes past the hour. Welcome into the Rick and Bubba Show. It's the kickoff hour. We start a brand new week together, and we thank you so much for taking time to be with us. The number is 866-WE-BE-BIG. And uh, getting uh, great feedback from this past weekend's RBU with uh, Lee Habib and uh, the uh, Our America Stories, uh, American Stories. He's the host and founder of Our American Stories. What a great conversation with Lee. And uh, we, we call him our new friend now. Uh, and so that's what we do with a lot of folks. Great feedback. If you have not watched or listened to that, it's out. Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Let's bring everybody in. Over on my left, my left is Mr. Greg Burgess. To my right, it is Michael Helms. What's up, boys? How are y'all? Boys. What's hey. a happening? I wanna, Back again. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to, uh, listener, uh, audience member, whatever you want to say, Mr. Reed, and I think his first name was Corey. I'm horrible with names. Okay. Came out. So what's funny is, so we played Arkansas State in Jonesboro, Arkansas. I, I have, I don't think I've ever been to Jonesboro. Hmm. Have y'all? No, no, not a whole lot there. I feel like it's uh, there's a lot of a lot of flat land once you get up there, and I forgot about that. Forgot how flat it is uh, in, in Arkansas. I've never been. I don't even know if I've ever been to Arkansas. And so, um, <laughs> we get through with the match. We think. play. We play at Jonesboro Country Club. Um, right there in Jonesboro sounds, because they have indoor courts. Sounds nice. And a, a gentleman, and I, and I think it's Corey. It's either Corey, Chris, or Chad. What? I know it started with a C. Those don't even – Corey, I know, Chris, or Chad. But I know it started with a C, and his last name was Reed. Okay. By the way, he's got a really nice What truck. about Mr. Reed? You know that. I do. Right? It's oh, Mr. Reed. Reed. What's up, Reed? <laughs> oh, Reed. And so uh, he actually was playing golf next door at the club. Yeah. His club, which we were playing at, uh-huh. and he saw our van, and he remembered hearing that we were playing, and he was like, "Surely they're not playing here. They're why are they not outside?" Kind uh-huh. of thing, and uh, stuck around, watched a little bit of the match, and then we had a nice chat after um, after the match. I mean, we spent the girls will shower and all that, and they, you know, how women are, they'll take way longer than they need to, mm-hmm. and so we had a good probably thirty minutes, and just he run he he does something with cotton gins. Oh, uh, okay. Had a really nice truck, too. Really liked his truck. Must do well with um, you. How'd he play? I don't know. I didn't ask him how he played. <laughs> was he in a good but, mood? Uh, he, he was or in a very good mood. He probably yeah. played pretty good. Yeah, he was in a very good mood. But he's been listening to the show forever. Wow. And, Mr. Uh, Reed, thank you. It was just nice to be able to have you, have Corey. that conversation Chad, with him. Chad or something. Chris? And uh, I, I want to say it was Corey, but I don't, that, may, that may be so easy that I'm, I'm missing it. Um, anyway, so I enjoyed talking to him. That's the only reason I brought that up. I just enjoyed talking to him. That's awesome. I felt like I felt like we would if I lived in the area, we'd probably play golf together, mm-hmm. hang out oh, a little bit, you that know kind you of would. thing. Yeah. Did, how um, did he get your attention? Was it a stay in it or was it a Michael? No, he didn't do or he, bullet hat. He didn't do any of that. Nothing. nothing. Um, okay. By the way, did I tell y'all about the um, the stay in it from from uh, was it Leeds? Yeah. Leeds, I did the tell bus, you about that. The where line. they all in sync, in sync said, yeah. uh, <laughs> then there was a group that said that that screamed the day before, two days before, uh, screamed Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe that's what I was thinking. And then, like two days later, uh, it was the best stay in it I've heard from oh, a yeah. group of okay. people. Oh, uh, and I want to say it was Leeds. I really hope it wasn't Moody. And Does I'm this giving, have to do with the basketball. I think it's Le- yeah. Okay, it yeah. it's Chris or Corey. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we went from Jones, Arkansas, uh, Jonesboro, sure. Arkansas to Memphis, Memphis to play Central Arkansas mm-hmm. at this new Leftwich Tennis Center. Nicest place I've ever been in as far as tennis goes. It's probably really <laughs> probably the nicest place I've ever been in, period. But uh, crazy. 12 indoor courts, 24 outdoor courts, brand new, phenomenal. Hmm. Memphis has got it right Memphis there. So we played tennis. We played Central Arkansas there, and then we made the long track back. And I did one of those things where I drive my ha- <laughs> drive by my house, <laughs> only drop the girls off to come back. But it wasn't that bad. It was nine o'clock last night when I got okay. home. Okay, eight fifty. Yeah, eight fifty. But it, I, it does hurt to pass your exit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that that's extreme there. Uh, I mean, but I've done it just not an hour and a half, two hours like you just did. Uh, but, you know, if, if it's just 20 minutes, it just hurts. I'll be it's honest. Like, there it is Your body's right trying to pull you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The graduate <clears throat> assistant can drive the vans, and I don't know 
I don't know why I did. I thought I didn't think we went that way. I don't know why. I, yeah. didn't, I guess I didn't know that. That's to your point. I've never been to Arkansas. Yeah, like yeah. It, since I was, you know, an adult. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember asking you. I guess it was Thursday. Yeah. What, hey, what's your plan? Uh, yeah. Please tell me you're not. I haven't I said. I said, please tell me you're not having to go all the way to yeah. Jack State. And yeah. you were like, yeah. Yeah, you I'll knew be, exactly where it was. You, uh, oh, man. So, yeah. yeah. And and I really needed to do something <clears throat> that I could. I wanted to be able to take the day off and not worry about that from there. And so I really did need to do something last night when I got in real quick yeah. before. And, and I don't know. It was Get it done. Cause you poor gotta, planning on my part, but, it, you know. Whatever. Well, but it I is it. what it is. I get it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, because you're going to have to go over there anyway. Yeah. So it's either today or, or I like Jones. I night. liked Jonesboro, Arkansas. Did you? Yeah. Kind of like it's like kind of like my town. I know you said you there. played inside, but yeah, the weather, weather was weather nice. Was nice. Okay. Well, early a lot of wind. Yeah. A lot of wind. I mean, a lot of wind, and it was chilly early when we were playing. So that had a little bit to do with the decision. And a lot of times you make these decisions way ahead of time, mm-hmm. and you just it is what it is. Yeah. Because they've got, you know, when you you've got an indoor facility, you want your fans to be comfortable, right. and they had a big big crowd, which was fun. Yeah. Just you know, when you're a part of something like that, it's fun. That's so. good. That's good. We're glad good. you made it back. Yeah. Everybody's safe. Long day. Yeah. Long weekend. But um, hey, su- Saturday, if you if you were outside, hey hey, the wind, the wind, tough. the Ooh. wind. Uh, J C had a double header. And um, a lot it was, of wind. hey, the wind. <laughs> hey, can I let me just say wind, okay? And it was one of those days where you thought, oh, well, that's, oh, that's a gust, and it it was just playing with you. And it's like the wind said, no, I got more, and I'm gonna be here all day. Oh, yeah. And so if you're out in it, by the time I guess five o'clock We're rolled around, thirty mile an hour at, at some. Point. Oh, you know, yeah, for sure. And uh, up in Huntsville, it was blowing, and and bless the, the some of the parents' heart, they. They had a big double header, and a lot of times at at uh, UAH, the parents will go on down and just do a little tailgating. And uh, <laughs> they had weighed the tent down as best they could. Tents don't do well. They don't stuff. do well. Now it was it was tattered and 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 torn, but it it survived. But it was blowing so hard. If you got up out of your your just your chair, your ballpark chair, yeah, the blow. chair would go rolling. Yeah, and and it's just and and you know the little. Uh, the the chair covers that we all fight to put the chair back mm-hmm. in. Um, if if that came off, it would fly off like a kite, and and people just running down the field chasing it. It was insane, man. I I, I kept going back to the car, getting more jackets. I had a t- <laughs> I was staying, uh, and so I like you know I, I'm the only one in my truck, and I'm just gonna throw half my closet back there because you never know. I went back and got a vest. I went back and got a jacket. It. I went back and got a heavier jacket. At least you had it. I looked like the marshmallow man. I couldn't hardly even bend my arms. I got out to run Saturday morning, Ooh. and it was funny. I would run down the driveway. The wind would be against me, and it was horrible. <laughs> then when on my way back, it would blow me nearly to the house. <laughs> I'd be, whoo, and it was, it, so I, I would fight it down, and yeah. it, it helped me on the way. It really made a difference. I could tell the difference. I bet. I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. You take three steps, you're back to the house. Yes, yeah, it blew me back towards the house. What was it? Kind of those those runs against the rent wind, like we used to do around the corner. Oh, they're horrible. And and you you don't feel like you're making any yeah, progress. Uh, I know it's like you're running in place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was gusting. Oh, it was. Oh, what a great crying. weekend, though. And we're back together again. We'll recap some more. Look at the stories of the day. And Rick, Bubba, Adler, all join us right after top of the hour. Don't go anywhere. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, the IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's up to the new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Tax Network USA has war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. Tax Network USA learned of a limited-time offer, an IRS offer. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty-canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit TNUSA.com. 
HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. Winter weather has a way of making you crave comfort food, so HelloFresh is here to help you do the chilly season right. Check out their largest menu yet that has something for everyone, including meals that are quicker than restaurant delivery and 25% cheaper than takeout. Join today and get free breakfast for the life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box with active subscription with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors button. You may disagree, but look, things aren't as dismal as they seem. There is a point, your family, their future, your future, you all deserve a chance. You all deserve protection. Turn to self-reliance with My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply has helped millions of American families prepare for the uncertain future. Right now, you can get each four-week food kit for $60 off. You also get free shipping. Protect yourself. Protect your people. Once again, this deal is $60 off your four-week food kit at preparewithbubba.com. Resolving to eat healthier this year was easy. Actually doing it, not so easy. Well, Field of Greens is our healthy super fruit and vegetable habit in my house. Each super fruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you resolve to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. Get 15% off your first order with free rush shipping at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba or go to rickandbubba.com. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth. And folks, I couldn't agree more. If you're dealing with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor, a daily drug-free supplement developed by doctors. It's not just a pill that masks pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that work together to help reduce or eliminate pain. Try their three-week quick start kit for only nineteen. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. The best thing to bring with me wherever I go, my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands with noise isolation, three customizable sound profiles, and a 32-hour battery life. They're perfect for listening to anything, anytime. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Get 20% all plus free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash Bubba or find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. Debt keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap, Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They can find programs to write off your balances. They find every solution possible to end your debt. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit zapmydebt.com. That's zapmydebt.com. Hey, folks, when you love someone, you protect them the best way you can. That's why we recommend home security from simplysafebubba.com. Simply Safe is an advanced system that protects every inch of your home. Plus, it's backed by 24 7 with professional monitoring for fast emergency response for less than $1 a day. Order now and get 20% off any new Simply Safe system with fast protect monitoring. Monitoring. Visit simplysafebubba.com. That's simplysafebubba.com or find a link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like Simply Safe. When was the last time you checked your home's title? Is it still in your name? Fox News reported on a growing, devastating crime called house stealing. The titles to all our homes are easily found online. A criminal, a renter, or even a family member simply forges your signature on a home cell form and refiles as the new owner. Bam! Your home is not in your name. Has some criminal taken over your title? Find out with a free comprehensive scan of your home's title and 30 days of legendary home title lock protection when you go to hometitlelock.com and use the promo code Bubba. You know how you go into stores and the towels can feel super soft, but then when you get home, they don't dry you? Not my towels from my pillow. They're really soft, but they really work too. What a concept. They're made with a special ring spun cotton, making them softer and more absorbent than other towels that are out there. Get a six piece set for an introductory sale price of $29.98 and you get the designer premium premium line for just $20 more. Either way, you save 50% right now on all my towels. So head to MyPillow.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't stop. Day without him, bro. 
Uh, okay, 22 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show. Greg, during the break, brought up something, and I wanted to talk to y'all about it because I think my mom put it best. She said, son, when your boys have sports, you're kind of out of the loop on sports that are going on. And I know, Helmsy, you coaching it has to be the same way where you're in a sports atmosphere, but yet as far as the sports of the weekend, uh, I have no do clue you, of you know what, what hap- it happened. Do you know what I'm trying to do now that I have not done in years and years? And that's just simply watch Sports Center one time a day. Uh huh. I, I, ha- I have not you. done that, it'll but I'm trying you. to do this. Yeah, it, it'll I know that you. seems weird to, to say, but that's I used to do that all the time. No, I, have, I think about it, I haven't either. In years, I've not just sat down and thought, well, hey, I'll tell you what, I've got to catch you. Sports Center before. They'll give you everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah they will. So I've started doing that. Starting, I'll, I'll do that more because mm-hmm. that's how I keep up with baseball. Yeah. I, can't, I can't watch yeah, nine yeah, innings yeah. of baseball. I just right. can't. But. Right. Uh, but you brought up NASCAR, and and yeah. I'm trying I, I, to give my NASCAR more. This okay, year. Uh, yeah, and and I had made that commitment, and of course missed the second weekend. But you you're, Guys, you filled us in, and it was you said it was exciting in Atlanta. Okay, let me say this: uh, Daniel Suarez won, uh-huh. and it was him, Ryan Blaney, and Kyle Busch all side by side going to the line. He won by zero point zero zero three seconds. That's how close it was. Could you fit an index card? In yeah, between? absolutely. <laughs> it was just like I don't know how they. I mean, you look. And and I, they were right, but I mean, when it happened live, you had no idea who won. It, it was uh, one of those we got to go back and look. And they read. I mean, not that wrecks are great, but I and I didn't. So I picked it up with about thirty to go. But they, claim, I think they wrecked on the first lap, and they were just wrecking. But people, it was good racing. They were in yeah. and out and yeah. passing, and and it was really it was really fun. But an unbelievable finish. I mean, that's close. Came down to the very the very last lap. They come out everything and turn, turn four, and they were side uh, three wide. And they went all the way to the line, and as a drag race. But, yeah, it was good. Them. It was good. So, so I asked you an Atlanta question. As far as that's too. only his second race. He won a road course, and this is the only second race he's ever won. Um, wow. I'd ask you. Spectrum, so, so do they still? St- I know they don't probably draft like at Talladega or Daytona, but uh, have they, they because of the change of the, the change yeah. of the cars? Do they somewhat stay together? Because it did. used to be that. For, People would run off and leave oh, you, yeah. and it would be like a single cars, and you're like, "Oh, he's six laps ahead," and you're like, "Well, this is." We're, we're doing the fa- the what are they stages call them? stages now. Yeah. The yeah. stages help okay. with all that. Yeah, but I but the part I saw, and I saw about thirty to go, they were passing. In fact, there were a lot of wrecks because there were a lot of people trying to pass. I mean, <laughs> they would get to try to stick the nose in a place it didn't go mm. and didn't quite fit, and uh, and I, I still don't know who half these drivers are. I'm trying yeah. to get you know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that special kind of helps a little bit. I'm, I, I've got to get back into it. I just this past weekend, I had, I had, I had ambitions of of just watching some things during the downtime. But then I realized I didn't have any downtime. When I watched the net, Netflix special, mm. I thought, yeah, this is pretty cool. And it gave me a kind of a background on some of the younger guys. I really didn't know who yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, I need to get into you know, that. Again. So that helped, and I'm trying to do that because I mean, there's a whole flock of them now yeah. that I, I don't. I mean, Ross Chastain sticks out because remember he went around the wall like a video game, <laughs> yeah. and he slams a watermelon every time he wins. <laughs> <laughs> they brought Suarez a pinata, okay, a, a taco shaped pinata, and he busted it at the <laughs> at the start finish line where he was doing his interview. So, <laughs> Have you so ever had a pinata? It's hard to bust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hard. You to know, bust. It, they yeah. never crack as easy as yeah. you want them to. Yeah. yeah. Usually, have to end up reaching in there and ripping it open for the kid. Yeah. Whenever. Um, Whenever I hear that, I think of Mickey Dean's great story, uh, yeah. G- Granny Maybell. That's funny. I've played that before. Yeah, many times. One. Many times. Good night. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm trying to give – I'm going to try to give baseball more this year. <laughs> I say that every year. <clears throat> and then I'm going to try to I'll, – I'll fade on that. Well, you did though. some landscaping, I know. I had to dig up all the bushes that the dogs have either peed on and they're <laughs> half dead or they're all dead. Just a total redo. I, just, I dug everything up. Mm. And a lot of it don't want to come up. No. No, not like you wanted. I to. asked him if he uh, if he tied uh, a towing rope to his uh, tailgate. Um, I've done that before with these trailer are... trailer hitch and pulled a couple out. And but you said they I, weren't I like they weren't the that show. big. Nah, they no. weren't that big. But like I said, it finally you know Lisa just looks at this is ridiculous, you know, and her sister and husband who are always doing things for us, and I, I really owe them. They've come out and put some uh, shrubs out the other day to get it started. Pat they and Perry. did. So I want to thank Pat and Perry for doing that. <laughs> And then Lisa said, well, we need to rip the rest of this out and start over. 
I said, oh, okay. So Pat and Perry, they just show up yeah, and, and plant things. They just they like to do. do they that. need? Well, they. What about my address? If I <laughs> you give it to them, for real? Would they just show up at my house? What kind? And they just, and we're they, low on mulch as well. They do. Then maybe yeah. I can talk to Perry yeah. about that. What yeah. kind people? That, yeah. Definitely. I mean, normally if somebody brings you something, they're like, "Hey, here it is," and then you put it in. I know. You mean to tell me they're full service? They bring you gifts and put it in. They put about six. I got to. I got to say, did they bring their own shovel or did they borrow yours? Oh yeah. They even come with shovels. Prepared. They come Prepared with shovel. Oh yeah, the shrubbery delivery service, yeah. and they and they put basically it in. they know Greg, you're such a loser on this. <laughs> We're tired of looking at it, and you know that's my baby to sister. Who? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, they're tired of looking. Did at they it. come to from Lisa's request, or they just show up in, with a no, gift? No, they just showed up. Really? Yeah. So well, that I, made me go. Well, we got to do something about the rest of it now. That I got to admit, I don't know any people like that. I yeah, don't either. I that know. what kind of people? They really are. And I, that's just one thing. They, now, help, they now, help with all kinds of things. Is they she help the paint one? cabinets? Is that who she went in with? Um, to, yeah, her, for, for the little. Yeah, um, they do the booth. Yeah, the little booth. Her sister Pat. Where is their booth? It's at Main Helmsy. Street South, Helmsy. Piedmont. It's really nice, by the way. <laughs> You need to go down there. They they fix the place. They have. Oh, it's super nice. Place. What booth number? I only are get they? to go now. That I don't know, but it's <laughs> it's in there, in Forest Hill Homes, and it's under that. And the only time I get to go is when something needs to be delivered right, or yeah. taken out. Because the if service. I'm there, then I just start griping <laughs> because Lisa's got OCD and she goes in there and she'll move stuff. And she, you know, like okay, on the yeah. shelf so you here. just you drop and it. And I'll go. That's fine. And then also look later, she's moved it over here. So I'm ready to go. So the only time I go to Main Street South in Piedmont <laughs> is to either deliver stuff or take stuff out. Right. So I, you're the muscle. That's it. Hired but from you, the neck you down. You don't know the uh, the booth number. You just know how to. I get I don't think there. it has a number. I think they just okay. Forest Hills home home. <laughs> and uh, and and no Perry helps you with that too. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me some stories about the two of you oh, hauling yeah. stuff in. Oh, we we, we <laughs> picked up so much furniture, <laughs> and we both have the same attitude about it. <laughs> no, they're great people. So they, they show they have, up, but they I'm did. still can't get I past can't it. They forced they me into having to, to do something <laughs> which needed to be done. So you mean the last time they were over, things looked so poor that they said, "Hey, you know, we need to well, go get." Well, I some had stuff. already pulled up a bunch in the front, and they were like, "We can replace that." But I, I just how long ago had you pulled it up? Uh, it's been a while, but <laughs> but I'll like give say, you my address. I, I got to looking at bushes that the, the dogs peeing on the bushes. Yeah, that, it'll good. kill them. Yeah. yeah. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Like everyone else, I'm always on the go. And you know what's the best thing to bring with me wherever I go? My Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands. Their optimized gel tips are designed to fit comfortably in your ears and to actually stay there, whether you're working out at the gym or just doing chores around the house. My Raycons come with me everywhere so I can listen at any time. With eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, I don't have to worry about whether they're up for the task. Raycons also come with three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode, so they're perfect for listening to anything. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews right now. Get 20% off your Raycon order, plus free shipping, when you go to buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash bubba. You can also find that link by just simply going to rickandbubba.com and looking under the sponsors. But if you owe back taxes, fair warning, you're not going to like this. The IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's over to the 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Why the IRS targets you and not millionaires? Because millionaires have tax lawyers you don't. You'll pay up plus interest and penalties. You need Tax Network USA, and you need them now. Tax Network USA has brilliant war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly and in your favor, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to deal with and who to avoid. It's not all bad news, folks, because Tax Network USA learned of a special limited-time IRS offer. They're willing to waive $1 billion in penalties if you qualify. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000. That's 1-800-245-6000. Or visit 
Visit TNUSA.com slash Bubba today. TNUSA.com slash Bubba. You also can find the number and website at RickandBubba.com. Just look under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order, and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. Resolving to eat healthier this year? That was easy. Actually doing it? Not so easy. That's where Field of Greens comes in. Better nutrition is a key to health and longevity, and a healthy diet could even help you avoid health risks that run in your family. Field of Greens is your healthy superfruit and vegetable habit. It's the only fruit and vegetable product that literally promises better health at your next checkup. Your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Do your vitamins or green drinks promise better health? No. I love this stuff and definitely feel healthier taking it. Each superfruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you're resolved to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. And we got you a 15% off first order with free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba for 15% off. Or go to rickandbubba.com. Find the link under sponsors. Cold winter mornings are perfect for staying under the cover and having breakfast in bed. HelloFresh supports that dream because they're giving away one free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery for life. That means while you are a HelloFresh subscriber, not only will you enjoy the pick of the tasty dinner recipes they're known for, you'll also enjoy breakfast for free. HelloFresh actually has you covered for every mealtime occasion with a delicious array of quick lunches, sides, snacks, apps, dessert, and more. And not only does HelloFresh help you cut back on extra trips to the grocery store, but their pre portioned ingredients help eliminate excess food waste. This new year, make eating better and saving money a priority and make it easy with America's number one meal kit. Join HelloFresh today and get free breakfast for life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box while subscription is active with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick All right, 25 minutes until top of the hour. 866 We Be Big is our number. Uh, we thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, each and every day. We don't take that lightly, but if you'd like to call, uh, here we've picked up, uh, I think we'll all agree, we don't just say the number. We're actually looking over, and if you holler at us uh, and we got a second, we'll answer some phones. Uh, we'll either dedicate or a not. segment to it or uh, or we'll uh, let you chime in. So it's 866-WE-BE-BIG. We start a brand-new week together. Uh, if you have not watched or listened to RBU this past weekend, Lee Habib with the Our American uh, Stories, uh, he is a – a great guest, uh, host and founder of Our American Stories. A lot of you have already been familiar with his radio program or podcast. If not, uh, let us introduce you to him, uh, Lee Habib, our guest this past weekend on RBU. So we're sitting here looking at uh, the past weekends on individually what all we did. Uh, Helmsy had uh, the Lady Gamecocks. They uh, headed out to Arkansas, then Memphis. Uh, Greg spent time uh, working on landscaping around the house and pulling up shrubbery. Uh, which is always fun. Out. It's always fun. How about that shovel? That's a good one. Stuff, you, you you hit that root and you think you got it, and then you yeah. try and it won't let oh, go. Oh, I know, I know. I and got and my back sore. Yeah, and uh, when you dig around this our new house, um, they just scraped, uh, you know, and and made, <laughs> and 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 kind of uh, landscaped the property. So if you dig, you hitting rocks and stuff, oh, yeah, and good that. night, you get your chisel out because if you need anything. 
is you're hitting a rock and it takes an hour just to dig a hole. Uh, but hopefully it was a little better for you. You're yeah. digging that up and getting ready I feel for like it. getting rid of some of them dead bushes. Well, the dogs so what really what we're looking at is that you pulled some stuff up and and didn't get it fixed quick enough. So Perry shows up with what he need, what you need. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Bail me out again. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. Yeah. All right. Uh, this Cam Newton story is a weird one. Uh, there's a story that's on Daily Mail, and uh, and it also hit social media over the weekend on what appears to be uh, former uh, Panthers quarterback Cam Newton involved in a in what they're saying is a nasty brawl of a group of men. The video clips that that show uh, what happened flooded social media over uh, the last few days. It shows uh, Cam, who's by the way thirty four now, fighting off several attackers with punches being thrown before staff and security intervene. Uh, in in the footage, a man said to be Cam, and it is Cam because he's got one of these. Hats on with his hair you know, coming out the top. He started wearing those hats. Things I don't are going know. Down here. And it's very obvious it's Cam because he's the of the a very he's large six, man. Six, yeah. He's a huge man. He is. He attempts to um, fend off a number of men. One who swings a punch uh, in in uh, Cam's direction, and and he gets blindsided, and it's like he was almost ambushed or something. But um, they were at a seven on seven football tournament at some um, academy uh, facility there in Georgia. And um, he was attending it because uh, his organization uh, or foundation is the one that hosts a lot of these seven-on-seven football tournaments across the country. And so he was there as part of that. And they're not really sure what happened that created the argument, but a couple of men uh, come up uh, out of nowhere and um, – start attacking Cam. And so he's trying to get rid of them, and they get to slinging each other around. And Cam does a pretty decent job so of at least his own? not going to the ground. Uh, and then you see a bunch of uh, guys in hoodie, guys in hoodies so. with event staff logos on them. Uh, they get over there and try to break it up. But it's just a bizarre video. Now, now correct me if I'm wrong. I can't wrong. play it because there is cussing all in oh, it. People, people, correct me if I'm wrong. It was years ago. We did a story on him at a seven on seven that he was sponsoring, and remember mm-hmm. that kid was talking trash to him. I do calling him out, that. saying yeah. about him playing the that. NFL because yeah. he was still yeah. in the NFL at that time. Right, and the kid was talking junk. So these seven on seven things, Cam has a little bit of trouble out of him every now and then. So I, I guess like. so. I and guess plus, so. don't show up with that hat on like a pilgrim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is, uh, there's, there is. <laughs> there is one shot of him, and you can see his hair comes out the top yeah, like a pl- no. like it's a plant, <laughs> and it's it, it's it, and it's in <laughs> one of the guys look, in the brawl look. has see the silhouette of a it. trash picker upper, one of those. What if you squeeze? Yes, and he drops it in the middle of the skirmish. Oh, I'd be I a good know, weapon. I don't know why. I think he, he accidentally gra- drops it. What if he grabbed Cameron and throws it? Or it's knocked it? out of his mm. hand. But you can, you see what? it flying. So he's over there picking up trash and gets in the brawl. Evidently. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like, you know, because the tents were set up, Can, uh, it looked know. like it might have appeared to have been, since he was organizing the deal and, and sponsoring it and his foundation put it on, that maybe it was at the tent where you, everybody was signing up or hanging out. What, what and, makes and you want to fight? At a seven on seven. I, I look, here I am because it says it's not clear what started it. Now, on the social media links, you can read the comments and everybody thinks they know, but it, I bet you it was some disgruntled parents or, or coaches. Over or, who or, won or, the seven on seven? Or, well, big wolf. Or coaches. And then they go to the event sponsor yes, I'm not and they don't like cares. what they hear. And Cam probably said, man, y'all need to go on, whatever. And then one of them starts slinging punches. Yeah. Somebody's mad over. Yeah. Y'all like the name of his seven on seven? We ball, we ball, we so, ball. That's, that's not surprising. I noticed it on the tent. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I guess that's his. That may be somebody well, else. No, yeah, but we got, ball yeah. is, is right there. His foundation we is, is C One N. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cam One Newton. Maybe that's just a vendor or something at Probably, the seven on seven. No we ball. We ball. <laughs> Probably a, a clothesline or yeah. something. Look. I, yeah. Yeah. Well, look. At least. 
at least there was just some some punches thrown. Nobody pulled out knives or guns, started shooting up the place. And somebody lost their trash picker upper. They did. Somebody they needed did. it. And somebody. The, so there's trash that needs to be picked up, obviously, or it wouldn't have been out there. Let me ask you a question. About, nobody's even thinking about that. Helmsy, when he realized that he dropped it and ran over there, does he ask somebody, hey, have y'all seen my trash picker upper? Look, not the fight's over. i got to finish cleaning up. <laughs> You know, hey, the, where is that? They yeah, moved. Took it. <laughs> they moved probably I don't know thirty, twenty five yards from where it started. So you wonder if if you know what happened to it. I, I know. Is, I is know. it still laying there? How about how about he was he was holding them off, but they covered some ground uh, during, it, and then he got him got him pinned up against a fence. It was. <laughs> Talk, I bet that was talk of the old tournament. <laughs> what what, is, what does the guy say with the beard? It's guns and knives. <laughs> <laughs> Made me eat it. Luckily, nothing like that happened. It was no. just a fight, but yeah. come on, man. You're just weird. Weird, yeah. weird, weird stuff. Some of you Damn have me. seen that, and others we're letting you know. We'll, we'll play some of the footage during the main show, but you definitely won't be able to hear the audio because there's some, there's some words oh, being yeah. slung, not just fist. That's, that's a classy. Yeah. Classy yeah. bunch. Real like. classy. That's what I'm thinking, too. So seven on seven, there's... Yeah. There's a hey, good around. example for the kids. Yeah, isn't good. that great? Well, that way to be a good example. <laughs> isn't that great? That's just getting a fight over who won a seven on seven. <laughs> something important like yeah. that. Well, I, I got to tell you all something. I uh, I was showing out in front of my mom and dad this past weekend. I was kind of handy. Were you dancing? Oh, um, handy. I thought you. They, uh, they had a problem with their faucet, and I fixed it. Oh, what would you do? I just. Turned I it just, off? I just, I just uh, took off the little filter tip and cleaned it out. That was it? Yeah. They didn't wow. have a, they didn't have a lot of pressure. You high tech technician. Yeah. And then hard water. <sighs> Mom asked me to check out her shower head. She said, "Son, we're not just getting we're not getting any pressure. I don't know what's going on." So I said, "I'll tell you what the problem is, Mom. How long have you had this shower head? The house is sixty years old. Have you had it that long? You mm-hmm. know, yeah. they, they won't get anything new. Maybe a little mineral build up." And um, and I said, "Let me go get you a new shower head." <laughs> went, those to, can be went, difficult. went to the getting place. Put it on. Put the shower you heard head from on. her. Mm-hmm. Is it, is you put the little white here? tape. Oh, I did. Okay. So even even sure. though yeah. I was hoping that he would go, what are you talking about? Huh? Why yeah, no, this is this is how they get you. Uh, the, you know the um, sealant tape, not not needed. You know, mm-hmm. you know but I'm like, no, nah, you ain't getting me. I'm putting it on. You, just you know, just to make sure. So, mom, lean in there and turn on your shower. The pressure. I mean, I almost knocked her down. Oh, yeah. I mean, she didn't get in the shower, but yeah. you know what I mean. Stuck her hand down. Yeah, yeah. Ar- arm all wet. She's like, oh, Johnny, this is wonderful. <laughs> you know, Our son is so talented. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting a shower first. <laughs> she's just screaming. Couldn't wait. To right. No, no. I walk out kind of. What else you need, Mom? Yeah, anything else yeah, you need? Anything right? else? Anything maybe, else? Maybe put a trash bag in a tra- trash can. <laughs> I know that's Something really small for like some that. of you, but for me. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to fool with a shower head. I'll just be honest with you. No, no. Who nah. wants that? Nobody wants that. I don't like anything. No. Do plumbing, plumbing wise, when it gets to plumbing, I, I I am a little spooked by. Oh, I don't like it. But I did notice things, and it's not that, um, it, it's it's not, it's nothing against mom and dad, but their house is. I think Dad said this year is sixty, sixty one something years old, mm. and everything was just smaller then. The rooms are smaller, even yeah. though there's oh, multiple yeah. rooms. You're right. The toilet. I mean, if you still have an original toilet, I mean, my gracious, you don't almost fall off of it. Yeah. Uh, showers yeah. are smaller. The shower head is lower. And do I you guess have, we were do you just have a den and a living room. Yes, we do. Of one big room. We yeah. do, and um, it's just everybody. I guess everybody was smaller then. What's the deal? Are we just bigger, mm-hmm. or has yeah, has possible. has the construction world and and the layout has it just changed? I know it's more of an open format, yeah. but everything seems to be bigger now. I guess we were just tinier people then. Or well, we, we, well, we didn't, didn't care. We didn't care. We didn't. We didn't care. The bathroom was just for used bathroom. We it went a showpiece. Like we, our bedrooms mm-hmm. were to sleep in. Yeah, you know, yeah. our dining room was to eat. In. We didn't need a yeah. tray ceiling. No, we <laughs> right, didn't. Right. Nobody cared about any right, of that right. stuff. But it was. It seemed like it's just. I mean, the the house is is a house. You walk in the house, looks like any house. But it's just like some of the things that we use now yeah. are just smaller. The, you know, from that. That era, I guess. Oh, I know what you're saying. If you yeah. had to, we evolved. Yeah. If you had to take care of a plumbing issue or an electrical issue mm. today for two hours, which one are you dealing with? Can I ask you? I'm a, dealing with electrical. There's can I ask no you? Why? I, I, I knew you, you would. No, I, I, listen, I, I nearly out. didn't even. Time out. Are these oh, beginner uh, problems? Yes. That, okay. It's stuff listen, you can handle. Time out. 
a, a lineman and an electrician are not the same thing. But you, know, I was a lineman. I was not go. electrician. Here we go. There's a difference. He's talking mm-hmm. down to I me. Know, two I different know. things. I think I'm gonna go. Le- so when I'm doing electrician stuff, I'm kind of. I mean, I'm going electrical too. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm afraid I messed too much up with water. Buddy. Yeah, I can't. I've, I've done plumbing, tried to. It yeah. never turns out. No, for me. never. Brother Rick and Bubba. Hey, folks, it's Rick here. Listen, if you're facing ten, twenty, or even thirty thousand dollars or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt, well, stop struggling with overwhelming debt and call accredited debt relief today. Depending on your financial situation, you may qualify for a forty percent or higher reduction in your monthly payments, and only have to make one monthly payment you can afford. Accredited Debt Relief has helped over 300,000 qualified consumers pay off more than $1 billion in debt, earning them an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and an excellent rating on Trustpilot. Get out of debt faster by calling Accredited Debt Relief now for your free, no-obligation consultation and see how much you can save. Just call 800-838-9300. 800 838 9300. Once again, that number is 800 838 9300. Program and service is not available in all states. You've got enough to deal with in the morning alarm clock, showers, putting on clothes, going places. Taco Bell breakfast gives your morning something simple and tasty, like the sausage breakfast crunch wraps, fluffy eggs, melty cheese, and savory sausage, or the oozy goodness of Cinnabon delights, a crispy hash brown on the side, and a bold cup of coffee. Morning will never be simple, but breakfast can be. Get a simple and tasty breakfast at Taco Bell, served until 11 a.m. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Contact local store for hours, which vary. Starting with one store in 1978, Boot Barn has become the largest Western and workwear retailer in the nation. Supporting those who feed, build, and protect America, we offer the largest selection of cowboy boots, work boots, Western wear, workwear, and outdoor gear. With over a half a million pairs of boots and thousands of top quality jeans and clothing, it's an honor to support the people who make our country so great. Boot Barn. Keep West. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not? get real cash back. If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code WORK to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code WORK for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code WORK for a 25 cents cents per gallon bonus there's a popular saying out there health is wealth and folks i couldn't agree more some of you may be living with everyday pain now this can affect so many parts of your daily life i mean it can affect the mood uh, your sleep what about missing out on activities our friends at relief factor offer a natural way to relieve that pain it's 100 percent drug free developed by doctors relief factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients to help reduce or eliminate everyday aches and pains now unlike pills that just mask the pain for a short time relief factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation. So you feel better all day, every day. Over 1 million people have tried Relief Factor, and here on our team, several of us have tried it. So let's get you a special deal, and let's see if we can help you too. Go right now and see if Relief Factor can work with you with their three-week quick start kit that's only $19.95. Now, this is a great price to try it out for three weeks. You'll know in three weeks. You will feel the difference and know it works. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Debt ooh, keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. But the truth is the system is designed to trap you in debt. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap. Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions isn't like the old school debt relief companies that string your debt out for years. They have new aggressive strategies that can end your debt faster and easier than you thought possible. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They find programs to write off your balances so you owe less. 
Pivotal Debt Solutions can stop those threatening phone calls without bankruptcy and without a loan. The bottom line, they find every solution possible to end your debt permanently. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit ZapMyDebt.com. That's ZapMyDebt.com, ZapMyDebt.com, or RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. It's eight minutes until top of the hour. We're hanging out with you on the kickoff hour, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Greg was like, Speedy Man, Helms, let, let's go to the phones. And so oh, those that are, that's an option for you if you want to. It's 866-WE-BE-BIG. We might hop out. We might. This portion of the show, oh, look at here, Greg, helixsleep.com oh, slash Helix, Bubba. Helix. I bet you after you went out there and messed with your <laughs> shrubbery and digging up stuff, you slept like a little I baby. I did. I was like I was laying in a cloud. 25% savings right now off your new mattress can See? be yours at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. And unlike a lot of mattress companies out there, Helix owns their own manufacturing facility, and each mattress is made right here in the USA by a team of skilled manufacturers and shipped directly to your facility or to your door uh, from their facility. And in a box, that, that, that you're like, okay, there's no way there's a mattress in there. Then all of a sudden, oh, no. all of a sudden you open it up, and poof, Shh, there poof. it is. Uh, about a two-minute quiz is what uh, Greg is saying. It's a yep. sleep quiz. That's what they want you to do. So you'll go there, and, the, and they'll ask uh, they'll ask you to take this little sleep quiz, and it'll find what it, what they're doing is they're trying to find the perfect mattress that fits your sleep style, uh, and then they personalize that mattress, and it ships straight to your house, uh, fr- free of charge too, by the way. And you got a one hundred night risk free trial, so it just keeps getting better. Check them out: helixsleep.com slash bubba. Save that twenty five percent. Uh, right now at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Your new mattress will ship right to your door, and you'll save 25% in the process. Again, helixsleep.com slash Bubba. You can go to rickandbubba.com, look under the Sponsors button. And I do want to set the proper expectation there. The The quiz is about two and a half, three minutes. Greg don't read things like that. Uh, he halfway pays attention. Well, I did put down what my preference I know, but you halfway <laughs> read it, and, yeah. and so it's two minutes for him. 215, 230 for most. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. 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 I'm a scanner. That's I will true. say this. Yeah. I'll scan a little bit. Do you ever You're scan? Yeah. I'll tell you this. What I do, and this is horrible. I wish I didn't. I'll scan something thinking I've got it, and then I get I get <laughs> probably six part. lines into it, and I'm like, well, okay, it's pretty important. <laughs> I probably need to read the whole thing like yeah. really carefully. I did And that. I have to start over. And if I would have just read it the first time, the way I'm supposed to, I'd have been fine. Yeah, my initial read is not good. Mine's mm-hmm. not either. Oh, I can do this. Wait a minute. Then I had to go back and go and dig back through it's it. The same way. Um, a good last um, I check. <laughs> I was trying to understand this, and I don't know if the audience knows what what I, I'm about to mention. And I was explaining it uh, this past weekend at Saint, in Saint Augustine, and it um, it's Floridians that are, I guess, have a, have a competition of Florida man stories that have been in the news. And they go out and they have competitions of things that were in the stories. So they bring, they're not, are they part of the story? Uh, are, it, they, are they just, this is a Florida man story? It, it just says. They try the, to outdo each other. Right. The Florida man games are inspired by the uh, infamous and often, uh, you know, exploits of, of, of beer, alligators, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, all type of criminal we've type had, deals. We've, we've you know. read the stories. Remember that, the phenomenon was pointed out the day, if, it, if the story starts out a Florida man, yeah. it's usually a good one. We got mullets in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and, a lot of gator stories. Yeah, and the, and the, sensation, the sensation of Florida man has been going on for years, sure. and that is, you know, a lot, the, all the stories that start with Florida man. Yeah. You know, Florida, Florida man, you know, yeah. gets pulled in by an alligator, yeah. you know, peeing behind the bar, yeah. you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we did that one, yeah. Um, so, anyway, organizers um, says it's the most insane athletic showdown on earth. <laughs> I bet. The games are designed for it to be, of course, funny and embrace Florida's um, notorious <laughs> reputation of generating all kinds of uh, crazy news stories, yeah. uh, firearms, They've narcotics, up, alcohol, reptiles. Sometimes combining all four in unexpected ways, and this unconventional sporting event 
promises to channel the spirit of the Sunshine State uh, in a bizarre but funny, phenomenal way. So, anyway, it, it's just Florida a story today. Games. Florida Man Games took okay. place. I'd like to hear some of the stories. Uh, well, I, I would have to think. That I bet it has there's to some do we've with, covered. I has, it's probably a lot of drinking. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then go do something. Sure. You know, a uh, lot of alligators were involved. Alligators with and uh, uh, pythons. Yes. I don't know why I couldn't get I python. I think um, I was thinking anaconda. I had a um, I had a story last week, and I knew Bubba probably wouldn't do it, but it was printed off, that they have found, I guess, within the anaconda species, the largest one mm-hmm. down in the Amazon. And uh, guys, they found it in Florida. Oh yeah, no, they found it in the Amazon. I think Will. They said they were oh. filming like a Will Smith uh, movie or something. Oh, okay. I don't know. It had something. Will Smith was in the store. Uh, it was weird. He but, got bit. I remember. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they he um, was banging on his crap. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guarantee you, how long? How wide? How long is this studio? You think uh, wide uh, here? Forty feet. Thirty. Oh. <laughs> 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 I just felt like I could put four basketball goals in here. You think across? Mm, I, I'm saying I, thirty. Yeah, they, anyway, thirty-five. I, I know it was. You mean to? I'm six foot. You want me to lay down and measure Please. all the way across? All the way across. Mm. It, yeah, I really do. <laughs> huh? So badly. I'm going to I, I um, have, to have help because who's going to mark the spot? Right. Here, go from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so that's six. six. All right, there is six. Thank you for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now Greg's going over there. He's putting his phone. Where are we at? I'm using my phone. That's 12. 12? All right. We at Holler out. 18? We're all pretty much. We're all way over. Okay. Right at probably about 22. Okay, well then, I'll just say this. <laughs> the anaconda they discovered, we could we, – he, he, he wouldn't fit in this room if you if he was long. He was like twenty mid twenties. I think. sure do it again, Al. <laughs> <laughs> the fact you laid down and got up owns me. And he was doing the worm. When yeah, he was doing I know it. it's crazy. Twenty two. So, so think about that. That's it's crazy. A snake so so big. It's, it's give or as, take. It's yeah. as long as wide as this room. That's unreal. The last <laughs> section was it wasn't quite six foot. So I'll, I'll so remember. that guys, if it's if it was just as long as the room, it's a big snake. Yeah, it is. Oh long. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night. Em, show us if you were the snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's let's go back real quick. Yeah, listen, yeah, I gave y'all a little bit. I'm not getting back on the floor. <laughs> if y'all couldn't, do see y'all that? measure stuff like that sometimes? I, oh, yeah. yeah. Not like with your body, but just like <laughs> craziness. Do, if you is, don't have a tape this measure, this is supposed to be three feet. Yeah. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's good. We used to stomp, walk stuff off like that yeah. if we didn't have a rowing thing. What really exactly? That's so was funny. Close. Thank you for that. I'll use my tennis racket a lot of times to measure. Distances as well. Yeah, if you if y'all couldn't see that, which I the camera <laughs> angle kind of got stuck on me because we don't. Have, he laid down and kept getting foot. up and laid yeah. down and we got boom, up boom, and laid boom, down boom, and boom. got up and yeah. laid down and got up. And look, it may not be a hundred percent accurate, but we got a ball. We know how big the snake was. We got That's a right, it's a big and big snake. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Sounds like someone's killing a cat. I mean, Brian, go ahead. Make it stop. Yeah, I don't believe the dogs or the cats or anybody else can uh, match that. That was the worst cat killing that I think I have ever heard. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Uh, let's you Tim, Tim. Tim and Mr. David. Tim, go ahead. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey. hey. Hey, this may explain a lot. I think somebody was trying to give her a second chance. Uh, I don't know if y'all have ever watched the show The Masked Singer. Yeah, a little odd, but I've seen it, yeah. yeah very odd. It's a weird one show. Of the most, yeah, she was one of the most recent ones kicked off the show. Really? Straight up? A- absolutely. I did not know that. Well, maybe it's messed her up it was trying to sing with that head on. Yeah. Maybe that's what it <laughs> cost her. You're right. That might be it. <laughs> Eric in Alabama. Eric, go ahead. Can we coach her the anthem, please? Yeah, coach her <laughs> 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 the anthem. Yeah. Rick, I think you need to add that to our repertoire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Greg, I, yeah, Speedy came in, stuck his head in my office, said, do you want to do Shaka Khan as like the real National Anthem Day? And I was like, not based yeah. on the emails I'm reading here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Well, I just I mean, want to be ready. Really. Yeah, well, it was, it was, a, it, it was, it was a, fair, a fair question. So we'll uh, – <laughs> you know what? I, think I thought I knew the answer, but I wanted to make sure. I got to be honest with you. It's, it's, it's traumatized me so much. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to play the military version – Every day this week, right. kind of reset. Yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Just, to, just to cleanse us. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 
I'd rather hear her, some of her other songs. Well, yeah, of course. Shaka. Shaka. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It is 35 minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba's show. We're back. Come on, Shaka. We're back with uh, Rufus and Shaka Khan. Tell me something good. Somebody say it. Tell me something good. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right, uh, we make our way back. So uh, started getting more and more over the weekend, just kind of watching everything that was coming in. And all of a sudden, Helmsley started trying to send out texts that we, if you could get near the <laughs> Daytona 500, sadly it's been rain delayed uh, till today. But, boy, the, the, the pre-race stuff involving the president uh, was, uh, was quite uh, – Quite the spectacle. The president enjoyed it. Trump update. Trump at Daytona. Trump update. I don't wear a It's my hand. Come on. Trump. 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 Undoubtedly, the president felt like with NASCAR fans, even in Daytona, that he was among friends. Now, this is not like him going to Talladega. I believe if he went to Talladega, I think we would all be pressed to find one person in Talladega at the Talladega 500 that did not vote for Trump. <laughs> I, I, I think I think you would be hard pressed to find one person at at, at at either one of their two events, spring or, or, or summer, do you agree, or fall. Yeah. I, I don't think you could find one. <laughs> They did not vote for now. Yeah. If he had gone to Talladega, he may still be there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm talking about being carried, being carried around the infield on on their shoulders. Yeah, uh, because he knew that he was among friends, and the president continues to do things that that are unprecedented and, and hilarious. When I started realizing that what Helmsley was suggesting is that the president's limo was taking a lap <laughs> around, <laughs> around Daytona, the beast. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> I kept That's trying to great. figure out what you were trying to say, and I'm like, wait a minute, is he saying that he's going around the track? That's exactly what I the was thinking. The motorcade is going around the track. <laughs> and, yeah. and it's kind of like when Mav made a lap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mike Joy and Jeff Gordon, they looked as if they were caught off guard by this happening. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they put a side-by-side. I think we've got it. They put a side-by-side uh, uh, explaining the beast and how much it weighed and why it couldn't get it, uh, up. Yeah. So, cause of it's the, a heavy automobile. Yeah. It's like twenty two thousand pounds compared oh, yeah. to a NASCAR. Yeah, yeah it's just at a big, three thousand pounds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's but it caught big. everybody off guard in the interviews. Uh, I, I'm convinced now that I watched it all unfold that he actually did ask if he could drive the pace car Please or look. some car around by himself, and they would not allow that. <laughs> so he there took he the next best thing. <laughs> all right, so he was he was he even talked to all the drivers. At I don't one know point. if there's a flag. Is yeah, yeah. All right, so it's we, their broadcast. So, it's so courtesy this, of Fox. Kurt, yeah. To uh, keep those cars up on the banking. Please look. The motorcade now goes out in front of the entire field. Truck chassis. That's hilarious. Weigh about 22,000 pounds. We'll probably not be doing 70 through the 31 degree banking <laughs> of turns one and two. But uh, we'll stay Carl down on do the apron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you think when he finishes this lap, is he going to do a burnout? What kind of horsepower is underneath the hood of that car? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Gordon. So, so look, so the they mo- had no idea this was happening, by the so way. So the motorcade takes a, a full lap with, yeah. the, with the field look, behind if it. If you're president and you got all that, you yeah. want to do it. Why yeah. Kim Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us today. A brand new hour is underway. A brand new day and a brand new week. We start this baby with the national anthem.
Seven and a half minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. As uh, we start a brand new hour on a brand new day, on a brand new week. Re- weekend recaps coming up. We'll hit you with those today. Your phone calls at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, uh, Helmsy, they've given you a kickoff hour along uh, all the Rick and Bubba platforms. If you missed that, you can catch it on the archives today. Eddie Van Adler joins us. He'll enhance your YouTube experience uh, for YouTubers out there. Hello and welcome to another Rick and Bubba show. Uh, the tubers can grab the show live and archive. Also, there's an audio archive option every day. Uh, you grab that on the Rick and Bubba podcast channel. So the gang all here, we're missing one, uh, the silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters man of the year. The inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome to the little party we call Rick and Bubba. Let's go. Where's that one on your KC hit? Oh, I, I like all the KC stuff. I you mean, like boogie it's, shoes? It's all, it's all up there. It's all up there. Yeah, boogie shoes is, uh, you know, that's one of those that sneaks up on you. I've forgotten about boogie shoes, yep. and then you play right. it, and you're like, you know what? I like boogie yeah, shoes. It'll, it'll hit you. The, your feet get to moving. You get to shaking. You don't know what's going on. So uh, coming off uh, of the weekend, we have a lot to cover, a lot of update, a lot of stories uh, since the last time that we were all together. Um one thing that, that I'm, I'm learning, and I know we've talked about this before, and Span has, has kind of warned us about this, and that is that a seven-day forecast is kind of meaningless. Yes. It, it mm-hmm. is. Um, it's a guess. We're, we're in that mode right now where we're trying to, um, and, and it took up a little bit of the weekend, is we're preparing to celebrate 50 years of Angie Burgess, uh, Greg and I's sister. Um, and uh, so she's turning 50, so you got to make a big deal out of 50. And so you, you get down to the... You know, if you go to do an outside gathering, and we're, we're trying to go to the farm and have a big shindig, open up the barn, bring in the barbecue, uh, you know, as, uh, in, and celebrate 50 years of our sister. So you start trying to figure, you know, well, let's do the best day. Mm-hmm. Her, her actual birthday yeah. is the third, right, Greg, or is it the second? I can't second. Mar- <clears throat> second. March 2nd. So we're like, all right, we'll, we'll, go, with, we'll go with Sunday because the the forecast looks the best there. Yeah. Then you look a day later. Uh oh. Uh oh. Saturday looks like the better day. Then you go to bed. Then you wake up. Up oh, back to Sunday. And, and so <laughs> well, you know? it, it's really impossible uh, to to plan anything because I don't know what a I don't know what purpose a seven day forecast serves really. Is it no, just if it, you can't depend on it? Is, why it, even have is it? it just us being sharp? We want to look. We want to look seven days, but really, it doesn't do any good to look seven days because the seven days are not accurate. Well, no. it's a guess. Yeah, it's, it, a, it's guess. a guess. But we'll it literally, to look it at. literally will pivot yeah. day oh. by day. And what's funny is when you're planning something like that, Sherry says, "Well, you know, we need to make a call so that everybody." I said, "But unfortunately, the forecast won't be any good till about forty-eight hours before we're That's actually it. doing." It. Yeah. It's just a guess. Yeah, so just a uh, guess. but to watch it fluctuate and they, and as you you said, we've said before, it's kind of like people who predict football games. Yeah. When they get it wrong, they never acknowledge it. <laughs> oh no. no. They, they never come back and go, "We know we gave you all a 7-day forecast and we changed and we changed it several times during the week." Yeah, They'll I just would, confidently change the new forecast as if the first one was never put out. <laughs> I would almost like to see their record down in the corner of the screen. Yeah, so You know, uh, 365 days, we've got it right X number of days. Yeah. Yeah, so now it's down to the same rain percentage on both days. <laughs> So, so we're, I just said, look, uh, it, we're just going to have to do like we do most of those gatherings is we'll, we'll have it. Uh, it doesn't like a washout right. either day. Uh, it may rain some. That's what the barn's for. Uh, let's all just, let's just celebrate 50. Uh, mm-hmm. And hopefully she can kick and stretch. Yep. You know, and, right. and she's yeah. 50. So uh, we're, we're thankful she's with us after yeah. that car wreck. Good. Yeah. Yeah. She she's doing good. Right. She's yeah. good. She's had, uh, yeah, she's, she's had a tough time, but she's uh She's all right. She's back on her feet, and 
Looks like she's back, uh, at work. back at work and got teacher of the month. And of course, cool. she, I told you she made the fun about it. She goes, Well, they did that out of me. They, they, everybody <laughs> did that just because I'd been through a rough patch. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. But that kind of led into a lot of this past weekend because, you know, you have to, you have to prepare. Yeah. Uh, and of course you don't know what you're preparing for no, because you, no. can't, you can't trust the forecast, but, uh, <laughs> but you go and you prepare and you, and you do your thing. So, so we'll, uh, same thing with these, these yeah. organizers of this, of sports and travel ball and all this stuff that's outdoors. It's a, it's a mess. Yeah, you're is. trying to it predict is. what to do, how to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, moving moving games stuff. around, you know, schedule adjusted. It's all a guess. Yeah, it's all a guess. And then, then you, of course, then you look too, and you see fifty percent. Then you look and says AM showers. I, lo- I like when they really play games. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. well, that's an AM. Oh, so when we're done with church. It won't be running. Well, it might. <laughs> see, talk to us again Thursday. Yeah. Uh, good, so, good shift. Right, yeah. right. It, it, so it's we'll, we'll see. I, I think it makes. Uh, I think we pretend to know more, but you know, Span told us years ago, and he still does them. But even he admits. These seven day forecasts, they mean nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the closest they can get is within about forty eight hours. Yeah, that's uh, right. You know, but yeah, anything you anything better. anything beyond yeah. that, you're just spinning the wheel of forecast. <laughs> yeah, it just kinda looks that way. You know what, yeah, know. It, you're right, Bubba. I always yeah. look at it and go, Oh, two or three days, maybe some rain. Okay. And then when it gets closer, then yeah. they dial it in. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Kinda. but and yeah. I and I love the idea of picking the best day. It's just impossible to do in time for everybody to know. Oh, yeah, so, that's yeah, all. Yeah, but so. then again, everybody's flexible. And then my favorite is when Sherry, this we were you know going back and forth and down at the farm getting ready, and it was absolutely gorgeous where we lived this past weekend. Hope everybody got some time outside. It was beautiful. And she goes, you know, we really should have had it this weekend. I said, well, no, let's don't even let's, let's don't even bring <laughs> no that in. Uh, I'm seeing various pictures of uh, my sister at some sort of dance competition. I don't think that would work. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah, so, so anyway, not possible. no, not possible. So we'll see. Uh, we'll we'll work on that, and uh, we'll do the best we can do. And you know, that's the reason why sometimes I just anything that involves outdoors. Sometimes I just rather get away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's well, do, I mean, yeah. Why, let's do, why some, roll let's, the let's do something inside, yeah. and that way it really doesn't matter what. I had two weddings we had to do outside. Oh, and it was just stressful. Yeah, yeah. me too. Me too. Well, you can do it inside, then walk outside. Right. If everybody wants to. There do you that. go. But you got it covered. You you can take that off your plate. You probably have enough variables anyway. Yeah. So, so we have the barn. We'll open both yeah. doors, and everybody can eat inside. So you're not eating outside. Right. And right. then if it, and if it stops. Jump on a four wheeler. It. If it's raining, we'll sit in here and talk. Yeah. Rick, you can always fill up camp house. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, camp house is ready. Got that big two tables in yeah, there. Yep. Took more stuff to the camp house this past weekend. I guess that's what Sherry does with things she didn't know what to do with. <laughs> it's really turning into <laughs> quite the, the museum. I mean, the museum of the family. Uh, we'll come back. Fifteen minutes past the hour. Eight six six. We be big is our number. We'll unpack the stories of the day uh, when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And it, yeah. Guys, at some point he talked to the entire field, like got on the NAS, like if NASCAR was going to give them an official ruling right. or let them know, right, right. He, he talked to the entire field. Yeah, yeah. pretty cool. And do, the, do we have the moment where he told everybody to start their engines? Yeah, yeah I do. Let me come out of this. He did a great job with that. Yeah, as well. yeah I thought so. Did a gentleman start your engines? Look, he's, this yeah. is the home crowd now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, so here yeah. we go. Yeah. Courtesy of Fox. <laughs> NASCAR fans, to welcome back your United States Air Force Thunderbirds and to deliver the most famous words in motorsports at the Daytona 500, please welcome this year's Grand Marshal, the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, accompanied by First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump. Thanks. Daytona International Speedway, we love our country, and it's truly an honor to be with all of you at the great American race. Gentlemen, start your engines. Oh, now look at it. The birds came over right on time. Yeah. With him, with him leading around the track, Jeff Gordon actually said in the broadcast, "Okay, I, I kind of wish I was in this. I, I wish I was. I wish yeah, I was sure. racing in this. This is pretty cool." <clears throat> I'll tell you, we we've got to do a lot of really cool things because of all of you, the audience that uh, oh, yeah. know, allows us to do it. But sure. one of the coolest I will never forget is riding in the pace car at Talladega, mm-hmm. yeah, and looking back and seeing that line of cars yeah. come around too wide, unbelievable. And uh, and then when we get uh, around at pit row, all of the crew 
lined up saluting, right. you know, shoulder to shoulder. And all the different colors as you go by, and and you look back, and there's Jeff Gordon in the front row, and yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you, you I can't remember Gordon the year we were there, but I think it was Jordan. Uh, I mean, Dale. Uh, I think it was Jeff Gordon, and uh, I can't remember who the other car was, but uh, I mean, it was. It's pretty impressive when yeah. you come around the bank and you see all of them, yeah. all the colors back through there. Yeah, it, it, you and I, the, the things the audience has made possible. That mm-hmm. one is as, as big as any, and we were able to do it while the. Le- a lot of what in our time, what we would call the legends, were still racing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, which now, was, saying start your engines was, you know, by that was far, huge. that was huge. But that we was, got yeah, to yeah. do the flag one yeah. time yeah, and then we did. riding the pace car. I get, was it the time? Uh, it was, was all it that, was, it, was, was some of that all in one No, trip? I don't think, I think it were was those all individual trips. trips? I, so. I don't remember. I think so. But it was, it was phenomenal. Really, really cool. I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, Looking back out of that back window and seeing those cars lined up, I'm like, oh my God. I'll have him talking We're out here on the track. Greg, Greg, did that bring a tear to glass eye to see your your present out there with your people? Well, sure, mm-hmm. right? I mean, like it, I said, Talladega would be better, but yeah, Talladega would have been the ultimate. Yeah. Now, and then of course you can't have. I mean, hey, somebody thought you could have a Daytona 500. But the, <laughs> a oh, fantastic the email. Yeah. It says that was our best American moment since we put a man on the moon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Rick, <laughs> tell me something good. Here, here's uh, Trump talking to the drivers oh, here. Awesome. Um, let's see if I can go back. This is courtesy of Fox here. Hold on. I can get it. President Trump paced the field and then he asked for an official's radio to all the drivers and crews. Drivers, this is President Trump, and it was an honor to open the Daytona 500. (laughs) Have a phenomenal day. Have a great race. Be safe. God bless you. We love you. There goes, there goes the president. <laughs> How cool That's was crazy. that? Well, <laughs> and I, <laughs> that's crazy. Now, Greg, I know you are. Do you know? Do you know somebody had their headset on? They were figuring mm-hmm. fuel, oh, you know, yeah. getting ready, and they mm-hmm. went, "What was that?" That's just President Trump. I'm here, uh, but the uh, but you know he's always loved NASCAR because they ref- they w- didn't do any mm-hmm. of this. They still do the prayer. They still do the oh, national yeah. anthem, right? And all this. But here's the other thing, Greg. Who is Haley Deegan? She's the, the next. Your next female. She's still in the 18 lower 18 years levels. old? Yeah. She's the new Danica. Yeah, they're, they're grooming her. Yeah, she's but, 18. Uh, she's I mean, yeah. She finished second in the ARCA race last week. And really? I, I think she's running some Xfinity series, they call it now. Yeah. yeah. I think. But, yeah, but they're grooming her. She'll be your next. Well, she'll be driver. in trouble with uh, with some of the – of course, I don't know that the left cares about anybody who drives NASCAR. Surely they've given up on that. <laughs> right. But she had her picture made with the Trumps and put goal complete. Yeah. I don't know if you saw several of the drivers had posted uh, pictures shaking hands with the president and somewhat shocked that he just came down pit row making pictures shaking hands with everybody. <laughs> they were kind of like, man, there I mean, they knew he was going to be there. Like, wow, we didn't know he was going to be in here in the garage. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. But well, he just, he knows that at a NASCAR event, his, his, his odds of weirdos is just not very high. You well, know I, mean? I, I right. think, I think it goes. What I- We're back 21 minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show, Lee Habib, our guest, OurAmericanStories.com, uh, the show. Uh, he's the host and founder of Our American Stories. And boy, did he tell some great ones over the weekend on Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Getting great feedback on that. If you missed it, uh, the new Rick and Bubba University available wherever you get podcasts. So, Bubba, uh, active uh, week for you coming up and, uh, and then uh, yeah. coming off the weekend. Do tell. Yeah, well, we're, uh, we're going to have to step out uh, hour number three today. We have a funeral to attend. Betty's uncle passed away in Georgia, and uh, we're going to be heading over that. And then tomorrow, we're going to be gone all day with uh, a house project that, you mm. know, we knew several of these days were going to come. We've been very fortunate not to have to miss a whole lot because of it. Right. But uh, tomorrow's going to be one of those days, it looks like, subject to change. Mm. And um, we uh, we spent a lot of time there this weekend as we uh, are trying to get rebuilt a house that was hit by a tornado mm. last March. Mm. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's just mm. a lot of moving parts, mm. a lot of moving parts. And uh, people who've built a house know how much fun that can be. Yep. Uh, people who have had to rebuild a house with insurance mm. knows how that can be. Mm. It's, uh, you know, it's... Uh, Things are getting done, but it's not a smooth, efficient process at all. Mm. And uh, 
It just you just have to put your head down, keep moving. And forward. the noises so. I'm making is is because you feel like you're in the corner taking punches. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's uh, you know, it's it's going as well as can be expected. Mm-hmm. Let me put it that way. But we got to have a big week this week. Uh, our plumbers were supposed to get done Saturday, missing a few parts, of course. Sure. And uh, the, hopefully we'll get that done. I think electrical is tomorrow. That's my day that I need to be there. Uh, I think we're having carpet put down. In a couple of bedrooms, we got the stained floors done this past weekend, end of the week, and uh, so we're we're moving forward. But it's uh, it's uh, boy, it's sometimes like trying to paddle a battleship with a boat paddle, you know. Mm. Mm. Um, looking at and maybe I'm not remembering this correctly, but I looked on my calendar today, and Friday says March one. Yes, that is correct. I remember March was big. Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're moving in in March. Okay. Done or not? Well, I, I know. So I, that's, what I, that's why I'm trying to urge everybody to get done because it's going to be much more difficult for them to finish with stuff in the way. Oh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's coming. We we can't we can't go any longer. We got to move. We got to get out of the rental house and uh, three so one. We got stuff coming. Friday. Up. Yeah, we won't be out and everything on the first week, but we right. will be done. We'll be moving right. in shortly after that. So, uh, fun week. I uh, appreciate everybody's effort. I mean, everybody's mm-hmm. working hard. We go. Uh, but we we got to mm. we got to go ahead and move the move the chains here, folks. <laughs> we got to move the chains here, folks. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Hey, the, hey, the yeah, yeah, we're gonna get it done. Is no oh, longer in play. We gotta, I want to see some screwdrivers. Let, let, let me tell you what the <laughs> the yeah yeah uh, is uh, is a no no. Yep, yep. And um, it's, we we've done good. I think mm. we've been we've been moving pretty well. But we got to have a. This is more a fire up speech, you know. For me right. too, we got to have a good week. Finish strong. Hey, have a good week. I would like to ask this, and I'm not trying to throw any gasoline on this fire. Right. I don't right. know the situation you do, and you at your you are certainly uh, narrating it uh, from your point of view because you're there. But it it just feels for me, in all my experiences, I don't think I can recall a time. And I'll just use a random date like March, okay, mm-hmm. three one. You know, when when you start on any, just take any project that somebody's doing that you're hiring out, and you say, well, we'd like to have this thing done by. I'm just going to grab a random t- day, March. Right. It never, never, never did they finish three weeks before March, <laughs> and go and go. You know what? We came in with plenty of time. Yeah. Why is, it, why is it always well, right to the wire? I, I mean, I, it's always right to the wire. I think I mean, it's, it's, there's yeah. never any breathing room. It, no. There's like it's like building blocks right. you have to build on, right? And you can't you can't put the next block up till the block that goes under it is in place, right? And there's just a lot of variables. Oh, yeah. uh, so you many. Know, you're dealing with a lot of subcontractors, and uh, they are on multiple jobs. So, you know, if they're coming one day and then they can't come for whatever reason, mm-hmm. that puts the next guy behind. Right. Then he can't just say, well, I'll come the next day because right. he's already got something planned then. Oh, so sure. you have to go back in the hopper and it yeah. kind of feeds on itself. But I, I think overall we're doing pretty well. Um, you know, rebuilding mm-hmm. a house mm-hmm. is worse than just building one. Sure. And so... That that has been a process, uh, you know, considering uh, some of our neighbors that are having work done, oh, I, sure. I think we're a little ahead of the curve. Sure. But uh, we uh, we got to have a big week this week, so we're, we're excited <laughs> about it. Yeah, the, uh, Cam Newton mm-hmm. in the 7-on-7 seven turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the, I, I think I don't, you know, I, from what I can wrap my mind around, I know that heaven is, in, in, I cannot comprehend it with my finite mind. But I wonder if somewhere in heaven, just as making it heaven-like, mm-hmm. there's a place where people tell you that the project didn't take as long and is less expensive than they thought. <laughs> well, that, that would only be Rick, a heaven. Even that Jesus would... <laughs> said he was going to prepare a place for us, right. and he's been working on it for a long time. So. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. It, it takes a lot of time to do these things. That's even a great if you're point. in control of right. the universe. You know? Has that ever happened? Has anybody ever said, you know what? It wasn't near as expensive as we thought it was going to be. Yeah, well, no. We came in way no. up. And it looks yeah. like we're going to finish a month Here's early. Here's some money back. <laughs> it's a month early and, and not near as bad as we yep, thought. Don't need all your money. Right. And, and there is, you know, there is a, an increase in cost. There's no sure. doubt about it. Oh, Most sure of it is. tied to transportation. Sure. Yep. But now I think everybody's just piling on. Right. You know, they're yep. going, oh, yeah, everything's up. Right. Bonfire's up. Bonfire's up. Yep. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, 
you know, that genie hardly ever goes back in the sure. bottle without without much pain and anguish. No. Mm-hmm. When, but they, what, when they see that white truck pull up, oh, do, do the subs scream oh, in the house? Somebody he's, he's here. Somebody no, he's here. Back. He's no, here. No, I'm, I'm not difficult to work with, uh, and, and they're very talented people and doing a good job. But, uh, you know, we're just talking in general terms. Sure. We've gotta, we gotta, we, we've made a lot of progress the last few weeks. Yes. We need to keep that up this week. By the way, pretty weather. That we means. need to make it make it happen. Show up with ice cream. Yep. You know what that means, mm-hmm. Bob? That's your trick. Yeah, well, it's not a bad idea. We gotta we gotta get the refrigerator and freezer going. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> That's true. You know. By I, the way, literally, I, I just can saw... be generous if I, I'm in a situation to be generous. <laughs> right. you know? By the way, I just saw the TV station that I'm looking at says now 30 percent Saturday and Sunday. Their app still says 50. <laughs> I mean, they can't even they can't even get in sync with with what's on the screen and what's on the app. Mm. I mean, these these seven day forecasts I can't imagine, and 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 that ties into building too. How many weather days you got? You know, you got to make hay. Yeah, while the sun's shining, right. that's for sure. Well, I you know I I gave the speech and I, it wasn't very nice, but I I said apparently, uh, a lot of things that people do require perfect weather. Yeah. Yeah, and I said, you know, there's only so many perfect weather days in a year. There's yeah. just not that many of them. And then when the, you got too them, hot, too cold, done. too windy, not windy enough, you know. And and, and, <laughs> and you're just like, yeah. are these? There has to be like these perfect days. Right. And um, you know, we've had a mysterious. Uh, they said it was going to rain, our, but it didn't. But we our, put them on another job. Our garage door <laughs> was was dented in on one side pretty bad. One of them was fine. Yeah, and uh, we, you know, we haven't been able to get that replaced. And I, I don't know what the hold up oh, really? is on that. Uh, so something like that just well it's not painted you know it's mm. it's ready to go but for some reason we can't get that that panel we need and i'm I, you know just things like that to hold you up you can't yeah, you don't even you know can't what that seem is. to figure out why this is delayed or what right. the deal is Who, who's the panel person why they got to stop i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna have to ask some more questions this week oh buddy <laughs> Punch list. The, the best way to keep me away from the job site is let me see progress when I do. Oh, job. Yes. yeah. Oh, gosh. That, that gives me a false sense of security. Yep. Uh, bottom of the hour. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Kind of, have it you know, <laughs> it's just it's just a different approach to it. He yeah. kind of does what he wants to do. Now, remember, th- this is the same president, Rick, that stepped into North Korea. I know. Remember? I know. Yeah. <laughs> and a photo yeah. op said, do you mind if I Great walk point. over the line? And right. did. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's been, <laughs> yeah this, is, this is the embassies in Jerusalem guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I this know. Is, he, he, does, he doesn't really, anything that's kind of a, a social no no or people are uncomfortable with, mm. he'll just lean right on in, won't he? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's. Uh, and you I gotta mean, love, you either yeah. love him or hate him for that. You know, you, right. you, if you, you like that, and then you may not like the tweets, but it all comes together. Right. You know? sure. It's all from the same personality. Yeah. <laughs> right. Remember, we say about our own show the very the very thing you love about the show <laughs> could be what you hate yeah. <laughs> on, on certain days. It's exactly what you hate about. It. I think it's fine. We'll be back. Fifteen minutes to the top of the hour. Eight six six. We be big. The number. Still unpacking the weekend. Talking to you. Looking at the stories of the day. Uh, Willa meets back in play for the week. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. So, Bubba, let me ask you this: Since you have watched the the Fury, um, you know um, Wilder, you know the Bronze Bomber versus the Gypsy King. Yeah, there are, you go. Are you now returning to heavyweight boxing? Will you, will you know? You, will you watch this I, week's fight? I, I will say this: This week's fight is now intriguing to me, mm-hmm. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. and you just a lot more so than it so was. So, this hype show did its job. It's yeah. supposed to bring but, people. But in. you know, that's the thing. Yeah, you, you got to see it. Yeah, uh, oh, it just is out there, and and it was good. Rick, I'm just looking at these numbers. These are incredible. You've got Wilder at 6'7", 220 pounds. His record is 42-0-1. And, and you've got Tyson Fury, who is 6'9", 255, 29-0-1. Uh, Wilder has an 83-inch reach, and Fury has an 85-inch reach. And uh, too big just two, I mean, I'm they you. are just big, big men. Hey, Adler. Welcome into the world of combat sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bill Bubba Bussy. You, you love co- combat sports, don't you? Welcome in, friend. Welcome. <laughs> well, I remember I, I did not miss a Tyson fight, Mike Tyson. Oh, nice. and, 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 of course, the pay-per-views and HBO and all that, you know, part of the, you know, the rub against it was that he would knock out people so fast, but I enjoyed watching him knock out people so fast. I, did. yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't have any problem with that. Uh, Deontay Wilder, <laughs> Bubba, you might have said this as I was walking in. 
out of those 40 fights, 39 of those are KOs. Mm -hmm. That is unheard of. That's unheard of. Most people play the points game. They get mm -hmm. out there and slip yeah. and jab. He's you know throwing what I'm a haymaker. <laughs> but you guys are telling me that if Deontay Wilder does not knock him down, he loses the fight? Yes. No doubt? No doubt. No doubt. So he was Fury, getting outboxed, outclassed, for sure. Yeah. No doubt. For sure. Listen to him. Well, he's fired up he now. He is excited. So in a, re in a rematch. Just looks so strange the way he goes about it, though. He's got that jerking going on. It'll wear you out. I mean, it's not like boxing. I'm moving. It looks like he's having a fit or something. I mean, it's really weird. Yeah, yeah. he's just he's just shucking and jiving, you know it. He looks very kind of almost <laughs> like uh, like goblin like to me, sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he really he, does. I mean, like like a, he's like, like he was in a, in a scary movie or something. Y'all, when he got knocked down that second time, Deontay walked away and did like the throat yeah. slit thing. He's like, well, it's it over. over. No one was supposed to wake up from that. And then with Gypsy Powers, he just rises <laughs> from the dead. Gypsy Powers. Like the Undertaker in a WWE event. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, You're like, how did that happen? He really brought it there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm excited about the fight this weekend. So, I, mean, you, I know you're not going to see Speedy because it costs something. What about everybody else? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you'll see the so in a rematch like that, I, I, would, I would assume if you're a professional – I mean, you're probably breaking down film and going, all right, how was I getting beat until I knocked yeah. him down or whatever? I wonder what what adjustments do you make? I, know. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? What was Fury doing that that was – he, he outclassed him. He outboxed him. Deontay Wilder, is he just goes in and just destroys people. He just swings and swings yeah. until they fall. Even in the last Ortiz fight, uh, Wilder was fighting this guy named Ortiz. He was getting outclassed. He was getting outboxed. And then in the eighth round, he just caught him on the forehead with just look. It looked like yeah. a simple jab. Deontay hits this guy with a simple jab, and you can see the sweat fly off of the guy's <laughs> head. It looks like his brain and soul are leaving his body. Yeah, he's right. getting vaporized. That's a big I'm gonna, man. I'm gonna try you. to find that gift. I'm gonna try to find that gift. Uh, yeah, he's uh, that guy was a good boxer too. He's lefty. Yeah, so so it's, quite a bit shorter than. It wild. sounds like that if you can go the distance and survive. His uh, his onslaught, mm -hmm. and here was a man that was big enough yeah. to stand up with him size wise. Mm -hmm. That if you're a better boxer and you can survive, you can beat him. Rick, when he starts that tongue waggling and all that, dude. <laughs> which one? Fury. Yeah. yeah. Thirty five minutes now past the hour, of the Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us. So uh, a lot of you right now are listening to uh, the show on uh, byraycon.com slash Bubba Earbuds. The everyday earbuds are fantastic. Testing one, two to all of our earbud folk. Do you have a pair of uh, byraycon.com slash Bubba Earbuds? You don't. Well, now's the time. Uh, why don't you move to get yours now? They're all the rage. Uh, the audience loves them. You'll see tens of thousands of five-star reviews. No exaggeration there. Uh, and you can see those for yourselves. Why? Well, they're premium audio. They sound good. They're comfortable. They're customizable. Uh, their their in-ear fit is perfect because of their customizable gel tips. Uh, they're secure. They don't fall out. Uh, you have different sound profiles. You have 32-hour battery life, eight hours of playtime, and they're at about half the price of the other premium audio brands, and we are going to get you an additional 20% off today. So go to buyraycon.com slash Bubba, buyraycon.com slash Bubba. You will love these earbuds. You'll really love the price as well, uh, but you're not having to compromise quality. The quality is fantastic. So uh, join uh, all those out there that are loving uh, the buyraycon.com slash Bubba everyday earbuds and get yours today. So, uh, Bubba, the NIL, the ongoing uh, drama that is NIL, uh, we have another update in a court ruling today. Well, we first had the court overturn and allow student-athletes to do NIL deals. Well, the NCAA had some rules about how that has to happen. You have to commit to university first. Mm -hmm. NIL cannot be used as a carrot after you're a student-athlete there then you're free to go out and sell your name, image, and likeness as you see fit. Correct. Well, we've had a federal judge, Clifton Coker, granted a preliminary injunction suspending the NCAA's NIL rules as part of a lawsuit 
that was brought by the Attorney General of Tennessee and Virginia against the organization. Coker found that the current NIL rules caused irreparable damages to student-athletes and the NCAA ban on using NIL money as recruiting inducements likely violates federal antitrust laws. Wow. He wrote, without the give and take of free market, student athletes can simply not have knowledge of their true NIL value, mm. Coker wrote. It is the suppression of negotiating leverage and the consequential, consequential lack of knowledge that harms student athletes. The decision is considered a disaster for the NCAA, which has been trying to grasp any authority it can in the landscape created by the Supreme Court ruling back in 2021. College athletes are now free to directly negotiate their compensation and sign NIL contracts before enrolling at a school and will be able to do so until at least the end of this court case. The injunction alone is a bad omen for the NCAA. Release the Kraken. Yeah. Release the Kraken. Mm. Well, the wild, wild West now, just got wilder. Yeah. The, yeah. This lawsuit came primarily from the Attorney General of Tennessee, who announced it one day after the NCAA said they were investigating Tennessee for NIL infractions. Yeah. The NCAA seemed unsurprisingly displeased with the outcome. <clears throat> Turning upside down rules overwhelmingly supported by member schools yep. will aggravate an already chaotic collegiate environment, further diminishing protections for student athletes from exploitation, like what they've been doing. The NCAA fully supports student athletes making money from their name, image, and likeness, and is making changes to deliver more benefits to those students. Um, the AG in Tennessee said. The court's grant of this injunction against the NCAA illegal NIL recruitment ban ensures the rights of student athletes will be protected for the duration of this case. But the bigger fight continues. He said, we will litigate this case to the fullest extent necessary to ensure that the NCAA's monopoly cannot continue to harm Tennessee student athletes. <laughs> the NCAA is not above the law, and the law is on our side. Well... You know, once they, um, mm -hmm. this is what happens. Pandora's box yeah. is true. It's, again. It, it, well, it, it's mm -hmm. what happens when the NCAA overplayed their hand. They, you've said this before, Bubba. It, this all is just now, uh, it, it's just leaping off the original ruling. Really. Yeah. It's once you established that they were keeping these athletes from monetizing uh, their platforms, once that ruling came down, now trying to do anything that might hinder that, they're just going to keep overruling it. Yeah, the enforcement bunch at the NCAA, I guess they're grabbing the box this morning, collecting their things and going on to the house. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what – there's a couple of things here. You've got this big, huge, gigantic lawsuit between – it's called like House versus the NCAA that is – it could cost the NCAA billions of dollars in back pay from like 2016 to athletes. So you got that going on that nobody's really talking about. Right now you have this. It, it does look like I, I hate to say this, but it looks like we're getting close to the death of the NCAA at some point soon. I don't know what schools do from here because now it's a it's an inducement. It's an inducement world. You're paying to come to a different school yep. or well, to your school. What's kind of funny about all this, this weird. We, we talk about the NCAA like there's some big bad bear out there. The NCAA was created by the member no, institutions. I, know. I, I agree. They are the ones that said we have to have some kind yeah. of rules to yeah. work with right. here, and right. they, were, they, they are bought, paid for, elected by member schools. Yeah. So it, it – it just really gets weird, especially if you had some astronomical case like that come about. There's no telling financially how that would destroy not only them, but it would go to the member schools that had to pay the bill. Yeah, I'm not terribly against the NCAA. They do things that I don't necessarily agree with at times, but I, I, I would like to see, because it is the haves and the have-nots, okay? This affects a very minority group when it comes to paying thousands of dollars to student-athletes because, let's just face it, most of the mid-majors can't. No. You can't do that. So what I would like to see happen is all the Power Fours, y'all just go do your own thing. 
and let us have our mid-major world, and we'll operate under the NCAA, and we'll pay our players, but we'll do it on a flat rate yeah. the way it should have been done so yeah. that, that we can still – this is a recruiting nightmare mm. because the first phone call I get today is going to be how much mo- – saw the ruling, how much money can you give me to come there? Because that's, that's exactly what you can openly discuss of based course. off this. Of course. But you said flat rate. You can't do that. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's, you won't be that's, able to that's do that. what I want. That's yeah. what I would like to see so that I'm not having to go, well, you know, I know Arkansas State's giving you 10, but I, I'll go 15. Yeah. I don't want that. That's ridiculous. Well, that's what this judge has said. That's what's going to happen. And, that's why, and yeah. that's why I want y'all let, let those, because the NCAA, I'm, I, they just have no power right now, no. And especially in the Power Four world where the money is. They had right. all the right. power. They did. And, buddy, they have been neutered. And I mean neutered good. Quickly. I mean. Well, they, they became. If they had just not been so difficult to start with right. and said, okay, we're going to let you pay the players. We're going to let you give them a few thousand dollars a semester. Yep. S- same thing they could make flipping burgers somewhere. So they can go on a date they can buy gas and all that. You would have tempered some of this. But yep. they just were anti-dealing with that, difficult dealing with that, arrogant dealing with that. Somebody got it in the courts. And once you get it there, anything can happen. Yeah. yeah, when they were when they were ruling it illegal to get a kid a hamburger because uh, the cafeteria is not open tonight, so his meal card doesn't do any good. Mm-hmm. You couldn't even give him a hamburger for real, you know. And and so then they started overplaying their hand, and then they got a ruling against them, and now they got no power. Yeah, I don't know. And and here's the thing: like, you have to have today. some rules. Well, of yeah, course, you do. At and some point. Well, and that's the thing, like, because this is what it's going. There are going to be coaches that do what I'm about to describe. So, let's say, for instance, I'm talking to a player in Turkey, okay, and or we'll just say South Texas. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And I go, hey, uh, guess what? Don't know if you saw that ruling or not. Um, not only are we giving you a full ride, cost of attendance, we're going to give you everything you need to chase your tennis dreams and get your academics. But I'm also going to give you 30 grand to come here. And I don't know what everybody else is doing, but I'll give you 30 grand. I don't have the 30 grand, but this is what I'm promising because what I'll do is if I can land this player, I'll go get that 30 grand somewhere else. That's what the that's what's about to start. If it it's already been going on, of but, course, but yeah. now and and so then can I go raise 30 grand to get this person here? Probably not. Not in my situation, but who knows? And then, then what happens? Well, you promised me you were going to give me thirty grand. Where's the money? Well, I didn't raise it. So now the student athlete probably goes somewhere else, or and I and I look bad. But that's what coaches are going to start doing. They're going to start promising things they don't have because there's no policing of this at all. Right. So you can and prom- the you people anything. with money are going to write those checks. Oh. And it's not going to be about, hey, I like the university and I like who's there and I like the coach and I like your assistant or I knew somebody that played there, so I'm coming there. It's going to be I'm going wherever I can get the most money. Well, think about this, too. The universities rely heavily on donations. Yep. You've already seen this begin to happen. I've, people who are in fundraising have told me this from different schools. They're already seeing that money get turned to NIL that they used to get. Of course. Yeah. And at some point, <clears throat> is the school going to be, well, the players are making a lot of money off this, but we're going broke. Or are we going to be able to continue the sport? I mean, I don't know. You just, I'd like to see the university start stepping up and going, here at our place, we're going to pay every student athlete this amount of money, and if you don't like it, go somewhere else. But this is what you get when you come yeah. here. Yeah. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, if you're Wilder and you knock him down and you think, I mean, you this got is it, it. I wonder what it feels like to turn around and everybody goes, no, he's getting up. I know. Because you know, nobody up. ever gets up from that. No. No. He knocked him down twice. He knocked him down early, hit him in the back of the head and knocked him down. And then that last that one, last it looked one, like he was That compl- last one looked like lights out, didn't it? It did. Here's uh, Wilder's last fight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, boy. So, so the, right, this is this is the this is the kid he's talking about. He had the oh, my oh, my oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! And this guy's a good so, boxer too. Oh my goodness! <laughs> good Look how much sweat so that hurt right there. Oh my! Mm. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> he just left him. How much take that punch? Oh no! I don't think I. I, I I'd rather be my kicked by me or whatever Ortiz got. That'd be tough. <laughs> I'll take that check. We didn't get enough. Mm-mm. 
You're mm. done right there. Now, Adler, these have two, you, have these you got two this footage, Saturday, they'll get them. Have you got some yeah. footage of Fury showing <laughs> – Showing all that herky jerky stuff he does. That's what was so odd about it. You're like, you're looking, going, is he putting on or is that how he does? Yeah, I, I don't know. But the, um, just yeah. a large, large man. So will you watch it this weekend? You know, I, I've got some curiosity to it. I have to see where I'm at, what the deal is. Speedy uh, Adler will buy it. You can just go over his house. I just, I can't. I, I, mm-hmm. we, we're all over the place this weekend. I, I can't. Yeah. Rick, look, look, look at it. Watch how he does his, his face and his looks when he's, uh, he, he's all that is going on all the time. So, so no, wait, let's see right here. He goes. You see him? He does his little. He looks movement. spastic. Is yeah. what he looks. Yeah, Good all night. the time. He does. He's I, I, don't know, I don't know if you could say that. Either. Yeah. The uh, uh, y'all have like mouth off, dude. That's, no, I'm just talking about the society. Know, yeah. Fine. Rick, look at his body. He's, 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 he's not. Rick, that's, that's the, the best thing I can he's come doing up the with. Helicopter. Right. Right. <laughs> I tried not to offend anybody by saying Doing spastic. That tongue thing. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, well, yeah. there's an article out about that. Yeah, well, Smith, yeah. Bubba says he's working on his glass jaw. Yeah. 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 I heard that. Yeah. That's what Sam told us in the text. I just told you I couldn't. I couldn't text what he was doing to strengthen his jaw. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. He actually said it last week. Yeah, well, so. we'll, we'll yeah, leave we, that right there. Yeah, yes, we he's, will. he's a colorful character. He, he is. is. He sure is. He looks kind of like a monster. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He he is. He's big he's, like one. He is. It's a big fella. The old gypsy king. The old gypsy. King, well, Irish I, driver. I, I, when you take the punches he took on that, on that knockdown. That last one, I mean, end, he's I don't out. know how you even get up. I don't, know how, I don't know how your head's still connected. Because he said in that interview, he said, I was out for about four seconds. Really? Yeah. He said, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. That's a long time to be yeah. out and get back up right here. That's I'm looking at he first. He pops yeah. up, and then he's fine. Yeah. You know? Yeah, TV three had it. Yeah. So, so yeah, well, all right. We'll, uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Intriguing. Boom. Oh, look. I mean, he got cold cock. So he's out. He's out. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. you think it's over? Then here he comes. Bam! Bam. Mm-hmm. Right on the jaw. Good Lordy B. Yeah, and I mean, he's completely out. Yeah, for a I mean, he's gone. Yeah. But <laughs> he pops he right up. back up. It's like, like there's like no the groggy. Kid. When he wakes back up, he gets right back up. Like the caretaker. That he, really he, he, he tells, he's got the referee. He puts his. He says, "I'm good. I'm good." Referee says, walk to the corner and back. He skips and comes back. You know, he's ready to go. I don't again. know how he got up. I don't know. <laughs> Is that the thing? Walk to the, to, to the yeah, corner. Walk him walk. straight line. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not like a DUI. He's not wagging so, that so, tongue there. Good night. Well, he, <laughs> look, look, that's when you think it's over right there. But mm. then he survived. Oh, oh, my goodness. Good night. That's a large man. It looks like a. There's a. Adler. Adler's <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He doesn't like that. He really does. All right, we'll come back. We'll take your phone calls next. Hey, Rick, also great news. Midway's available to rent today. That's oh, right. I got so Midway. That's right. You can see it today. I'm so proud of you. That's good. So uh, so we'll be back 15 minutes to the top of the hour. Your phone calls are next. You don't have to talk about the fight. You can talk about anything you want to. We've covered the Shaka Khan uh, National Shaka Anthem. Gone. We've talked about the uh, Daytona 500. We've done it all. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866. We Be Big is our number. What's up, tubers? Thank you for watching Rick and Bubba on YouTube. Um, when you see this little watermark show up, that thing right there, I'll do that over copyright footage and videos and things like that, uh, especially with the boxing. Showtime is so bad about uh, dinging us for copyright on boxing and things like that. So when I put that little watermark in the front, I'm trying to show you what the video is without us getting dinged for copyright. Thanks for watching Rick and Bubba on YouTube. Be sure to like and give us a thumbs up. All right, we're back. Nine minutes now to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us today. As we unpack another one, uh, and uh, we're hitting stories of the day, we're looking back over the weekend, we're hitting it all. So, you know, one of the things that, and, and we've talked about this so many times involving this court ruling we just talked about, is the NIL gets more and more out of hand, the different scenarios it will create. 
here's where the rub is gonna gonna land, and it's, it's this way with anything. Are you the fans that this bothers? If it does bother you, are you the fan willing to lose on your principles? Yeah, I mean, we ain't gonna be no part of that. We're flat rating, baby, and you go uh, two and ten mm-hmm. in football. You on your principles? Are you are you willing to stand on your principles and lose? Because everybody else will be writing checks, but your principles. Um, you know, we've heard this before. Season tickets are too expensive, but you still go. <coughs> so <clears throat> apparently not. Uh, it, that's going to be tough. And then y'all brought up one in email or hit us. What about when the NIL money guy wants a player and it's not the player the coach wants? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just, just going to be a mess. Or, or what you if know. the coach is not playing your guy? What if he's the second team tailback, right. not the first team? I, I'm not – this may come to a shock. I don't know. But I, I'm not in the world that I believe that we as women's tennis and men's tennis oh, yeah, could, yeah. should get the same as <laughs> right. a football player. Right, yeah. Okay? Yeah. But so – so I think there needs to be some separation. You you have to if, if you're going to do it the right way, and you truly look at who brings in the revenue, put your revenue sports over here, and if you play one of those, mm-hmm. okay, then you're going to make a little more money. Sure. Than the non-revenue sports. Free market. And and I do think we need to stay in the free market space when we discuss all this. Um, but but I do think there for the non-revenue sports, the easy thing to do is flat rate. I agree because they're not they're not I don't care who if you're at a power four or not there's not that many people coming to your things and paying to even be there and if it is it's very minor and most of those donations are going to facility upgrades and all those things anyway so pay football and basketball what and and maybe there's some baseball schools out there that you do that and um, there's some women's basketball there's even some volleyball schools. I mean, we've seen Nebraska. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, treat yeah. them as a revenue sport because they're generating it. Yeah. Um, but I think every school should look at it different and have a flat rate for non-revenue and and pay what you can to be competitive on the revenue side. And let's just be done with it. And let's call it what it is. It's inducements because that's what's going on. We can pay you this to come here. Bottom line, it's a negotiation process. You're signing a contract with us, and if you fulfill that contract, we'll pay that money. Well, yeah. you know, I understand the original intent. But you can get around that so easy by just leaking a story to the media to say, if you're a lineman at our school, we're paying you 75000 yeah. So then they know that yeah. when they're coming in anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, I, I don't know how they're going to ever get control of it. it it's more Wild West now than yeah. the pros and all that. Oh, yeah. and the- I think the conferences are going to have to get involved. Like for our conference, Conference USA. The, the ADs need to get together with the presidents, and they go, hey, in our conference, this is what we got to do. Yep. Let's stick together on this thing. Right. But you know they're not. I mean, that's just it's so yeah, hard right. to – Well, the, the fact people, that they, they get they together can't. to no. talk about it, Hams, may be an antitrust violation. That's yeah, the point. That's the truth, too. You can't plot. Yeah. You know, you can't yeah. plan. You can't say, hey, you do and I'll do, and we hold it down. It's uh, – I mean – Really, I think the highest, the best way for them to get a handle on this is to get the players to unionize. Then they will have to live by their bargaining agreement. Yeah. No, you're That's right. That's the only thing I think you're you can right. hold them to. <laughs> yeah. You're right. And who was that? Was it Northwestern that tried to do that? Dartmouth, yes. too, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Bunch oh. of twenty year olds oh. unionized. Well, that's hey, that's good. I go well. well that's once what their I keep... union makes a deal, they have to live by. It. Yeah, See, they can't, they they can't they break know. out of that. Yeah, that's what I keep picturing is the age and the immaturity of these athletes, <laughs> and I can't imagine being that age, and you're in one of the money making sports or really any sport right now because they haven't done what you suggested, and you're sitting there and a and a team calls you on Monday, and says uh, we'll pay you you know, $50,000 to come here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then the other guy calls back to you and says, they gave you 50, we'll give you 60. Uh, okay, I'll go with you. Uh, whoa, I thought you made a deal with us at 50. Well, he got off from me 60. Okay, 70. Uh, okay, I mean, can you imagine their immaturity the live being, auction. being in the middle of all that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so, and like I said, I honestly believe this, and I know it to be true when it comes to the massive fans on the money-making sports. The high-revenue sports, I honestly don't think fans care how they get the wins as long as they get them. 
Yeah, I, they I don't. don't think they, they care don't. one way or another. They don't. They'll yeah. pretend to, sitting around drinking coffee. <laughs> but when it comes to the wins. On Saturday afternoon <clears throat> at 5 o'clock after a 2 o'clock game, they don't care. When the fans <laughs> see a national championship, they couldn't care less how you got it. You're right. They don't. I, I mean, that's just true. And the ones that it does bother, it's such a insignificant number, it doesn't affect anything. Mm. I mean, that's the sad part, you know, and, and, and we, we tell these coaches win, 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 or we'll fire you. And then you go, well, how did he win? Well, wow, you, so, you so probably s- just want to just hold that trophy. See how, <laughs> see how it will shift because you have to have the players. Right. NIL is going to have the power that the coaches used to have. Right. And thus, I think you're going to see the money. And most of these coaches are paid by the university a little bit, then by the, the private arm of the athletic department, right. which gets outside of that, so they don't have to answer the state rules. Right. Yeah. They pay the majority of it. I think you're going to see those folks' money start going to NIL, thus coaches' salaries are going to come down. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's going to be true free marketplace, and this it'll all balance out at some point, but until it, it has time to do that, it's going to be a mess. Well, what you I think something else you're going to see happen, and this is especially for – the power four, because I think the mid majors have have gotten really good at running a clean budget and not bringing in so much revenue, and they they're making it work. Yeah. They're like our households, yeah. so they balance a pretty good budget. They live off mm-hmm. about what they bring in, and these power fours don't. And so, what you're going to do see with them, I really think you're going to see some of these Olympic sports in the power four go away, and you're going to have less sports with the bigger schools. I know that sounds strange, but I think it's coming. And I think you're going to see golf and tennis in some of these bigger schools because what it's taking to compete at that level are $40 million facilities for tennis. And they're just not going to invest in that. Right. They're going to say, we need that that money over here where we're making money. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to spend it where we have the TV revenue. And we have the ticket sales, and we're not going to spend it anywhere else, and therefore we've got to get rid of some of these others. That's real talk right there. All right, we'll be back. Uh, your phone calls at 866-WE-BE-BIG. We'll check in with you, America, coming back from the weekend. Got more stories to cover when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, whether Red and Link won or not, the Pursuit Men's Conference comes to Dothan, Alabama this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Rich Wingo, Brody Kroll, Bill Searcy, man, these guys, you're going to love hearing them. Michael Adler leads worship. He's bringing in a, a great group of guys, including our very own Eddie Van Adler, his son. Uh, we're all looking forward to being there uh, this weekend. And uh, if you don't have your tickets, you need to get them online beforehand. There at rickandbubba.com under events, or you can go directly to pursuitmensconference.org. Uh, so to the phones we go, uh, we've got Justin and Moulton standing by. Justin, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful, guys. I've been listening to you guys for the better part of 15 years, and I, I really enjoy your show. I Thank love you. what you guys stand for. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, just, I, I need some advice. I've got a friend that, uh, well, I, I say a friend, but a guy I went to high school with constantly posts on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he, he posts all the Bible scriptures, you know, needing prayer, all this and that, but he's openly gay. Mm-hmm. So, well, I mean, how, how, how do you tell him that, you know, like your lifestyle of, is wrong, but yet, you know, you're, you're, you're posting all these scriptures and everything, asking people for prayers and all this and that. But I mean, well, maybe he, is he maybe, saying, is he saying he's in a struggle? Just like, you know, we've. I mean, I guess sometimes. No, 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 no. He he's he's very much openly right. gay, and and right. he's, he's constantly. I mean, even since high school, he's he's always right. been. Um, he's saying that he's saying that this is something God's evolved on, and 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 he's changed his standard on intimacy, ma- intimacy, marriage, and sexuality, and gender, and all that. Um, that's, that's that's what he portrays, and I'm I'm just trying to figure out how to tell him, you know. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's your life, but well, not everybody I, needs I, to to see that because. Me as a Christian, I don't believe that way. Well, I don't know why. It's almost like on this particular sin, it's like we're terrified of it. What would you say to a friend of yours that was posting Bible verses that was sleeping with another woman who was married to his wife, and he said God had had evolved on adultery? How would you handle that? What if you've got a guy that's posting every day on 
on Facebook Bible verses, but you see him like with beers in his hand, obviously drunk, uh, you know, hanging out with scantily clad women, and he's having sex before marriage. I mean, what, what would you say to him? I mean, th- I, it's not it's not unique. It's not unique that people who live in open sin post Bible verses on on social media. I think you would handle it the way you would anybody. Is just say, hey, uh, you know, I know I know how your life is portrayed. I know the things you do. Help me to figure out to the fornicator, to the adulterer, to the you know the drunk, uh, and to the the homosexual. Tell me where this where scripture talks about these sins. Are you saying you want us to pray for you because you're trying to like a lot of us, you're trying to figure it out, you're trying to get are you saying that God does not consider these things in your life to be sin anymore? Um, you know, we're called to do that, you know, and of course you gotta make sure, like Jesus said, that you don't have issues in your own life in these same topics that are not in line. We're not to be hypocritical, but we are supposed to point to God's standard. And what what, what I normally had to do even in my own life is go Scripture says this, you're doing that, help me out here. And because, I mean, on these topics, especially on this one, it, this is not obscure references in the Bible. They're, they're, they're pretty straightforward. And what usually happens is that we want God to conform to a standard that we're more comfortable with as opposed to understanding that we're supposed to be redeemed by him so then by the power of the Holy Spirit and redemption found in Jesus, he then, through the process of sanctification, makes our spirit alive, and then he works as we pursue him to turn us into something that he's more comfortable with. And certainly we'll still have stumbles as long as we're in this flesh, but a lifestyle of sin will then, over time, that desire will be removed. It'll be gone, and you just say, I love you so much that I'm going to be obedient to you. You know, Sherry and I were talking about this weekend. Our pastor did a great message that took us back to the cross, and Sherry and I were talking about this weekend, just spending the weekend thinking about how much we had been forgiven. How, how incredibly grotesque the cross was and how both of us put him on the cross. And to never lose sight of the fact that Jesus had to die for my sin and what he did for us was so unbelievable that you, you love him for it and then your love for him says, I'm devoted to you, and then being devoted to you means you have an intimate relationship with him and then once you've had an intimate relationship with him, he becomes so, so much more wonderful than your sin. Uh, you know, we've been freed from sin. We haven't been freed to sin. I would just handle someone who's openly gay putting Bible verses up that uh, uh, the way I'd handle the adulterer who puts them up, the fornicator who puts them up, the drunk who puts them up. I would just say, you know, if we're going to put Bible verses up, we got to look into our lives, Rick Burgess included, and say, am I living up to this or is this just a show I'm putting on? Because you, yeah. you, you will never find in Scripture um, – the, any of these things I just listed being condoned, none of them. So, I mean, I don't know why we think if someone is living, in, it, it's, it's almost like, hey, man, uh, if, uh, if my kid's, uh, if my kids, you know, doing, uh, acting like an idiot, I'll deal with it. Unless they're gay, then I guess I got to just go with it. You know, and now I'm going to change God's whole standard on everything. I don't, I don't know why that we think that. But we would work and try and fight to help anybody in our life that we thought sin was going to ultimately be detrimental to them. But now it's almost like we've become afraid of a certain sin that we won't take it on, and we just kind of cower and even go, well, you don't want to make trouble. And, uh, but but does, is that really loving anybody? You know, you certainly want to, don't want to do it in a condescending, self-righteous way, but I think we all can approach anybody, including myself. I, I hope you all love me in this room enough to come to me and say, hey, Rick, I see some things in your life right now that really need to be addressed. Six minutes now, past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. How are you all today? Back from the weekend, another uh, day, another show, another week. And we're thankful you're here. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler are all here. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bus. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us at the little party we call Rick and Bubba. Uh, sadly, Bubba and his wife headed out to a funeral today, so he'll be leaving us next hour, but we have one more hour of Bubba. He'll also not be with us tomorrow. So to the phones we go, if you have a, a, a hankering to join us, you can. Lines are available. The real Greg Burgess on the phones. 866-WE-BE-BIG, and we start with Alex out of Sweet Home, Alabama. If you want to join us, you can now. Alex, go ahead. 
Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, I just wanted to give my opinion on the whole NIL deal. I thought that was an interesting conversation. And, you know, I think us as fans are the ones to blame for the money. Uh, I would like to see the kids come into school. They're already getting scholarships to play the sport for the love of the sport. It's pretty sickening that you got police and military out here making a fraction of what they're wanting as 19- and 20-year-olds. Um, so I think us as the fans are the ones to blame. Yeah, I was about to say, are you willing to take losses uh, to be principled? Absolutely. And I'm an Alabama fan, but absolutely. I'd much rather see my kids and the kids that I help coach have those inspirations and those uh, athletes to look up to more so than a dollar. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate the call, buddy. Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Uh, we go to David out of Selma, Alabama. David, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I want to talk about Biden and Kamala Harris and Mayorkas. How y'all doing? We're, We're good. good. How are buddy? you, sir? Hope you're okay. Thanks for listening to Alex FM. Go ahead. Uh, if you look up treason uh, online or anywhere else, uh, that's what Mayorkas, Biden, and Kamala Harris are doing. Uh, treason? Yeah. Uh, about the border. Uh-huh. Yeah. But not security. And, uh, Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. That's right. And um, it's just totally ridiculous. Uh, that, and then uh, nobody's saying anything about that. Well, but, we, we have a couple times on the show, this is one of the few powers that were granted to the federal government for the benefit of the people. And you're right. They're not doing what they constitutionally are supposed to do. Uh, but I don't know what the American people, other than firing them when the election shows up, can do about it. Yeah. It's uh, it just shows you you get uh, you you get in there and you have enough delay in the court system that you can get a lot done. We we've got a clip from AOC today that that kind of tells you about their mindset on a lot of this. Um, she's going to say that we have to have immigrants for our economy, and we do, but we don't need seven point two million of them coming in at one time. Yeah, that's like saying I need customers for my restaurant, but you don't want 7,000 to show up no, at the same time. No. Plus, we have legal immigration, and the last time I checked, we've had it since uh, no, it's, it's, it's a long time. Since we became a country. Yeah, and, yeah. and we have immigrants, like the interview this past weekend uh, with Lee Habib, uh, his Lee family Habib. are all legal immigrants, Yeah, uh, and they probably know more about our country than most of us do. Yeah. I know Lee did. Uh, and they love this country, and they came here to be Americans and seek a better life, and they did that legally. Uh, why Why is that not celebrated? Now, I am all for making legal immigration a little less, um, you know, complicated than it is and, yeah. and, 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 be, and be able to speed it along well, there, and do a better he, job at it. But hey, look, he, here's I, the I'm bottom, not for illegal immigration. Here's the bottom line. There's only so many people can come into our country a year. Right. Right. Only so many that we can absorb right. uh, into our economy without crashing our social services. And that means somebody's going to be standing at the fence uh, being told, no, we're never going to have a perfect world. Um, so, I, but, but they are unwilling to slow this down. So you're going to see such a change in the coming years from this. Um, and, you know, change is always happening and it's good, but this is a deliberate political invasion from yep. the southern border. Yep. And that's why it was in the Constitution that the federal government was supposed to protect us mm. from what is happening right now. Yeah, I don't know why we can't There's a get, reason for get that. some judge, like right. this judge in the NIL case, to say that. Right. And go, we're stopping this yeah. until we, we I get agree. a plan. I yeah. agree. Uh, let's, go to, uh, let's go to Noah out of Huntsville, 100.3, the river. Noah, go ahead. Good morning. How y'all doing? We're, we're good, Noah. Hope you're okay. Yes, sir. And so my thought on the NIL situation is why would they not just make it where schools can't pay the players at all, but they can make money off of sponsorships and partnerships with businesses and uh, anything like that instead of actually having the schools have the power. Now they can just go to whatever scholarships are offered to them where they feel it's going to give them the best opportunity to make the most money. Well, that's kind of what we have now. The, yeah, in, the NCAA, why are, we, the, why are we discriminating against the university? Why can't they hire them just like a car lot? Yeah. That's going to be the, that's the next argument. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. So. And, and they would love to get back in control of this somehow, the universities themselves. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
Uh, Jared out of Alabama. Jared, go ahead. Hey, first time caller, monkey grass. That way you go, Jared. Yep. That way make it have one working. She went to Jared. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, go ahead. <laughs> hey, I'm a teacher at uh, Banks Academy, uh, now over here off in Roebuck in Birmingham. Sure. Yep. I just wanted to say thank y'all for all y'all have done. I grew up uh, going to school, actually, listening to Rick and Bubba with my dad and just have always loved your show. And Thank you. I moved back here recently a couple of years ago from Little Rock, Arkansas, and, man, it's just been such a joy to get back into it. And uh, even now getting to teach at Banks Academy, I think about y'all every day on the way to school. So just thank y'all for all you do. Thank no, you, man. Right. Thank you for what you do. That Banks yep. Academy, that's a, it's a great story, and uh, we're, we know a lot of people that have uh, – that worked hard to make that happen. And so I'm glad you're teaching there, and thank you for the job you're doing there. And welcome back home. Uh, we'll continue. Let's go to Jessica uh, out of uh, Kentucky. Jessica. Je- Jessica, go ahead. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hey, Jessica. I just I just wanted to call in. I've been listening to you all for about eight years now, and I know thank this you. is your all's last year. Thank you. So congratulations on that. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I wanted to call in today. I heard y'all say that Bubba's going through the funeral thing today and maybe tomorrow also. I am too. My uncle passed away last week. Hmm. And um, I heard a sermon yesterday, and it was about God, you know, not always protecting you from the fire. Sometimes he puts you in the fire. But he's still answering your prayers with endurance. Right. And. I woke up this morning thinking, you know, going to bed last night, oh, my gosh, the next two days are just going to be awful. But my heart wasn't so heavy this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there there is a sweetness when he, and I know we don't like it, when he allows us to get into situations where we have to be totally dependent on him because we don't have any choice. And it really is a wonderfully sweet place to be. I wish it didn't take that for me to be totally dependent on him. Um, I'm, but, uh, but boy, I, I'm going to tell you, he, he knows what he's doing and you're right. There, there is a, there's a, there's a piece that you know that he has you because you can't do it. Uh, and, uh, I hope that carries you through this and Bubba and Betty and all that are grieving and mourning because, uh, it is, um, it's those moments when you realize how wonderful he is and, and I hate it takes that. Uh, but, um, uh, speaking for myself, uh, I'm, I'm just that just that sinful that's what it takes uh elizabeth and aniston elizabeth welcome to the rick and bubba show go ahead hi um just a quick comment my niece she is originally from panama uh uh she's a panamanian yes and she married my uh my nephew and it took her 10 years to get her citizenship but she is a citizen of the United States legally. How about that? And I was just, you know, it's, I'm just really proud of her and everything that she went through. I don't mind these people coming in, but they need to do it legally. Right. And what a slap in the face to those like her that did it legally to think, well, you could have just gone down there and walked him. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, right. Right. It's, uh, Taylor in Alabama. Taylor, go ahead. Yes, I'm a first-time caller. Not too sure what to say, but roll tide. Uh, okay, <laughs> you know when all else fails, just say that. Roll tide is uh, is always an option. It's kind of works. Yeah, I don't know what to say other than roll tide. <laughs> hey, well, uh, on the opposite end of uh, of, uh, of a roll tide is a war eagle and the former uh, war eagle Cam Newton. Uh, and a bit of a dust up. Yeah. Did you see this? <laughs> yeah, they was brawling, wasn't we'll, it? We'll take a look at that today. And we got that video uh, when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And we're saying this because we love you. I'm far enough along that I really would prefer to be around those people than people that pat me on the back and say, let's not move forward so we can all be more comfortable around each other. You know, uh, hey, listen, this thing, this, 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 I mean, I, I, that's not really loving anybody. So I, w- and, I would just approach it the same way I would any sin. And I think, too, you see uh, a, a composite all across the Scripture of, of sacrifice. You right. know, if, yeah. you're, if you're going to call somebody Lord, that means you're going to take your marching orders from them and right. you're not going to do your marching orders. Right. And that, you know, that's, that's what we're required. I mean, you got to go with what. He is outlaid as and and lays out to to what you're supposed to be doing, not what you want to do. And to your point, 
it's not brave to go, I just want to do what I want to do. I'm brave about that. There's nothing brave. There's nothing uh, special. What is really special is when you sacrifice for something else, for a higher calling. So Jesus sacrificed for me, but I don't. He, he, he should not count any of that out of me. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. And it's not to earn salvation for some of you start. Look, some of you are so terrified with legalism. We've become so terrified mm-hmm. with legalism that we now won't even talk about obedience. <laughs> okay? I mean, obedience and legalism are not the same thing. No. It, it's a response to what Jesus has done, and you say thank you. And as Bubba just said, I mean, you see throughout Scripture, we work out the rest of our lives with fear and trembling. And, you know, just like, like this person, my life was so nasty when I was first redeemed. Man, we had to work on some some easy stuff before we could get to the hard stuff, you know? And, and now the process you're working on is pride and self-reliance and, you know, self, selfish ambition. But, man, when you're dealing with something, you, you know, you got to go deal with the, 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 the big things standing in the middle of your life first, and then, and then you'll start working on the other stuff. And, and just doing what you want to do is not the hard way to do something. That's really the easy way to do something. Yeah, he said the, the gate following him is narrow and and, yeah, and, and keep that in mind. I mean, and we, hard. We know that too. The hard. Yeah. He says hard. He said the wide and easy roads where everybody's going to destruction. Yep. yep. And uh, sadly so. So why are we confused when it's hard? I, I don't know. He said it would be bottom of the hour. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Why don't we let LinkedIn handle the Valentine show? We could looking everybody up. Well, mm-hmm. do you, do you think it's really this simple, guys? We didn't. We did this Thursday, and we're we're anxious. We yeah, want to know. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're going to reach out to people, call people, set up a time to get together, we're just sitting here on Monday. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, have we just not waited long enough? We is, have. Is that what it is? And I think. And too. we're all we're all anxious. We want to know. I mean, we got a couple updates. From, we got a couple updates from Ryan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and, and there's some weirdos out there. Too, oh, baby, you know? speaking and of Ryan, some of them might be a embarrassed to update with that. You know. Yeah, but I mean, if nothing, if, I, if, I mean, look, we if just not, need the update. This is a win-win. If nothing else, good gracious, give us a good bit on the show. Yeah, yeah. Right. get fun sure. of something. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's mm-hmm. a couple I'd really like to hear from. Do you want me to read this? I won't give yes. this person's yeah. name because yeah. they have it. Because any update, for some reason, I, I'd like to have something. something. Yeah. Well, this person is a female, I'll say that. Okay. I had 15 emails, Good and, boy. of course, not close enough to meet this weekend. I've been emailing a few that weren't so bad. <laughs> but I did have one that tried to go crazy and send some racy pics. No, uh, every right. time. You're going to have that. Um, people are crazy, people but I already knew that. Right. Uh, got one that even <laughs> said he looked kind of like Bubba. All right. Well, that's worth That's pursuing. the one I'd go with right there. I, I, he's not the one that wanted to send the pictures, I hope. No. no. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> no, I didn't have good enough sales service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so good. I would like to hear from Katrina. Uh, you remember her? I wasn't don't. Her, wasn't uh-uh. her name? She was the uh, 46-year-old uh, that uh, was very funny. She had a lot of jokes. Oh, um, great personality. Yep, great personality. You got um, Mama Love? Wants no yeah. trouble, wants no debt. You know about Mama Love? Wants a good family man. Mm-hmm. Forty-six-year-old. Uh, yeah, Speedy's and, uh, got some of the ones. I just, I'm a little. I'm, I guess it sounds like the culling process is still going. Now, I Vicky so. from YouTube said her daughter got like a hundred mm-hmm. uh, uh, instant messages or whatever she gave out. Mm-hmm. So, yep, yep, yep. 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 Well, you take a Rick, you take a twenty year old female at the beach and throw it out there. You're gonna, <laughs> yeah. gonna have you a few. I can't replies. believe who was that character that started the whole thing off. Uh, pork it? chop, pork chop. I can't yeah. believe he did just right. get emails galore. Yeah, well, I, you know what he with Greg, that resume. Yeah. Greg, in the times we're living in, he probably did. Yeah, he probably did. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite one was the guy who was kidding around, acting like he was working at the women's prison, and said they, there's a fight over the computer. <laughs> That's funny. That's wrong, but it was funny. Uh, All right. Well, I mean, if we get an update, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll we'll see so. how it goes. I mean, heck. Um, I mean, no pork chop. I mean, hey, you can't even have an update. <laughs> but. minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us today. All right, so we uh, we mentioned Cam Newton. Uh, so I, the guys were talking in the break. So apparently Cam Newton has a charity. Yeah, a foundation. A yes. foundation. 
Uh, and he does 707 tournaments. Yeah, it's one of the things they do. They go to nationwide. raise money for the foundation. I, yeah, I'm assuming. I don't know the ins and outs of that, but right. I know he puts on these 707s uh, across the country, and they were in Georgia, uh, and that's where this story took and place. And so Cam Newton gets attacked at a 707? Yeah, it looks like he get, he does get blindsided by a couple of guys. I, I don't know what led to this in the story we have. It didn't say, and it actually said oh, they're still look. investigating what started this. Nobody but, knows the beef with Cam? Rick, Rick, no. Look at the pilgrim hat. Oh, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, 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 he's that got may his, have been what caused it. He's got <laughs> his hair coming out the top of the pilgrim hat. That's why you know it's him. That, and he's large. He's a very a large man. He is a large uh, man. But it looks like maybe two or three guys come up, and, and they have a beef with Cam. Uh, and and then he gets he gets hit wow. here, Boy, and before he knows it, he's taking on a couple of guys, and um, what his beef was, and he gets pinned up towards the fence there, and then now staff comes in to try to get him settled, uh, and Cam still got one of them in a headlock and won't let go. Uh, it all and, started under the wee ball tent. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. Well, again, and the reason we're not playing audio is because there was some a lot of language. Yeah, oh, yeah, Rick. yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a really large pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> I'm not sure, sure about that look he's got. It's right. Seven on seven. Yeah. I mean, you could almost think it's. It almost looks like a witch a little bit. <laughs> it right. does. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's like he's. It's not a great look. No, it's not a great look. Uh, I have no and idea. And we have no idea mm-hmm. why people attack Cam Newton at his 707 tournament. We have no. no idea. And here's what's so sad. Look at all the teenagers that are, are there just witnessing That's all fine, this. That's a fine bunch, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. Um, mm. This one so when here. You got two of them trying to grab his arms, and then one that comes from the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. miss that yeah, somebody good. had a trash picker upper, and it comes yeah. to see. No, there it comes. Oh, there there it comes. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> hilarious. Helmsy, that's great. They could have used that. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes through the. Uh, the wee ball tent. We ball tent, and we got us a. We got us. Oh, look at there. More there's, like wee brawl. There's a long that's chair. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Stadium chair or whatever it is that just went slinging. The table almost went down. Some yeah. little punk runs up when he gets against that fence and takes a swing at him. I know who are these little punks? What? Is this yeah. one of the teams? Are they upset that's, with I, the ruling? That's, that's, that's what I think. They that's, blame Cam for it. That's what I think. Yeah, I, I think it had to do with some type right. of well, I'm uh, disgruntled coach well, it's an or important parent. Thing. I mean, we were done wrong, and and then maybe since he was the one putting on the tournament, they go to him and complain, and and then it escalates. They, maybe, maybe, maybe they didn't get the answer. They they wanted. don't look overly big. Maybe they're trying to take out the wicked witch. Um, it says this is yes. It says this is the inaugural tournament. Oh boy! In well, Atlanta this weekend, first well, I, one. I know that he puts on seven yeah. on seven tournaments, and he's been doing that. Yeah. It's first one there, I believe. Yeah, yeah you remember we it had didn't him go years well. ago. Well, the kid it did not trash go well. To him. Y'all remember that the kid was talking trash to him. We did the story right. years ago at one of them camps. Yes. Why, why is everybody talking trash? You're trying to beat up Cam at his seven on well, seven tournament. That, that probably started. Hey, why are you wearing that hat? Right. Look what happened. I know. Well, <laughs> if you walk around with that hat on, people yeah. gonna say something. They gonna say something. You're like <laughs> you wouldn't fare well proud. in here with it on. The hat no. stayed on. I will say the hat stayed on. Well, how's it really gonna get did. over all that yeah, hair? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. tied yeah. off at that hair. At the yeah, top. it is. My goodness, and that is a trash picker upper, by the way. Good eye, Hounds. I thought that was like maybe he had like a weird cane or something because he's got a weird look going on. So the so the witch. Somebody's supposed to be picking up trash. Is fighting. So the witch sure. hat has on what I would call a hat chimney. It does. And, and, it goes through. And he pulls the hair out of the top of it, it does. And, and sets up there on the top. I think we can document when that hairdo and hat style and all the others showed up, his career kind of went down. Mm-hmm. I was kind of a marker. At some point, mm-hmm. do you do you realize, hey, I'm throwing fists with Cam Newton? You yeah, do. At, at any point. I think I, you realize I'm getting slung around by Cam Newton. Yeah. This is also, and I'm not saying this is what happened. It just looks this way. <laughs> this is always when it's bad just to make your friends the staff. Because they're not in yeah. position and they're not paying yeah. attention. I mean, you you got attacked and they got yeah. some really cool staff hoodies, yeah. but they didn't do much. You know, no. the staff let you down. I really uh, would like to know who was holding the trash picker up, and they said, "Hey, I got to get yeah, rid of this." Yeah, I don't. I didn't see where it came fight. from in the video. It was back the stairs. Let's look at the very from the middle beginning. of the pack of the. Yeah. There's yeah. another angle. I, I, it's not as good of the trash picker upper though, uh, but it does yeah, show start like... the. Uh, it's got a closer view here. It feels like. I mean, Cam's got Cam's holding his own. Yeah, oh, that little got, punk right there. It's about five on one. That's a it tough is, matchup for is. anybody. You know, it is. he's holding his own. I like to see more people helping Cam. Mm. There's a policeman finally. How do I get there? That guy in the white shirt like is the one that punched him. The long sleeve <laughs> white shirt. <laughs> who's, who's, who's got ah. the trash picker up? Uh, I'll go back go to back the other. Are oh, you a good okay. witch or bad witch? Where's the guy in the white shirt come in? Boom! Yeah. So he's still and he's still loose after all this. He yeah. is. Yeah, he's, he's 
Th- is there any indication that these are seven on seven players that are after him? Are they a team? Uh, they, they, I don't know. They, they looked a little older. They look too old to be in yeah. a seven on seven. Is this some sort of we know where Cam is, so let's get him? Uh, it's a, it's it's a beef away know. from here. Were they Bama fans? What? Uh, right, could it be. <laughs> I, I mean, I, he's, here comes. I, 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 who's got? The, where does it come from? Uh, it's hard to see. Oh, it's it's just on the fence. That's where uh, okay. it's on the rail oh, right okay. there. It's hanging on the rail. I go back to staff it again. Is, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, somebody hung that up and said, "I'm gonna go get some food." <laughs> right, you're right. Yeah, the the comments uh, are just precious. He read the blitz perfectly and avoided the weak side corner. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so good. Uh, I mean, he's just slinging guys, guys around. Now another one here. He's 6'6", 240, ex-NFL player. They didn't think that through. No. You know, no. Well, here's he's a comment. He's holding against the whole crowd. War Eagle. I'm like, like I said, I see guys with staff shares, but they're not doing a lot. No. Not that, to that, somebody gave you, hey, I'll make y'all staff. They didn't do much. Uh, by the way, Danny Sheridan is weighed in. He says this is a uh, repercussions from the bag man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you want to make Bill Bubba Bussy chuckle, you yeah. just talk about Danny, Danny Sheridan, Sheridan in the bag man. Yeah. Oh, it's, so funny. It, it's a winner every time. It's, it's such a long running I, joke. I, yeah. I don't know why when he's on Paul's show that he even takes calls because that's, <laughs> it's going to happen every time. Then <laughs> <laughs> they start out like they're asking a real right. question. <laughs> by the way, Danny, where's the bag man? <laughs> that's uh, how demoralizing is it when you sneak attack somebody and sucker punch them and it doesn't affect them? Yeah, no. they're just standing there with their hair flopping. How about, how about about five of us ran at him? We couldn't knock him down. Nope. <laughs> stayed on his feet and his right, hat stayed right. on. His witch hat stayed on. I don't know if it's a witch hat, pilgrim. I don't, I don't know, know what that is. Well, it looks like a little plant. Yeah. I, I just yeah. don't know if that's a good call for a 707 tournament show up with that hat on. I mean, well, I mean, does pe- he order them with the top. Greg, people out? shouldn't. I guess, so. Greg, but people shouldn't jump you for it. No, I mean, you shouldn't, <laughs> right. you shouldn't no, be fault. Right, right. right. No, you shouldn't have to. I, I don't like the it's fact that, that nobody big. has any idea what, well, why the, these people went after him. In the Daily Mail story yeah. we have, it says we're still it. investigating what what started. The fight. They say it's the worst thing since that cornhole tournament fight they had. <laughs> this, is, this is a seven on seven tournament. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it right now! <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. What this is doing? a con. This is a seven on seven Cam Newton foundation. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> And tell Greg Burgess to leave. This isn't making that hat any better. (laughs) Uh, Bottom of the hour. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, and I was excited. I heard that uh, Hams went and picked that telescope. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask yeah. you. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Got me a telescope for Valentine's Day. Looking in on the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. that, that, you, got, you, you get up close and personal with that. Yeah. yeah. You get you, you get your show enough good one? Are y'all done? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I did. Rick, the clock <laughs> starts now. How long <laughs> you give him before he's done with it? <sighs> I know he likes to throw stuff out. Mm. I think I think this time next year. Anytime y'all want me to talk, just let me know. I think this time next year, there's no chance he still has this. No, no, that, that, he'll have it, but mm-hmm. by July fourth, he won't really be talking about it. Mm-hmm. I think there'll be no sweaty hands on this telescope. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think he'll upgrade to a bigger one at some point? No, nah, well, that's going to be tough, Greg. This <laughs> one's about two grand. Hello. Yeah, yeah but you yeah. got it for nothing. Some, no. I know. Mm-hmm. Speedy, you okay over? A listener gave it to me, by the way. I, would, I wouldn't have Gave it to that. you? Yes, yeah. yes. Speedy, now, well, well, could I'm you so be proud. happier? Yeah. Just so proud. <laughs> well, yeah. We think he had work. an extra one, mm-hmm. and somebody had given him one. He clearly stole it. And he did not steal it, Greg. <laughs> and so I, we got Amanda went with me yesterday. She wanted to meet this. She found this in, very intriguing that someone would just send an email. Well, yeah. This is kind of same thing that happened with Auburn basketball tickets with me and Braden sitting mm-hmm. courtside a right. few few weeks ago. Very proud of you. Um, and so uh, I just I said yeah, I hate doing this, taking this off your hands. What can I can I can I please pay for this? And he simply said, Look, man, if it blesses you, it blesses me, and I want you to have it. And I'm going to be in Birmingham in a, in a couple of weeks, and we can meet and get it. Well, Amanda wanted to meet his family because she was like, hey, look, this guy's Easy. really, you know. Mm-hmm. So we met, and we got in the car after. Fantastic family. Or was Love. she just going to make sure you didn't buy it? 
that he really was giving it. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's that's a valid question. I don't know. He was a missionary. Probably uh, needed the money. I actually I actually talked her into to going um, because I wanted her to be there, and I just felt like I felt comfortable with her being there. And she we got in the car after we left, and we both started just cackling, laughing, because it is so big. This telescope <laughs> is gigantic. <laughs> we had no idea. What we were taking on. Sure. I mean, it is, guys, it was, and it's still in the, uh, like, the original box and all this, but the the tripod is, it's it's bigger, much bigger than that camera. All right, we're looking at a camera so in here. So think, that- think of, the, think the thickness of the, the three tripod uh, legs being like this. What, what color is Bubba it? Bubba it's blue. It's blue. blue. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a picture of it. And so How it's, the, it's the Mead. Uh, Mead LX90, I oh, think. The and it's got the digital aiming and oh, all yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I Once showed Greg a yeah. video of it earlier, mm-hmm. the, like a, and it's sure enough. Greg. Sure enough, good. And yeah. I, I just I hope, because it does. It looks very impressive, but is it going to be one of the things we talked about earlier that you look through and you're like, hmm, thought it'd be a little more. Well, and we talked yeah. about There it is right there. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good is, one. It is that's a good gigantic. One. That's the old XT90. <laughs> it's a gigantic, <laughs> guys. It's, it's huge. That's a 90 millimeter uh, mirror in it. If right? he sees a uh, identifies yes. as an asteroid headed towards Earth, just don't tell us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can, here, here's that. how I judge all telescopes. Can you see the rings around Saturn? That's the. Right, that's right, to okay. me is the. Yeah. Who? The oh. carte blanche on oh, all of boy. them. And I'll have right. to. Fi- and I'll have to find out. Look how big that thing Look is. Look at that. That is. That's, that's a solid. That's a nice. Right that's an over the mountain telescope. That's scary looking. I'm afraid that may fall into the category. Of what we're going to do about the telescope? Yeah. Do you well, know where you're going to store it? At? I do, and I, of course they've made fun of that as well. He's got in his um, bedroom. <laughs> He's got in his bedroom. <laughs> He's got <in> his bedroom. <laughs> Look, you sent her in his bedroom. You sent her in his bedroom seat. We got a new. That's too much telescope. There's a chest of drawers in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much. That, that's too much telescope. Hey, honey, are you asleep? All right, Greg clearly stolen. Oh yeah, it's not stolen, yeah, guys. That's clear. He yeah. didn't know it. A was, lot. No, I think but, what happens with telescopes, and you know this with other things, people get them, they enjoy them, but then as they kind of cool on them, they take up a lot of room, so they're glad to give them away. To get them. Is well, the serial number to your still point, on it? to your point, <laughs> Bubba. Yes, to your point. I the think it's one outside. of those things where they have two, yeah. and so I think the well, wife wanted one gone. The, so the broke one. So think, the, the crime, the crime is the chart is said receiving stolen property. Yeah. So whether you bought it or received <laughs> in trouble, either. so you don't have to buy it to be in trouble. I don't know about Rick. that. Mm-hmm. You're probably right. Uh, That's but, what the first guy got caught with. It said they go, "Hey, I didn't buy it. They gave right. it to me. Buyer beware, mm-hmm. or I found it." Mm-hmm. As is. I'm looking forward to using. It. I got it set up last night, and I'm I'm ready to. I'm ready. So you have to carry it outside, I mean, or can mm-hmm. you use it from? I think your bedroom? I think I can use it from in there. Is your hand? Are your hands okay? What do you mean? I thought you might have burned them when you touched them. <laughs> this is hot. hot. But huh? Hems, will it look through the glass? I mean, doesn't that mess it I don't know. Yeah, that's why I'm worried know. about that, too. But I've seen, you gotta go outside, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of people use them indoors. Yeah. Well, that's just when you're looking at the night. How much room is this thing? Thirty-five minutes now past the hour. Thank you for being with us. Much to do on the program today, and we're running it down. I do want to warn you uh, that uh, you know we all love home sweet home. Uh, we cherish this sentiment, but can you imagine uh, that you uh, find out your hard-earned home isn't yours anymore? Uh, what? Yeah, uh, you may have seen the recent Fox News story about house stealing. Um, man, how, how many of you out there uh, have actually checked your home's title? Have, have you looked at it lately? Uh, do you think, uh, you, you may think that your name is there, but but is it? The report on Fox uh, focused on the growing crime called house stealing. Uh, and the point is, you better protect your home's title from scammers and identity thieves who take over your home's title and, and harm you financially. Uh, the reason uh, you need title uh, home title lock is the title to our homes are easily found online now. So a criminal, maybe even a renter, even a family member can simply forge your signature uh, uh, on a home cell form and refiles as the new owner. Then your home is not in your name anymore. Uh, so they can take out loans on your home. They, they disappear, uh, use your equity 
uh, and you have no recourse. So why don't you go now to be sure that you don't have to worry about that by simply going to hometitlelock.com, use the code Bubba, find out for free uh, whether you're, uh, you're still the person on your home's title. So hometitlelock.com, go there, use the code Bubba, it'll be free, and they'll let you know. Uh, they'll do a comprehensive scan of your home's title for free, and they'll give you 30 days of protection. So find that link also at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. Just kind of take that off the list and quit worrying about that, okay? All right, so we we, we certainly have our, our seems like daily, uh, audio bites and video bites of the president. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? He's hiding in the basement. Here we go. Yeah, basement, basement Joe. Yeah, basement Joe. Uh, so here we go. One A, uh, Adler. You, I know you have these for us. He is trying to read a quote from from who? From somebody standing up there with him. I believe it's, I believe it's Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Uh, so it, it, yeah, he's, it, he's it, standing it, in front of yeah, yeah, uh, Abe. Okay. All right. So, uh, and he's going to give us a quote, and he, he can't. He even talks about he wants to get the quote right, and then he doesn't. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. It's not good. Okay. And you know, uh, stand here in front of this portrait of the man behind me here. He, uh, he said, and I want to make sure I get the quote exactly right. He said, the better angel, he said, we must address the council and address the better angels of our nature. Uh. And we do, and we do well to remember what else he said. He said we're not enemies, but we're friends. It's the middle, it's in the, in the part of the Civil War. He said we're not enemies, but we're friends. We must not be enemies, well, folks. Lord. And I've been around. I know I don't look it. I've been around a long while. Ago. <laughs> and uh, I mean this sincerely. We've gotten politics has gotten too bitter. Ah, uh, well. I like to think said the, the arsonist with yeah, a mask. Right. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank the the left for being so level headed, yes, right, and so loving and uh, so gracious with political disagreements. Um, well, I, I'm glad he made sure he got the quote right. Yeah, is, is anybody? You know, the more he talks, the more he's becoming Floyd the Barber. Oh yeah. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Did, did, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Abraham said. Uh, so, uh, so is does he ever get it right at all? What what is the quote we're trying to say here? Well, let's hear it again. Let's see if we can dig it out here. All right, better angels. Okay, visiting angels. I think is what he should actually have. Yeah. Well, and you know, uh, stand here in front of this portrait, of the man behind me here. He uh, he said, and I want to make sure I get the quote exactly right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said. We, the better angel, he said, we must address the council uh, and address the better angels of our nature. And we do and we do well to remember what else he said. He said, we're not enemies, but we're friends. It's the middle of the, in the part of the Civil War. That right. thing. He yeah, said, that we're thing. not enemies, uh-huh. but we're friends. We must not be enemies. Okay. Folks. Okay. All right. Just, uh, it's a, the, 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 are you talking about the Civil War? Okay. Yeah. He, he's definitely Floyd the Barber, no doubt. I would have, uh, I think I could have had some fun right there when he refers to the man behind him in the portrait. I would love to have said, and who is that? Yeah, who is that guy? And look, he might have got it, but I sure can, would like to try it. Adler, can you give us Floyd on something just so we can compare <laughs> the two to say how that's. Uh... Andy. Andy. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I used to love Floyd. Oh, yeah. He look, may be my Floyd favorite. Floyd the barber. Him and Barney. Was, uh, was comedy yeah. genius. Oh, he was. So, uh, Andy. <laughs> um, so, is it true that he is calling Xi the head of Russia as well? Who, of course, is you know head of China. Um, mm. You know the Russian uh, name Xi. That's common. Yeah. So, but I mean, are we? Is that true, or is this? Because I want to be fair. There's plenty we <clears throat> we don't have to embellish on at all. Uh, is it true that's taking place? That he's calling Xi the head of Russia? <clears throat> uh, I, I don't know, but uh, we we have. Um, he said he's traveled seventeen thousand miles with Xi. On that train you always yeah. talked about. Yeah. And does he really call him head of Russia? Here, here he is. Check it out. See what you think. Oh, can you imagine that? What's wrong with that, Floyd? What's wrong? Well, I'd rather mix my own lather in a shaving mug. I kind of like the sound the brush makes against the mug. You know, it's a kind of a clap, 
Clap, clap, clap, Oh, I'm sorry. That was Floyd the Barber. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, that was you know what? I hate to say Floyd is a lot more together. He really is. He really is. That's probably not a fair comparison. good. He really is. Yeah, 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 it has to be where Floyd's hung up. Here's Biden Biden talking about Xi. Okay. I, uh... I've spent a lot of time with Xi Jinping, someone whom I have a great deal of difference with. And I was, uh, when I was vice president, president, uh, my, my, my president was, told me that he wanted me to get to know Xi Jinping because it was clear he was going to be the head of Russia, of, of China. And he, we, had, we were having problems okay. with Russia at the time and other countries as well. And uh, so what he said was, get to know him. He's going to be there. I, and he couldn't because he was the president. He couldn't travel. So I traveled 17,000 miles with him throughout the country, our country, and, and in, uh, in China as well. We were in the Tibetan Plateau, and he turned to me and he said, can you define America for me? And I give, this has been documented. It's no, real. No. I looked at him. I said, yes, I can, in one word. He looked at me and said, what's that? And I said, possibilities. Possibilities. Okay. The foothills. Let's he looked at me and he said, you have Harry Lane. Let's not miss, too. He couldn't come up with Obama. I was just about to say yeah. that. He couldn't yeah. figure out president. who he was talking At the beginning about. of his, pr- his president, he worked for yeah. I was vice president, and my president uh, sent me because yeah. every pres- my there. president couldn't yeah. travel. And I'm serious. This really happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every now and then, we, get we can't pull up yeah. a name of a movie or a player or an actor. I think I would have known President Obama, who Obama. I worked for. Yeah, yeah that. For because it'd be like me leaving here. Eight years. Eight years. Hey. Three years from now, I'm coaching, been coaching for three years. Everybody's doing their own thing. Somebody asked me about the show. You know, I, uh, uh, you, you know, one of the two. Uh, you know, that uh, those radio uh, show hosts. Uh, you know, beard. Uh, he had a beard. One of them had a beard. My host. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a host. radio host. Yeah, I think you should, should be able to come up with Obama right there. And you know what we did find out in this clip, too? You remember the clip we said he said he could describe America in one word, and then he, the word is... <laughs> It, we now know what he was trying to say. Possibilities. Yeah, yeah. that's you right. Remember, that's an old clip. That, oh, yes. that's, right. Yes. Oh, that's yes. right. And and so Probably he was. Man, he was. Man. You know, we couldn't figure out what the word was. I mean, it was you couldn't. I can do one word. Uh, it, <laughs> there was. There was. Yeah. There was. You couldn't understand it at <laughs> all. I think now we know because of this clip. Back <laughs> then, he was trying to say possibility. Yes. <laughs> I guess it was. Yeah. Yeah. That's his go-to. Yeah. It is. And that and don't jump. Is that Liberty commercial? Liberty, 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 Liberty. Yeah, God love him. I mean, of course, he's a leader of free world. But yeah, uh, so we'll we'll come back. The Duke Wake Forest game. Duke loses uh, one of their studs, or he's injured. I don't know how, if he's out. How he got injured has become controversial. I don't know what you do uh, when it comes to basketball. You know, they're just so they're right there on the court. The fans are. Yeah. So uh, we'll 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 show that to you when we come back. Stay close. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's, I mean, it's it's <laughs> the base on it's wider than that than that camera. It's picture that right there, right, right. that camera right there, but bigger, there. but bigger. Here's all I need to know: When you got up to get ready for work today, did you have to ease around it? No, 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 no. Okay, no, all right. not at all. He's got okay. a big room, Rick. No, oh, it's good. a there's a, better. There's a spot in our bedroom mm-hmm. that uh, that is needs a, something. It needs right something. Bed. Okay. Uh, if you're if, well, have you looked up pictures from that telescope? It so looks you, pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. When you get home, you hang something on it, like your jacket. No. Yeah. no. You gonna no, find no. the big bear? No. <laughs> Hams, can you I, take pictures through it? You and can. Video and all you that? sure can. Oh boy. There's a program you can hook up to your computer. There's an app actually. for that. Are you gonna see Orion's belt? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Greg asked a legitimate question. Well, that's am, a shocker. Am I going to am I going to look into it and go, man? I was expecting much more. See, yeah. that's always a possibility, and there is a possibility. Is. When you look I'm, at it, and I'll be honest, physically it looks intimidating. I'll be right. honest when I when I do eventually look into it, I'll I'll let you know. I'll tell you the truth. Is there well, a chance it, that you don't have it, it set up right and like it, is that capable for more? Oh, I've still got know? some. Yeah, I have still yeah. got some programming to do. Oh, that I've got to oh, learn. Boy, yeah. and, and I think too the the problem you fall into a lot of the pictures you see in magazines are made from these telescopes. It's as big as a football. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. There it is. There's, There's the walking dog, Bubba. Oh, is that how you can see it? If you see it that good, that's no awesome. Way. Uh, There's no, no way. way. Huh? No, yeah, but that's hanging up some kid's room. <laughs> we'll be back. Phone calls are next at 866 We Be Big. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
Bubba, how are you? I, I want to say it's, it's interesting. I actually, and it was an uncomfortable moment. Uh-uh. Even though it was extremely kind, extremely kind, I was uh, running around to a meeting I had to go to last night, and I came by the office to pick up some stuff that I needed, realized uh, that I needed to grab a little something for dinner uh, before I went to the meeting, uh, and we have various places close to us here at the office, and um ties into me bringing you into the show here. Uh, very kind gesture. Very kind gesture. Let me be clear about that. Does everybody, somebody say kind gesture. Kind, kind gesture. Um, and a guy came in, and he he, he had uh, he, we, we had been at a men's event together, and, and he was there, and, and hey, good to see you again, and it was great to see him. And he, uh, he, he said that every single day, the only time he gets listened to the show live is right now, and he began to do the introduction of you back to me. Oh, cool. cool. Now, now in an uncomfortable moment, because it was, and I, I'll just admit this, because to me, you can't grow if you won't confess mm-hmm. to each other. Yeah. You know, that's part of accountability. <laughs> I was in Panera Bread. And, uh, and to make that more, he could, the only way that could have been more uncomfortable for me since my wife wasn't with me is the fact that he said to the person behind the counter, very kind gesture. Somebody say kind gesture. Kind, kind gesture. gesture. Hey. His dinner's on me. I got him. And then I realized that I'm in Panera Bread and the guy just bought my dinner. Yeah. 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 Boy, boy, boy. And I thought to myself, I did feel special for just a minute. Yeah. Uh, But, uh, and it was a very kind thing to do. But it was. Kind gesture. Somebody say kind gesture. Kind Kind gesture, gesture, Rick. But uh, so I just want to say good morning and good good (laughs) afternoon or whenever you listen. But I think for him, it's live. So. Probably morning, and he said, I, I, "I've been, I've been, I, I've got, I've got Bubba's introduction memorized. That's 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 my routine every day." Yeah, and I, that was very very kind. Uh, always somebody say kind gesture. Kind, kind gesture. gesture, right? Always interested kind. to see your song choice for every day because mm-hmm. I enjoy that. Have you ever met anybody that doesn't like music and they don't listen to music? Because I know we love music. Mm. Met you somebody know, the other I day and said, no, I don't like I have, music. Don't I don't like, I, they said I they don't, I don't not like a music. certain type of music. No, I, I listen to talk everything. It's talk everything. But I don't, I like, don't music. like music. I don't like music. Don't listen and don't like are two different things. I like music, but I never listen to music unless I'm here during the, that's. So yeah, no, this person said, I, I don't do care not music. Like I don't it. like music. I'm, like I'm going to have to say this. I don't think I'd like to be around that person. Nah, I'm telling you, I was very surprised. I couldn't believe it. Who don't like I would have had to dig deeper on that. I'd have had to ask some follow-up questions. Can I tell you what? What's interesting about that is that it's so so interesting you said that because I kid you not, over the weekend I was assessing myself on how much I like music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? I, I, yeah, I okay. really really like music. <laughs> and, uh, and and so. Uh, Ten minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us today. We'll get to more of your phone calls coming up a little bit later on in the program. Bubba will be uh, leaving us after this segment, uh, going to a funeral this afternoon and then out again tomorrow. So uh, as uh, we work our way back, the Duke Wake and Forest. And scheduled. It could change. You yeah, know, could every change. day it changes. Every day <laughs> it changes. So uh, that's that's yeah. the schedule as far as we know. Uh, so as for t- right now, it's kind of like a seven-day forecast. It could move. Yep. Uh, so um, the Duke... Wake Forest game. Now, Greg was making the point, this is just a regular season game, right, in, in college basketball. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just like I everything. I thought I missed the whole month of March when I saw the way that I said, we're in the finals. <laughs> yeah, the, this whole thing that seems to be a running theme now is we everything is made out to be the greatest thing ever. And, you know, we, we don't, you know, we've dumbed down the standing ovation. And it seems like now we're starting to dumb down the storm the court, storm the field. Uh, even if we just beat our rival in a regular season game, we, we storm. We tear uh, the place up. You know, you know, it's like we didn't win the championship. We didn't. We didn't win the rival game. Or I mean, you know, it's not the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is not what puts us now in March Madness. Um, but anyway, so storming fields and storming courts is getting more and more prevalent, and it's it's causing problems. And for Duke, uh, it causes a, a really big problem. I mean, Speedy made the point that even the Wake Forest coach realizes that, that a storming is coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he calls a timeout, really, for security to get themselves in position. But there's still only so much you can do. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing yeah. they can yeah. do. Yeah. And, and see, the ACC has no penalties for this. <clears throat> SEC does. Okay. You get like half a million, a million, and It's a hundred. SEC is a hundred, two fifty, five hundred. Five hundred, okay. okay. 
And but, but this morning, it's this moment just after the Wake Forest Duke game that's now in the spotlight. Duke star Kyle Filipowski caught in the middle as Wake Forest fans storm the court, colliding with several as they run past, injuring his right leg. So there you go. Mm. Y'all wanted the rest of that package? I was just letting it just well, to see so you could the, see it. The bottom line is uh, he has nowhere to go. I mean, he is completely surrounded. You're going to see him about the W. Right yeah, here, Rick, see him, you see him, yeah. and he's walking. And see, the first guy hits his knee, and then he goes down and gets spun around. Mm. Yeah, Couldn't you just holler from your seat and scream? And even if you want to throw something. Right. Well, Again, you're being overrun to the point you can't defend yourself. You know. See how quick. Right, now where they, are y'all going? It's a basketball court. Where are you going? Do you see how quick out of out from under the goal the students come? I mean, you could not. I mean, you, you, what yeah, can yeah. you do? Wow. That's a lot of people running at you. Yeah, so then he does the one-legged injured hop into the locker room. This is knees? Right, right knee. Oof. Knees will do something weird. Just you take a weird yeah, step. Yeah, well, a knee on knee is, is, is Especially terrible. Especially when they're going one way and you're going another. Yes. So, so we have some – now we have a player, a key player, for another team hurt. Now, I don't know how what hurt he faking? is. Do we have an update on how hurt he is? I think he was going to be looked at today. You know, we had this with uh, the the young lady a couple of weeks ago. We Jaylen looked Clark. at it and yeah, and thought, you know, is this necessary or whatever? But you know, you've been playing a game, you've been running, you're tired, and sometimes you're not going to see everything coming at you uh, from. And like in this case, just overrun. I mean, there's, but that's there's, not a minor. Yeah, this is not. There's a few people on the court. <clears throat> no. And let me step around you. He has nowhere to go. I mean, it's like you. He's uh, defenseless. And if you look, Rick, on that clip, number five, he sprints off the court and avoids it. You, you'll see see number five yeah, in the uh, left hand uh, corner. Right. Just watch. See, he runs out of the court as quick as he could. Yeah, look at him. And and the other player did not get the jump to do that. He's just trying to walk off. And uh, big that, man that guy too catches him in the knee. Uh, look, it looks look, like here. See, he's um, already holding it up, spinning on the other one. Right after the game, uh, Duke's head coach said it, it looked like it was a sprained ankle, but he is. Um, he his ankle does look like it. His right ankle looks like yeah, it, it yeah, kind of yeah. folds over. He was a being bit, evaluated right. though. Yeah. Oh, but the, yeah. the safety, the safety of these oh, athletes are. Watch or, him kind of regroup after the guy passes. You'll see him kind of turn. It'll kind of see oh, it turn. Ah, right there. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that ain't good. Hmm. Uh, so now this has got everybody saying, "All right, do, do we? What, what do we do here?" I mean, because to y'all's point, it's hard to keep somebody from being from that close. Build a wall, unless you, do you ban? We're gonna have to put up like chicken a wire. <laughs> be like a like, hockey rink. <laughs> they're gonna put up chicken wire like they had in Road High. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, everybody yeah. throwing stuff at the band. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it's. Uh, I now you could say, "Hey, let's let's use common sense." If you're storming the field and you see an opposing jersey, just try to avoid them. Well, good luck with that. Well, <laughs> yeah. they were running yeah. reckless. Abandon. Oh yeah. When I, I first like, saw this, I thought it was the southern border, but I realize now. <laughs> well, you okay. Could. Hey, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> were they running with blinders on? They can't see. That's well, about... I just don't think they care. <laughs> right. I, mean, I, mean, I think that's the point. Right here we come roaring. <laughs> yeah, because where are you going? The basketball court's not very big. And where most of these people don't even see the players. You see them looking at their buddies like, "Yeah, hey, you believe this?" <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but it's a regular season game. I understand Wake Forest beating Duke is you, you're glad you did yeah, that. And that's a big deal. But it's, is it is it storm the court already? I mean, I, again, I thought I, they'd won the NCAA tournament. I, I didn't go, going back to the one that collided uh, with him, did it look like as they were hitting, he was turning his face trying to give him uh, get, like give him a little bit? He did. As, he did. As, yeah, if you look, if you slow it, it down like from the original, it's like he's talking to him coming up right there. Trash. Yeah. You're like, hey, what about that? What do you think about that, Big Blue? <laughs> of course, then then a bip hits you with a striped overall. Something yeah. about that makes it more of a bip. Oh, of course yeah. it does. You get injured by right. guy and some striped overalls. Yeah. Of course, that's a, that's <laughs> that much more annoying. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, uh, you might be giving him a little business here, Speedy. I think yeah, you might looks be right. Like it. Hey, looks how about like that? Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Yeah, okay, call your mama. You know. Because he's got a phone in his hand like oh, he's doing. Elbow. Yeah, he did. He gave him a little Here comes elbow. the bill for the striped clothes. All right, so. <laughs> you got to protect yourself. Yeah, somehow. I was going to say, I was about to open that door, Bubba. So if I'm a player. What are you doing? And I decide I'm going to the locker room and I'm just going to start plowing people and I hurt somebody. Am I liable? What, what now happens? Well, I, I don't I, know. I, I think the, the fans on the court. You know, you, and these schools have to protect visiting teams. You to know, some you degree, got to. yeah. 
Oh, I, and a guy afterwards gave him a little shove. Look, sorry. So there's the yeah, yeah guy, and it gets past <laughs> him. And ankle goes bad. This guy gives him a shove to the back. Boom. Look at that. He pushes oh, him yeah. in the back. Take okay. that, big blue. He pushes yeah, him in the yeah. back. Uh-huh. And he runs into stripe. Wow. Oh, oh, man. Take that, 30. Well, if Mania. You, if you don't protect these players, the fans will start. Equaling the score and when they come to your so. school, oh, no, it. you're, you're, it's going to get totally. Once again, it'll get totally out of hand yeah. if you don't fix the problem now. It's going to look like Cam Newton standing under a tent. Well, it exactly. Is. It is. Yeah, and you can see staffs trying to get to him. Yeah, I mean, they, or yeah, NIL. Like, yeah, right. It's going to look like uh, that. Complete right. chaos. So, <laughs> video video seven. Apparently, Brittany Griner is yeah. is wanting to take on us talking about her voice. What's he doing? Yeah, That's she said. She said, "What y'all got? What, yeah. What's wrong? No, she, I, don't, I don't understand why everybody's talking about my voice." She so. doesn't take it on, but she recorded Ooh. another video, and people are, are reacting to her Dude, voice again. Uh, again? Yeah. I mean, it's 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 yeah. shocking. It is shocking. Okay. PG signing out. Just want to thank everybody at BU Nation. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, that's that energy I need. I appreciate y'all. That's not helping. Good. That's Lord. not helping. That is not helping. That's, mm. That's shocking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Did I didn't that not know, hurt? I didn't know that? the person that we were rescuing from the from Russia and swapping the <laughs> Lord of War for. <laughs> Lord of War. I didn't know that. That's Man. who we were swapping the Lord of War for. Yeah. I didn't know that when all that was going on. Yeah. yeah. That's what I need. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm yeah. PG yeah. signing out. Just want to thank everybody at BU Nation. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, that's that energy I need. I appreciate y'all. Oh, that was Joanna Gaines. Fix her up. Woke. Just kidding. We're woke. They've gone woke. Are you ready to see uh, your fixer upper? Yeah. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> Special guest today for our fixer upper. Hey, glad to be here. <laughs> I was very shocked. I'm on dig a dance today. <laughs> <laughs> I like Demolition Day. That's my favorite. <laughs> Give me the sledgehammer. Demo Day. It's Demo Day. <laughs> BGL. Bubba, have a. I can't say have a good day because I know. No, we'll uh, we'll do what we need to be done. Thank you guys for allowing us to do that, and we will see you Wednesday, hopefully, Lord willing. Top of the hour. If you're staying with us, there's more Rick and Bubba coming up. We'll be back right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And, 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 I, and, I, and I really enjoy music. Right. Yeah. And uh, so it's... Uh, You're talking about when you find a little song and you go, yeah. oh, that's, that just hits. I just... I just perfect. Doggone it. I love... I, I, I like really it. enjoy music. Yeah. And I really was assessing myself. I said, did my guy... Because some, you know, there's things in life that you kind of run to at time and you kind of cool on it. Uh-huh. And then there's those things that last. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I came to the conclusion that if you asked... If you said, well, tell me some things, Rick, like, I'd have to list on the list. I like music. Yeah. 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 And then this person does not. No. You saw you have never a dog, a dog, a dog turn, turn its head like it's trying to figure yeah. out something. Mm-hmm. That was me. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, I've what? I've never yeah. heard anyone say that I just don't like music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've never heard anybody declare it. Yeah. I, and that was the, that was the, that genre, was the statement. You know, like Maybe I don't like show. Gaelic music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. But right. just music in music. general. I don't yeah. like I don't like the sound of music. It's a big yeah. statement. It is a big statement. It was. That's why I was I bet that's a miserable person, too, by the way. Now, I do know some people that like, I don't, you know, I'm very casual with music. I don't know much about it, but I never heard anybody say I just don't like it. Yeah. I See, like. I, I have all kinds of useless information about music, mm-hmm. musicians, and the history of this, and who played what, and mm-hmm. it, it means nothing. Mm-hmm. And I'm almost embarrassed when I know the answer to some of the stuff. But mm-hmm. I've yeah. just always been interested, right? In yeah. And uh, and I and I and I'm not I don't I'm not all in. I mean, I can certainly be interested in it, but I'm kind of this is where I'm a little more like Bubba. I, I really am no more complicated than that's either a good song or it's not. That's it. Right. I don't care how complicated right. it is. I don't care what chords are being used. Mm-mm. I certainly seem to have chords that I'm drawn to. Right. right. You know, but yeah, I just kind of give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Right. And then yeah. some of them grow on you a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I found actually with me, probably the simpler the song, the more I like it. And yeah, I, 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 I like, I like good power chords, good, good open chords, nothing complicated, mm-hmm. you know? So, so anyway, um, no, but no. So to answer your question, Speedy, no. <laughs> Uh, I've never had somebody say that. I mean, just that blanket statement. Here's music, and I'm putting the Ghostbusters cross through it. Right. I don't like it. No, I've never heard Bizarre. that. Bizarre. So, uh, 17 minutes past the hour, 
866 we be big is the number more of the rick and bubba show coming up right after this rick and bubba rick and bubba in at any time on the program today paying attention for that uh, because it is in play as a new week started yesterday uh, we do have much to cover. Coronavirus update. I, I don't have any theme music for that yet, but, you know, it's it's one of these things. Um, Is there anything about being sick over love or something? We need a good theme I've song. I've got Bad Medicine by, by, you know. Yeah, well, that, that you may know, work. Talks about being sick and that all that. That may work, yeah, Rick, by the way. By, by bon, bon Jove. Yep. But, I, you know, bon it, it's down to this again with me. I think I'm getting too tired to be afraid of dying of the latest scare. Yeah, you know, I, you know, when I was younger, I'd pay. Yeah, but oh, something's gonna get us again. But so many things have been told it's gonna get me. And let me be clear, it might. Yeah, coronavirus may mm-hmm. kill Rick Burgess. It, it it certainly might. But I just can't. It's like it's like I can't, I can't be pulled into all this again. <laughs> it, you know what I mean? It, it's like you just there's a certain burnout factor. I'm like, I just can't be. Yeah. I can't be terrified again of something else. It's just uh, here. You know, I've I'm, used up my terrorized uh, yeah. time. I'm I'm out. If it's it, you know, I've I've been through swine. I've been through <laughs> bird. I've been through the, the you know this. Oh, the, we got the wrong right. strand and Adrian. Uh, oh, all no. this acid rain. You know, just just we've been through. There's just so many things going to get me. You know, Chernobyl. Somehow that's going to get me. You know, and, and no. it just. You know, fallout. I just there's just been so many things. I I just sweeteners. Yeah, I, yes. Uh, wrong sweeteners are gonna give me eggs. Are gonna get me. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Watch coffee. Coffee's good. Coffee's fine. What's wrong with coffee? Nothing. I just can't. I can't follow it all. You know, gluten's getting me after me now. I mean, I just can't live my life running from gluten anymore. I, I just. I, I, I just. I can't. You know, we're not called to a spirit of fear. We're not supposed to be stupid and reckless. And I'm just gonna land somewhere in the middle. Okay, is that all right, mm-hmm. everybody? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Well, I think you you have. What am I going to do about that, it? That it's all going to be okay. And what am I going to do about it? Yep. Uh, and, really? Because I look on TV last night, and you know, you think to yourself, you "Stay on the ship." They got to do something. But yeah, that, there's a woman last night. She just says as clear as she can say it right into the camera. Well, the, so you, wait a minute. You lied about the that your test came back negative. Yes. I, I just wanted to get off that ship. And they <laughs> well, said, see, so, so, and then she said, and then I started running a fever, and they're like, "Wow, see." Uh, so you know what? Nobody's going to follow the rules, guys. I mean, it's going to well, get you, out there. You make a great point, and th- this is why I was watching this yesterday, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm thinking to myself. Of course, we got all kind of coronavirus stories stories today. The director of a major hospital in China has died from it. Uh, Eighteen hundred new reported cases. Um, you know, okay. all this Japan is going to try HIV medication on coronavirus okay, patients. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, but you know we're we're bringing so many of these people back into the country mm-hmm. that that they are going to quarantine. But as you said, these quarantine things are not perfect. No, if they were perfect, no. it wouldn't have got loose to begin no, with. No, they're not. So, but have you seen? You ever been around people lately, them, Rick? They're bringing them all over the country to these mm-hmm. quarantine centers. But basically, what they're doing is just spreading the virus more. I I know that you think this is not. No, I can't say that. You you're, you do know. You you're, you're in the rule. I am for draconian measures yeah. to isolate pandemics before they wipe out the population but which, I want, which means in my case i think we ought to care everybody's got it to guantanamo until they are well but i want you i want y'all to know this how's that for yeah. plan yeah but That'll then but, but here's the problem with that even if you try that just like this woman who lied here's the problem we truly have made it guys and i want y'all to know this and i don't have to tell y'all this because y'all y'all alive aren't you don't y'all live mm-hmm. so, so i don't ha- i don't have to tell y'all this you're living in the same world i'm in <laughs> okay we truly are living in a time if you think that there's enough people, that everybody out there, there are people, I know you're going to think I'm exaggerating, but it's true, and this woman seemed like one of them, so I didn't even have to go far to find an example. I would rather infect the whole world than to be inconvenienced. I want to get back to my house. because. We're back six minutes now past the hour. Rick and Bubba, let's go. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, unfortunately, Bubba is uh, away for the rest of the show and then out again tomorrow. Uh, he and uh, Betty are going to a funeral today. Uh, Betty's uncle passed away. Uh, and then tomorrow he, uh, we think, has issues um, involving the tornado relief, uh, that uh, the rebuild that is going on and uh, may need to miss tomorrow too. That could change, but we, we think that's how it's going to go. 
Uh, so Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Adler uh, all here as we move through the rest of the show. So some things going on to make you aware of uh, this week. Uh, if you're in Alabama and you are part of the Shelby Baptist Association, uh, there's a banquet coming up on Friday night for pastors and wives, a little encouragement, a little pat on the back. And uh, I'm honored to be speaking at that banquet and bringing chair with me on Friday night there in Alabama. So if you're coming to that, we'll see you. Now, when I asked the pastor a minute ago, I'm like, all right, can anybody still come? <clears throat> and he was like, well, Struggling. well, we <laughs> that went down the wrong way up there. <laughs> My Celsius went the wrong way. <laughs> um, but anyway, he was... Um, he said you could you could call maybe and still come if you want to, but most of you are probably already coming. So uh, looking forward to that coming up on Friday night. And, of course, um, one of the things that we were talking about this past weekend is, you know, where we live, the, the weather the weather was just fantastic. Yeah, a little uh, windy. It, it was, it, it, at times it could be a little windy, but, but it, was, um, it was a beautiful day. And so we, um, you know, all share. Now I had to go through the thing. And I think Sherry has finally given up that when she and I are teaching together, you know, we, 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 we rotate with some other couples teaching a, a Sunday school class. And when it's our weekend, you have to understand that, that Sherry, you know, when she goes and does something by herself, she can do her own thing. When I go do something by myself, I can do my own thing. Where it gets quite interesting is if we're doing it together. Clash. Mm -hmm. Because the problem is, is you've got, one style of preparation ver versus another style yeah. of preparation couldn't be further. And, and I've noticed now that, and I think this is actually is actually good for for Sherry and and for the presentation. At one time, and y'all know because y'all have dealt with me here for a long time, is um, it's just a reputation I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not that I can be a little stubborn on trying to get me to to no. adapt to a new way to no. do things. What? And, no. uh, I mean, Who that, started that? Really I don't well. know. I don't know where that came from, yeah, and I, I wonder if it's even even fair. But fake news. Uh, so she likes to say, "Here's what we're doing. Here's here's word for word," because she's very good at writing curriculum and on writing. She's a great writer. I'm not, and she wants to write it all out. And then say, I'm going to assign your parts, and then here's my parts. That that has not gone well because that's potential to go bad. She she says you, you I, we we need to run through it. Okay. And I don't know about I don't I don't do run throughs. It, it's just I can never make myself be in like what's ahead. Practice. Like like she finally realized a, a, a month ago, the last time that we we talked, she said, all right. When you were practicing it, I really thought this was going to go horribly uh, because you didn't seem prepared. But then but when you we, knew you had it. but then when we did the message and we taught it, it was nothing like us at home. And I said, "Cause I can't make that moment happen. I can't make that moment happen in the run through." Yeah. I see what you, you know, it's just it's like when I played a little ball. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but I played a little ball. <laughs> uh, I was not really, uh, you know, I, I was this thing, and I've never never thought this. You, oh, you play like you practice. I never did, thank goodness. Uh, but but I, what I would say is, you need to prepare to play. That's what practice is for. But you're never going to practice like you play. That's not possible. But you need to use practice to prepare to play. Now that's no doubt about that. Right. And uh, and and I have my way that I do my reps, you know. And and yeah. uh, but I can't sit down and go, let's run through it. And that's been infuriating for Sherry. It's, and finally, finally, by the grace of Almighty God. She has finally given up and just says, here's the verses we're doing. Here's yours. Here's mine. There you go. I'm going to prepare what I'm going to do, and here's your verses you're assigned. And you just do it your way. And I said, well, Eureka. We, we have finally. Okay. And now it's, and now it's, going, it's going well because I, I always felt the, you know, the pressure. Yeah. And plus, I have a little bit of that. Uh, and it's funny. Our kids are kind of divided up. They're different on this. I can only sit down and be still for a certain amount of time. You know, Sherry can sit down and prepare for hours on end. I've noticed for me to sit down and Stay like study spot. something and prepare for something is about <clears throat> is about forty five minutes, and and then I got to get up and move around, change and, scenery, and stay, yeah. change scenery. Sometimes you even think I'm not working on it anymore. 
I mean, that, that's what so I heard. That's what, that's what I, you're I heard. disguising it. Well, but I said that one time, Sherry. Are you said, just done? No, no <laughs> Sherry, Sherry came downstairs because that's where I'm assigned, and then she's you're upstairs. Very observant. And she comes downstairs, and, and and she is correct. Over on the table is are all the notes and the commentaries and the Bible. And I did appear to be sitting in front of the TV watching a game. There's no doubt it looked that way. But and and and, and she said, "Why, well, sir? You're not preparing." I said, "Oh no, I'm preparing." I Between said, snaps. I, I said, "I'm taking a break." She goes, "A lot of breaks." <laughs> and I like, "Well, I have to have breaks." And then I and then in a minute I'll go back and I'll I'll look at it again. But if 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 we don't do that, she goes, "Are you trying to convince me you're preparing right now?" I said, "In in my way, believe it or not, I am." <laughs> and she goes, "What?" I said, "As I watch this game, I'm running through it." in my mind, how I'll present it. <laughs> and she goes, I don't think that's possible. I don't think the brain can do two things like that. <laughs> and I said, it really can. I have to ignore one of these. This game right here is just noise for me. Yeah, It's not even a game I'm really into. It's not even close. This, somebody's way up right now. Yeah. I said, but I have to look at it. I have to move. And every now and then I have to walk around outside. If you don't watch me, oh, if the weather's good, yeah. I'll go. Out. But that, can you know what it that? is, Rick? A little break. Can y'all do that? I, I can't sit down yeah. for a long period of time and, no, no, and immerse yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and then I have the same problem with trying to read books all the way through. You know, I, I, I if I ever think I know where this is going, oh, oh I do that. Do you do that? I stop reading. Do you ever notice sometimes? Do you feel like some the, 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 uh, there are some authors out there that it seems like they just wanted more pages out of them? Yeah. And you're just like, mm -hmm. you're going, you, you, Rick, you done covered that. You, you've kind of made this point. You're kind of belaboring the point now. Yeah. Of course, Sherry says that's trying to drive the point home. <laughs> Amanda says, I'm like you, Amanda go, oh, tells yeah, me a lot of times I need to relax. There you go. Okay. And what I have to point out to her is relax means become less tense or anxious. So that doesn't mean I stop moving. Thank you. I'm doing what makes me less stressful, Thank you. less mm. anxious. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And so but if I'm moving around and never stopping, mm -hmm. I'm in a good place. Yeah. If you ever see me sitting down not doing anything, that's when you need to worry. There mm. you go. That's when I'm stressed. No. Mm. The, the, the that's way, when I got something on me. When Sherry was trying to make me prepare the way she prepares, yeah. and she needs to prepare the way she She does a phenomenal oh. job. Uh, and it's great. <laughs> but literally, I, she said that I would uncontrollably go, oh, boy. And she said, what? And I said, I, I can't. Mm -mm. No. I got to. Mm -mm. Teach his own. I don't, I'm not liking this <laughs> at all. Get up. I'm not liking gotta this move, at all. Gotta move. <laughs> There's a lot of words. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of words here. And and I said, baby, I can't. And then she'll go, well, just memorize it. And I said, oh, mm -hmm. boy. Oh, boy. That's a tough one. Now I'm back in school. <laughs> you know, and so I just like I just need one key word and I can go from there. Yeah. Oh, look, the first time she looked over and saw my notes compared to hers, she's just like, so that's your notes. I said, sure is. And I fully understand it. Amanda will see three words and I'll say, I can get eight minutes out of that. <laughs> I was like, I was, she goes, it, it just, it doesn't even, I don't even, you're not even using Roman numerals. And I'm like, yeah. no, nope, just got me some stuff here. Right there's eight minutes worth of fun. I said, look, fun. see that? She goes, what is that? I said, that's VS. She goes, that's VS for verse? I said, yeah. She yeah. goes, I can't, that's not even, that's not VS. To me, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I said, notice my little comments out by the sun. Just wait to unpack it. <laughs> and so she, she just VS. like, so we've made a decision. I won't look at her prep and she won't look at mine. Yeah. We just, we just, we just adopt the other prep and then it's come together. Right, yeah. And, yeah. and, and sometimes you just can't, if you ever walked back up and, and she goes, so you're done. Yep. Ready to go. She goes, there's no way you're ready. <laughs> nope, ready to go. When are you going to run through it again? Mm, Sunday morning while you're taking forever to get dressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little refresher. You know, yeah. <laughs> little refresher. Got it. Cause it I don't know about you. If I prepare too early, I'll forget it. I do too. Uh -huh. yeah. I want to pick too early. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so it, it all worked out. Watch another ball game. Hey, we're equal yeah, but not same. That's it. Hmm? Completely different. Yeah. And, and look, and, and, and buddy, it, it, it's sweet when it comes together, baby. <laughs> Let me be me and you be you. That's, That's it. it. That's the way. We don't need two Sherry's. We got we got one. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Missing something oh, on Netflix. Yeah. I'm missing yeah. something on Netflix. And I'd rather get back to my house because it's not about anybody else. It's about me being inconvenienced. Yep. And I can't remember the last time I put something on social media. And uh and I and I I'm missing something on, on some streaming app that on some series I'm watching. And uh, and and I'm not getting to I'm 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 not at my house. I want to be at my house doing what I want to do. Well, you realize you've got a disease we're trying to stop. Yeah, but I shouldn't be inconvenienced. Well, you, there's this thing of let me give myself up for the good of other people. That's over. I mean, that just that doesn't. I, I love I, in general right. that doesn't exist anymore. Love, now there's pockets of it. 
I love when the media calls something draconian. Yeah. You know, well, which means we're actually going to prevent you from sure. mixing in with everybody else. But again, it goes back to this what we keep saying the very people that, that act like they would cry about that want to control your entire life. Oh, I know. They don't well, understand these terms. They don't understand that they're the, they're, uh, they live these terms. <laughs> they are the draconian. Fascism is the one they misunderstand the <laughs> oh, most. Yeah. And this what has been the same line. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. How silly. <laughs> We're the thought police, but we hate fascists. Hey, uh, <laughs> come over here a minute. I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> we believe in expression of ideas that as long as they align with ours. Hey, uh, that's fascism. That's, uh, yeah. that's what that is. <laughs> uh, the, the far right's a bunch of, bunch of Nazis. No, it was the Nazis. Nazis that said you could express yourself as long as you did exactly what we told you. To do. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that was the Nazis. You were right, but you, you, you could express Nazis. And they tell you who <laughs> yeah. who you can like and who yeah. you can't like. These are the good people. These are the bad people. Yeah. They, I, it, y'all need to learn these these words that y'all throw around, mm. what they mean. So I don't know. I, yeah, me. yeah, coronavirus, like you said, I don't understand this thing. Let's spread everybody out so we don't spread it. Rick, I... <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a story, too, that uh, the government is working on some containment camps at some of these old military bases and things. Have you seen that? The potential of what what could happen with this thing? I mean, they're going to herd you up and put you in a fence. You know, now's now's the time to have a little fun with these people who think we're overpopulated so they're pro-abortion. I'm going to tell them, well, maybe you'll get sick and our population will go down. There you go. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, Bubba, we do have uh, an update, and I know it's, it's been a while since we've done one, but I think it's time for your America. Bubba Prophet stars all around for the Rick and Bubba team again. On a sad note, but I have to tell you, it, it may be sad, but I, I'm, I'm actually thinking to myself, uh, you know, you made your, your mom ever tell you you made your bed, so sleep in it. <laughs> uh, Boy Scouts of America oh, yeah. files for bankruptcy. Well, well, Rick. Mm. They, uh, I tell you, they had some. Mm. They had some really mm. top-notch leadership that run them right down the right down the tube. Yep, didn't yep, they? yep, yep, yep. Uh, they trying to be mm. hip and cool. Mm-hmm. They let uh, they let the um, the, the the world uh, tell them that they needed to change uh, some of their. Well, you know, uh, you can't even say this anymore without everybody just gasping. Things that were biblically sound, biblical worldview. Um, and, uh, so, um, you, you remember when we started talking about, you know, be careful with all this and, and, uh, let's watch out about this because you remember what was said on the show and Bubba, I remember it vividly cause you know, it sounded like it came right out of Rick and Bubba university, you know, where we give out degrees in common sense. Right. Mm-hmm. We said when this started about, um, gay scout leaders, we said, look, it doesn't really matter how you feel about this. And we certainly want to be sensitive and have compassion for people and uh if you're struggling or maybe you just disagree with us so let's just talk about common sense right now i think it would be a bad idea not appropriate at all for us to say that we're going to let heterosexual men uh be in the girl scouts and take girl scout troops off on camping trips anybody think that's inappropriate Mm -hmm. right but then someone could say what are you saying all heterosexual men are rapists no i didn't say that at all but it's not appropriate You know, like we've said about the same gender showers. Are all heterosexual men rapists? No. But do you want your daughter in a shower with a bunch of heterosexual men naked? Do you? Does that seem appropriate? It's not it's not appropriate because it could lead to bad things. It's it's just not an appropriate setup. So if we have people that say that I have attraction for my same gender and I'm male, it's not appropriate to have uh, you know, males going out with other young males out into the woods and, and camping out. It's not appropriate. Right. And and so we were saying that, you know, you ought to just say, but, but your boy, you can't do that. Oh, you ought to be. And uh, so so now what we have now, part of the, um, uh, the end of the Boy Scouts of America. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Here we go. We're back. 21 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us today. We got more to unpack uh, on the program. Your phone calls coming up as well. So, uh, a quick Your America. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
This is getting a, a lot of pub uh, within Ooh, pub. Uh, people of faith and, and uh, on the outside of it. But we want to be fair because, um, you know, let's face it, social media isn't. Uh, and if you don't believe that, just wait till you're the victim of it. Uh, so we want to be as fair as we can. Uh, MSNBC panelist uh, was getting a, a, you know, and, and I know it, it's weird when we get into this term Christian nationalist. It's just a weird, yeah, yeah. B- because, you know, you start out and you go, I think I know what that means, and, and I'm not even a fan of it myself. But then all of a sudden we start declaring if anybody's patriotic and they're a person of faith, they're a Christian nationalist. That, that really isn't true. Mm-mm. But anyway, so, uh, you know, we always take these definitions and they seem to fluctuate a little bit. But we want to be fair. Are we going to do the original uh, clip and then come back? Adler, is it, this person is saying that what she said has been taken out of context that were that people are only using part of her comment as she was a panelist on MSNBC uh, talking. Uh, they're, they're all, you know, I don't want us to be just like the people that we don't like. Mm-hmm. This woman disdains Christians. Well, we're going to hear her whole comment. Now, we probably still have a lot of things to say we would disagree mm-hmm. with, but here is the clip as it's being presented uh, on uh, on social media right now. Here we go. And the first 20 seconds is what's going viral, and we're not going to play just the first 20 seconds. Right. She's going to kind of clarify that afterwards, <clears throat> but it's still kind of murky. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but you'll, you'll hear uh, in the first 20 where she says they, they – what what – Christian national, nationalists believe. Okay. And the one thing that unites all of them, because there's many different groups orbiting Trump, but the thing that re- not, unites them as Christian nationalists, not Christians, by the way, because Christian nationalists is very different, mm-hmm. is that they believe that our rights as Americans, as all human beings, don't come from any earthly authority. They don't come from Congress. They don't come from the Supreme Court. They come from God. So there you go. That's that's the clip that's going super viral. Now she's going to continue. Okay. The problem with that is that they are determining man, men, <laughs> mm-hmm. it is yeah, men, yeah. are determining what God is telling them. And in the past, that so-called natural law is, you know, it's a pillar of Catholicism, for, mm-hmm. Catholicism, for instance. It's been used for good in social justice campaigns. Right. Martin Luther King evoked it in talking about civil rights. But now you have an extremist element of conservative Christians who say that this applies specifically to issues including abortion, gay marriage, and it's going much further than that, as you see, for instance, with the ruling in Alabama this week, that judge is connected to that dominionist uh, faction Mm -hmm. in in talking about um, a lot of other issues, including surrogacy, IVF, uh, you know, sex education in schools. There's a lot in addition. There you go. Yeah, okay. So we, we want to be fair to her and, and hear the entire statement. Um, it's kind of bouncing around a little bit because she's – see, I think where we're, we got to get clarity here is some of the things she's saying that she's calling being a Christian nationalist is really just being a Christian. Uh, and I think that's where I would take issue with it. I, I don't know how to break that to everybody. I know there's people that don't believe that. If you're a follower of Jesus, then – the government has has a role, and mainly God, if you go to Romans 13, God uh, created governments uh, to keep people in line who didn't know how to behave. And beyond that, that that's about it. Um, and, and, and Romans 13 is, is clear about that. And, and because there was a time when human beings tried to just completely live in a lawless society, and it got so horrifying uh, that God killed everybody but eight people. So then we come back and we start dealing with the Tower of Babel. And, and so eventually God says, I've got to establish world governments to keep order. And I will put the people in every single part of the government. They come across my desk. That's figurative. Uh, and, and I approve them. And I put them there to punish people for their wickedness. Or I put them there to bless people. Um, and, and I'm totally in control no matter who ends up serving in governments. That's right out of the Bible. But... But this part about our rights come from God, not man. Well, first of all, our, our founding fathers said that. They, they said creator. I will acknowledge that some of those were deist and, and were not Christians, but they did believe in some form of God. But uh, so this, this notion that our rights come from a creator, that's, that, the country was established on that. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, to her point. What Martin Luther King Jr. kept pointing to: you're you're being you're being hypocritical. Uh, and then there, it does say that we have a right to life, 
Mm-hmm. So if someone mm-hmm. says, well, that's just Christianity that says you got a right to life. Well, it, it is part of it, but so did this government. Uh, and so did this country and, and mm-hmm. a, a right to maximize your potential through being allowed maximum liberty. But it's not, you're not a nationalist. If you say I stand with God's standards, no matter what, uh, even if the government disagrees with me, that's where I draw the line on being a citizen that submits to the government. And that's the reason why Christians always get in trouble with tyrannical governments, because deep down they know what we believe, that if they tell us we must now blaspheme God or we must obey them instead of God, we don't. God, God's uh, standard uh, supersedes any earthly standard. Uh, that's not Christian nationalism. That's just being a, a, a devout follower of Christ. Mm-hmm. And it seems like she wants it both ways. She says, no, we can't listen to what these people say because men are flawed and men are going to misconstrue what God says. So we need to listen to these men and what they say and and not these men. She, wa- she wants to pick the human. And when I say men, I'm just re- referring to people in general. She wants to be able to pick the people that we listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if she wants it both ways. If you don't believe that God's standard was communicated clearly through uh, God-inspired human beings who wrote His holy word, which was the revelation about Himself through people that He enabled to do it correctly, if you don't think that, well, then it just leads to chaos. Now you could take anything in Scripture and say, "Well, I'm not sure that's true or not," because mm-hmm. uh, because a human being wrote it. Yep. Uh, and like you said, she she seems to say don't listen to human beings. What she really seems to be living out is listen to the human beings that I prefer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's well, that, well, that's no different than what you're accusing other people of doing. I had no idea Martin Luther King was a, a Christian nationalist. You guys, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I don't no, I don't think no. he was. Uh, and and again, if you're just devoted to your faith, now where where I don't like uh, the being a Christian nationalist, if all of a sudden the United States of America becomes my God. And now my form of my faith includes that America is God's favorite uh, and and uh, that uh, that this is the, the only country God cares about. And uh, and I, I start blending my faith into worship of country. Uh, then then that's idolatry. You got a problem there. Uh, you, you, you don't uh, your, your love of country does not supersede your love of God. And God's going to lay this place to waste. I, I, I hate to tell her by that. Now, uh, should we enjoy the freedoms that God has allowed us and use this country to advance his kingdom? Absolutely. And this country's done that probably more than any other country. Uh, but um, but I, I, her definition of Christian nationalist seems yeah. a little flawed. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and it's not just Christian nationalists that think that our rights ultimately come from God. It would be everyone who believes in God. Yeah, racism is bad. All men are created equal. I don't think that's confusing. That's not Christian nationalism. No. Uh, bottom of the hour. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. There's numbers, numbers and numbers of uh, charges of sexual abuse and settlements they've had to pay out. Uh, and it has strained the Boy Scouts' finances. Uh, it says um, there were 300 victims uh, that were filing uh, sexual abuse charges against the Boy Scouts of America. 300, just uh, from from one from, and these were all just a uh, you name it. They were all kinds of sex abuse lawsuits involving how the operation worked and thousands of of different uh, people uh, who were who who were behaving inappropriately within or alleged to have behaved inappropriately. I want to be fair. Uh, and it says the Boy Scouts of America cares deeply about all the victims of sexual abuse. And we sincerely apologize to anyone who was harmed during their time in scouting. Uh, we are outraged that there have been times when individuals took advantage of our programs to harm, say it with me, innocent children. Unbelievable. Anybody, really? anybody, anybody remember? Yeah. Anybody remember that conversation here on the show when all of you were talking about how backward we were and how we were a bunch of hillbillies and you know, uh, you know, archaic? Uh, how dare you? And what did we say? It's just not appropriate. You know what you'd have? You'd, you'd probably have the same set of situation if you put a bunch of heterosexual males in the middle of the Girl Scouts. Mm-hmm. Sadly, 
You know, yeah. especially when you talk about a program where what? What are you desperate for in these kind of programs? Volunteers. Yeah. Mm. Volunteers. Quality volunteers. So, uh, so here we go. Um, Look, this is not one of those things that's enjoyable because I hate that things happen to people probably unnecessarily if we just had level-headed common sense. Uh, but um, but I think the Boy Scouts of America, as my mama would say, you caused this situation, and because of the sexual abuse allegations, I won't use the analogy again about you made your bed, now sleep in it because yeah. I think that's inappropriate right now. But I will say this. This is your problem. And all of the people, to Bubba's point when he started, all the different companies, all the different uh, organizations out there that said, we'll take our money away from Boy Scouts of America if y'all don't bend on the requirement for scout leaders to, to be heterosexual only. If y'all don't do that, we're going to take our money away from you. And you let the mobs out there influence you, business owners of the biggest businesses and in, in uh, biggest corporations in America, and y'all fell victim to them. And then you took your, you threatened to take your money away. The Boy Scouts were a bunch of cowards, and then they cowered to that. And then you know what happened? All of you, all of you are are are, are played a role in all these things that happened. Okay, it, it's on y'all, and and y'all were part of it all because you were afraid to make a stand for fear of a political correct mob. And and I got no respect for any, all of you who crumbled on this. And I'm glad Boy Scouts of America is shutting down. Even on a on a higher level, you can back it up a step and mm-hmm. just go, these people who were on the board ran this organization in the ground. Mm-hmm. And we know some of them own it. Mm-hmm. But that is the fact. Yep. And it really doesn't matter what you've done in other things, who, what administrations you've been in, what you do, what you've done, you ran this organization in the ground. And it, you ought to be ashamed and embarrassed. Because you bent to political correctness and you didn't make a stand saying, I'm sorry, we're not going to be bullied. You know, we're going to – this. if you don't like the things that the Boy Scouts of America stood for, nobody made you do it. Then don't put your kids in it. But what they did is they, they – it all became about being afraid to be called mean. Or, you know, you're, you're, you're fill in the blank. Let me ask you this. Can we sh- well, share? Well, they, share. They, got away, they got away from what yeah. scouting was about yeah. and, and the premise behind it. Right. And, and what it, you know, and, and brought, as you said, the political correctness, corporate environment to it. And it, and it was just a disaster because rank and file people are not going to put up with that. All right. So Sherry and I were discussing this over the weekend, and it's, hard, it's a hard word to say. Those of us that are trying to live our lives, flawed, obviously, because part of part of uh, admitting you're flawed is to have a biblical worldview, meaning that we need, we God had to show grace and mercy on us because of, of our state of, of sin. But why can everybody, if you throw the word phobic around, people just lose their minds? Can we? Can, would it be Christ, Christi, Christian phobic? Christian? How you say it? How can you be? How can you have a phobia against Christians? Uh, and, and Sherry and I were trying to think of a word that would work. Um, Christian phobia. Christian phobia. You can say the whole thing. Yeah. yeah can, uh, uh, Christ- about crophobia. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Thirty-five minutes past the hour. Thanks for being with us. HelloFresh.com/slash Bubba. What a great great service america's number one meal kit if you ne- if you have not tried it if you have not tried it yet how would you like to subscribe now and for the length of that subscription the entire time free breakfast a free breakfast item uh and for the length of your subscription if you go now oh. to hellofresh.com slash bubba uh pre-portioned ingredients eliminates excess food waste eating is better you're saving money right now we all want to america's number one meal kit and you'll also it'll add some variety too that's what we've loved we're 
we, we've done some dishes that we just did, wouldn't have thought of on our own. And, and they send it to you with the already, you know, like I said, pre-portioned ingredients. You don't have to worry about measuring, whatever. You still prepare the meals. They send you everything for the meals. It's not just a grocery list. And you, so you're not, you, you don't even have to go to the grocery store. If you, if you order enough meals to take care of everything you need, and they've got snacks uh, to go with it as well. Uh, quick lunches, uh, sides, um, uh, uh, great desserts. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Bubba now and put them to work for you. You're going to thank us for this. HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. So Speedy's got a stress test today, uh, huh. Greg, Helms, Adler. He's really he's about to worry me to death about it. Uh, you, you, so you've it's never, called conversation. So you've never had a stress test? No. Here's what I'm concerned about. There's got to be a reason they're doing it. Yeah. Well, I told you. I mean, you, they Greg. don't just randomly they're do concerned. stress tests. This is what Greg's stuck on. Right. He, he won't come off. Well, that's this. a good point. So I hope yeah. they. I, I, I hope you, they're not holding anything back. I want you to listen this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I've just never heard of that. Do yeah. you? Do you get tired quicker than you used to? No. What kind? Mm-hmm. They got some kind of weird reading. No. 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 Something. Um, something made them want to do. My last physical, they said. Um, mm-hmm. They said it's been five years since you did a calcium score, uh, and so it's it's mm-hmm. on schedule. Well, just do one of them. To, well, I think they said this is in place of that. They said this Added is your own, something. They said your own schedule, uh, and we actually should have done it last year. This was their exact words. It's been five years. And who's, so, who's we? The doctor, a, a cardiologist. No, my my Dr. Harmon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he sent him to a special. No, it's just in the same one nineteen cardiovascular. I'm not sure area. they do it in there. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Greg, you're about to. Speak, right. You're giving me a stress test. No, I'm just saying. Like they said it'd been four years. They're surprised he made it that long. No, Greg, no, that's not what it is. <laughs> Greg, it's, so that, it's, that, that's just what they said. They said it's been five years since your calcium score, so we want you to do a stress test now. And I guess, and I'm glad they are. I mean, you mean, I mean my God, good. you you want to know what's going on? You yeah. Know? You give you, and, could, and so I asked the staff, who is who else? Well, what's is, your symptoms? I don't have any. Okay. You're um, asking who else has done this. I asked who else had done a stress test, and you said you have. I have. Yes, I have. Have you? And, yeah, sure have. And, um, mm-hmm. and so I, I was like, uh, what's it like? And and this one here, trying to trying to pin him down on what it's like. Oh, Rick, I, I bet once he found out you had had it done, I bet he has drove oh, Greg, you nuts. What do you, what do you think I'm doing? Well, you know, God hey, you forbid go, hey, you have a conversation with somebody right. in here. You know, <laughs> uh, you're going you, to you know, be tired. I, I'm wondering all right, what's real, what's not. Because yeah, I, if you're dealing with him, you don't know. I don't know. So I, I have no idea. <laughs> so he will entertain himself. So you don't think that I had to go out there and push my car in neutral? <laughs> no, no, I don't think that. <laughs> That's just That'd be a Wingo up. workout. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, that then, let me tell you something. No, I, straight up. <laughs> okay, see, this is. Straight I up. I don't know. I well, don't they want to get you to the point that you're exhausted. Right. And yeah. they want to see how long you got it took to get there and how your body's reacting. Okay. So they I, I get that. So they're going to push you. I had total yep. misconception of what a stress test was until this. I thought it was strictly so on, you're could gonna, you, can you get through it? No. And then they were like, no, 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 no. They're, so they're monitoring you up to figure what, out blood what, flow. And watch stuff. my hand. Watch my hand. I'm the treadmill. That's what I'd tell you. Uh, okay. Here, not here's, to stress you out before the stress test. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> look, now watch this. As you're going... Look, see my hand. Here it goes. Mm-hmm. It starts doing this more, Ooh. more incline. Oh, walking a little, hill. little more tempo. A little mm-hmm. more incline. A little more tempo. Kicking not, it in. A little more tempo. Suddenly, that it's high? straight up. Rick, yep. I'm climbing Mount Everest. Yeah, that no, point. no. That's what you got to do. That's <laughs> that's at the very end. I got to get you. I literally had to use my hands. <laughs> <laughs> like going up a ridge. On rail. Right, right. I, I don't want to alarm you. <laughs> okay, but I I just get a quick because I'm worried about the whole fact that you're even doing a stress mm-hmm. test. That's what I keep asking. Because I didn't think they just willy nilly said these things. Hey, won't you just come over today and do a stress test? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, I Googled when will doctor do a stress test? Mm-hmm. And it says your healthcare provider may recommend a stress test if you have symptoms mm. of coronary artery disease or irregular heart rhythm oh, my called gosh. arrhythmia. Mm. I don't have that. Well, are you having symptoms? Did they tell you something you had and you just forgot? Forgot? No. Were you paying no, attention no. to I'm everything you were saying? I'm telling you, no, what they did. They, did they, you look out the window? Because they don't just do you, this. Do you remember? For, I think we all did the calcium score together. But yeah, but mm-hmm. none that's of us not have been a, told that we had and, a stress and, test. I'm uh, sorry? Lisa did the calcium and had to do a stress test yeah. before she left that day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I didn't. Because of her, the way it looked. I just know that it says here on the schedule, looking back, it's been five years. We, you know, we need, we're need we going to do a stress test. I think you test. had a regular heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I, I didn't have it. Did. I mean, my last physical went well. I mean, I, they didn't. I, I got the numbers here. You can look at, Greg. Have you noticed I mean, when you're working <laughs> out, you get kind of tired? Listen. That's important. 
Speedy, I'm just so trying, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just to going to, to do the what they say. I'm, well, I'm, I'm scheduled for a stress that. test. When so. he listened to your heart, did you see him go? Hmm. Hmm. No, no. Because did, that, did he do this? All right, this is it. Hems, I'm like, Hems, you're right. Did he do this? I have the stethoscope on. Mm-hmm. Have you say that? All right, come here. No, I'm did, not. Did, did, I'm did, not doing anything. He go over and he go. I tell you what, let's get you a stress test. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If that's how it Rick. went, that's no. bad. No. That's you see me, exactly you see me take it, it off? Yeah, yeah. No, and there was never a. Or like, the doctor forgot to tell him. There was never a sit down, like, okay, man, we get here's we got a I didn't problem, say sit down. I, Rick so just I, gave you a per- perfect example. Yeah. I, I, I tell you what, I'd like to schedule you a stress test. You want to do a practice one right now, Speedy, or anything? No, no I don't. Speedy, he didn't want you to don't. tell you because he didn't want to stress you out. You can yeah, practice well, right now if you want. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to adjust the, the coyote. Just so I still put, don't know what keep I'm talking. Don't pay attention no, to me. Y'all I, just keep talking. I still don't know what we're doing because you won't you won't tell me. I told you you're you going to be on an thing. incline. Well, but and, there's more to that than that. Right, and then you're you, naked, and then you, <laughs> you see this is it. You have nothing on but your drawers. What are you doing? And you're going to have listen. You're going to have so many, so many things glued to you we and stuck to you. Coffee, boy. This is a, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Greg, Greg, Greg. I'm just going to adjust the coyote real quick. Okay. Don't, pay, don't pay attention to me. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, uh, you look stressed. You look. No, what I'm saying is, red. listen, you're going to be in your, you're going to be in your drawers. They're going to have all kinds of sensors, all kinds of sensors mm-hmm. on you. Okay. Well, they do that anyway. You're going to have so many things on you. Okay. You're going to be shirtless. Okay. All that hair. Yeah. And uh, you'll be naked. <laughs> I'm going to have a problem. Hey, those Try things. <laughs> let me tell you something. Those yeah, things yeah. hurt when they take them off. Yeah. You don't have Bad. to act like you care now. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, so, and then they're going to, they're going to, they're going to push you. They're going to push you. Okay. They're take the limit. And, and so you're, gonna, still, you're still trying to be serious. Well, here's what you're going to love. And I needed this. They do tell you exactly how long they're about to push you. All right. Now we're going to go, we're going to go two minutes. Okay. You know, and then they'll, you're like, oh, wow, two minutes. And two minutes is so much longer than you think. Yeah. yeah. And then and then they they start increasing. You start getting you start getting tired, and uh, then you got to do mat drills. <laughs> Rick, Rick, I don't have to do mat drills. And not, yes, you do. Oh, and they got to get your heart rate up. Yeah. And, and, I don't have to and, do burpees. And then you do three sets of ten on burpees. Three <laughs> sets of ten on burpees. That's it. I, yeah. The way it was presented to me in the doctor's office was this, and I know Greg's got a. He already thinks something else is going on, but I just listened to me. Okay. She said, and or she, Wendy, and then Brian, the doctor. Now what is Wendy? Uh, his uh, nurse practitioner. Okay. Um, is it's been five years since your your calcium score, and this is kind of based on age and how long it's been, and more of a preventative mm-hmm. measure to make sure everything's good. Mm-hmm. And that's what they said. He yeah. don't want to make you nervous, but I'm just telling you four reasons your doctor is ordering a stress test. Right off Google. This is from a medical <laughs> journal, by the way. <laughs> medical journal. Chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, and palpitations. None of those. I will say this. I'm older than you by what? He didn't like that score. Yeah. I'm older than you by two. He didn't, like, he didn't like what he looked at a couple week, uh, couple years ago. I go to it's the doctor about every four months. So they can more sugar look levels. Me. I got okay. legs. Every four well, months. months. Yeah, something like that. Four lot. months. And then once mm. a year they do a full thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Never once. So he no. looked at me and said, you know what, your age, you might need to get a stress well, You need a better doctor. Okay, right. well, I'm just telling you. I, no. I'd never heard. No, of that. I have. I, I'm just going off what they said in my, in my schedule and what they want, and that's that's all I'm doing today. So, so I, I mentioned it to to Rick or to the staff, and and we got through all the funniness, and then I finally asked who had been through one, and you did. Right, but I didn't know the which whole, is not the why answer. Why did you, you have to go through one? Yeah, the same reason he did, or did they you were have, concerned. Do you have a symptom? No, they, because we're we're heart patients, as you know, because we have genetic heart disease in mm-hmm. our family. And my dad had five way bypass, and I was having my blood pressure was struggling a little bit. And he said, "Let's symptom. bring you, let's bring you first." Uh, it was a symptom, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Probably and then another one. It'll check your prostate too while they're at it. Now, why, why you having fun? <laughs> I've gone through that. I, listen, Ooh. I've gone through that. I, everything's gonna Woo. be fine. Hey, everything's gonna be fine. I know y'all don't want it okay. to be, but I no, hope I, I want it to be. Now I will tell fine. you this: I, the only thing you should be alarmed about is if you get tired, because I didn't get tired. Okay. Yeah. That's right. I didn't I, even breathe. Hard. Not Listen, at all. Speedy, everything's going to be fine. Okay. But I can't find anywhere where they just do stress tests to do it. And that's what I don't understand. And I, well, and, and I now mean, I'm thinking, should I have uh, one? Right. Maybe so. I mean, because I, I, I don't have, I don't still, have anything. But, yeah. But you're I, still, my numbers you're a, are good. You're a baby though. Can I say this to you, Speedy? They do not have to go through the growing anymore on the stents. They mm-hmm. actually can come through the, the, the wrist. <laughs> now. That's a good thing. Well, I hope I don't need if one. If you have good I veins. I feel fine. If you have good veins. Yeah. 
the law has. That's fine. I mean, he's just the only guy that's ever lived that just randomly gets one. No, I got an yeah. email right here. It's based on age, right here. This is another one. A little lightheaded. I, I haven't. I'm just telling y'all where I'm going. I'm right. not the doctor. Okay. <laughs> y'all can, your, y'all can the, ask the doctor. When's the last? When's the last? I'm just time saying you, I don't have any when's symptoms. When's the last time you worked out? Uh, last Friday. Week? Uh, yeah. Friday. How'd you yeah. do? I did okay. I think. I mean, Greg wouldn't know. He didn't come with us. <laughs> I'm did you, this one. Did you labor a little bit? Mm, we always labor a little bit, yeah. Right, more than normal. If you're doing it right. <laughs> did you feel like you labored a little more than you normally would? I don't think so. Did you and step you, off and, and go, I can't believe I'm and, short of breath? And you convinced yourself it was your age? <laughs> oh, now I'm in the head. Oh, man. I've done it. We all done breathe, it. Breathe, breathe, calm down. Well, she just stopped talking about back. what's going on. It's going to be. Go do it. Hey, it's. Uh, it's a little more than you're ready for. I can just tell y'all because I know Greg. He thinks I'm keeping. So I, I'm not keeping anything that's from y'all. I, 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 I'm you. just. I'm just. That's just what they said. Will you video it though? The whole thing. Mm. Just the don't show us. It? You're gonna be naked. Don't show us that part of it. Right. <laughs> the squatch you won't believe. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Christian. Christian. Christophobia. Christophobia. Yeah. That's probably Christophobia. It. Yeah, it you're, like hey, you're, mad, hey, you're, Christ, hey, you're, you're, you're Christophobic. Well, if we went that there way, you okay. Go. Hey, hey, you're, hey, you're Christophobic. There you go. Uh, why, why do you think uh, that uh, Christians are all evil just because we're Christians? You just cast me as evil because I'm a Christian. What are you Christian phobic? <laughs> are you Christophobic? You know, because in Dallas, if you Christophobia bring, if, sounds better. How about Christophobia? If you can say it. Do you have Christophobia? Yeah. What am I, Lucy? Now on on the, on the <laughs> Charlie Brown Christmas special, <laughs> but 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 really, because apparently all you have to do is is, is is scare people with a word in the word phobia behind it, and they just lose right. their mind. Right. Guys, it, the Muslims have pulled it off. It, yeah. we, we have a lot Islamophobia. Mm-hmm. Why can't we join in on that? Yeah. So, you know, that's the, you you say things. <gasps> are you Islamophobic? Are you are are you are you Christophobic? Are you Christophobic? <laughs> we got to get the word down. Christia, right. Christophobic. Yeah, because you don't want to. You're not Christa. Right. Phobic. Christophobia, <laughs> phobia, and you're Christophobic. Just leave the end off yeah. of it. Christophobia. There you go. And Christophobic. That's it. That's it. We got it. Bam. Okay. Now we just got to remember it. The Boy Scouts <laughs> of America were Christophobic. Yep. You had to, you're going to be phobic. You're going to be called phobic one way or the other. You better just decide what you think's right and wrong. <laughs> hey, there's a concept. What? Listen to that, Bubsy. Guess what I just said? Here's an idea. Have some principles. <laughs> and just say that I think this is right and this is wrong. Come what may. Because you, 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 hey, did, did, they, did they win on this? Did they win? Nope. Don't look like it. We'll be back 14 minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Nine minutes to the top of the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. 866 We Be Big is the number. As uh, we make our way back. All right, so uh, yesterday I started watching all the the group texts and and everything that goes along with that. And I started noticing, uh, I forgot yesterday that the Daytona 500 was moved to Monday because of rain. Oh, yeah. Uh, and had completely forgotten about that. And then I um, started seeing the um, the text coming in of uh, the horrific crash uh, at the end of the race that, um, praise the Lord. The head, the net, basically hit right into the driver's Ooh. net. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's that, what had it. And as you said, that, that hit happened why he was airborne, right? Yeah, he was yeah. on top. Yeah. He was that, upside yeah. down. That right that there hit. is scary where you see fuel pouring out and a fire. Right. Yep. Yep. And again, like you said, the way they they were given no information, they weren't saying anything. You didn't, and then all of a sudden they put them barriers. I mean, it, it had the look right. of a worst case scenario. But Mike Joy come out. was basically he took the footage or the the roll, and he and Jeff Gordon didn't say a word for like 15, 20 he minutes. He did. Yeah. He went completely silent. There's another view of it. So and watch, when watch they right, ended the broadcast, right when they ended the broadcast. They brought Gordon back in, and he did all he could to get through it without crying, basically. So the way, and they abruptly oh, ended right. it. It was it was very strange the whole deal. Yeah, yeah. very there, scary. There's, That's the, what there's the one right there, boy. That hit right him right driver the side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the the roll bars. What, what did what they supposed to do? What happened when he in, initially lost control? Did he get tapped he cut, in the yeah, back? They yeah, they were they were going. He for was the trying win. to block. And he, and, he came yeah. down the block, and the guy that, that, LaJoy, that was it. Lajoy? No, it was LaJoy's one that hit him hit there. Him, right. But 
Ryan Blaney. Blaney. Yeah. He said once he cut, you know, blocked, I was just going to push him to the victory. But they, you know, the bumpers don't get exactly right. He was right. going to just. He said I was just going to push him. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. trying to pass him again. He said yeah. I'm going to stay behind. He said behind once him. he blocked it, I was just going. to – He's another forward. And he was going to push him to victory. And uh, they did you just see when that car hit the whole up. car? You know, you saw the shook. Yeah. All right, so let's go phone trolling here. Helmsy is going to take the phones. Eight six six, we be big. If you dial us up right now, you can get in, and we'll chat with you. Uh, and then at thirty seconds, your time on the program will come to a close, and then we'll get to another caller. Uh, and uh, it's uh, we can got a lot of people in. Here we go uh, in a short amount of time. So if you want to dial us up right now, you'll get in at eight six six, we be big. Couple of things as you're dialing. Uh, don't forget uh, that uh, Rick and Bubba University, a brand new uh, Rick and Bubba University, is out now. Wherever you get podcasts, Lee Habib uh, is our guest, the founder of Our American Stories. Fascinating interview with Lee. Uh, so catch that wherever you get podcasts uh, if you haven't caught it already over the weekend. Uh, Startville, Mississippi, next weekend. Uh, 96.1 is our affiliate, Thurlow and the Gang. Uh, the Man Church Conference, uh, the second one of the year, is coming uh, to the Bettersworth Theater at Mississippi State University. I haven't got a ticket update yet. Should get one tomorrow. But when we went into the weekend, there was 45 tickets left. Don't know where we are. It uh, looks like it will sell out. Granger Smith, James Spann, Scott Dawson, Andy Blanks, and I will be speaking. Chuck Hooten doing uh, worship, and we'll have our new resources from themanchurch.com available as well. So if you want to join us, uh, go to themanchurch.com. Very few tickets remain. Let's start with Addison out of uh, Tuscaloosa. Uh, and if you want to join us, you can too. Helmsy is ready. Addison, you got 30 seconds. Go ahead. Greg, I haven't heard you mention Mama June coming back on TV yet. Have you been watching? You're about three weeks behind. Is that, what? Yeah. Come Ma- on. Whoa, Mama June is back? She's back. I, I watched one episode, I think. Me and Lisa watched one. I, I, I'm not caught up on it. But what, what what what's going on? What's what's the theme of the of the show? Is what is your well, her and the kids and she she's got some I, I really I'm not as update up. What is it on. called? Uh Family Crisis or something. Well, there you go. Hmm. Because anyway, so I I have not been up to it though. Now is this from not to hot? Is that that same, <laughs> same kind show? Of the same show. Okay. Greg, this, this feels like a little bit of a letdown. Did the thousand yeah, pound sisters have yeah, you too they tied did. up? They did. They 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 kind of. You got no room for Mama the, June. Rick, they filled that void. Uh, Mike and Hoax Bluff. Mike, go ahead. Thirty seconds. Hey, is Speedy dying? The reason y'all are shutting the show down? <laughs> Don't do that to him today. <laughs> Mike, you're okay. terrible. <laughs> he said you're, you, you, you you're, you're terrible. I hope you're happy. Thank Sorry. You. No, you're not. I'm you're, sorry. No, you're not. You came over and tried to scare me. Uh, did you do your prep like you're supposed to? Yeah, boy, they give you a list, too. What's on it? Um, you, uh, Can you? I, I, I tell you're you not what, eating. Have you had caffeine? Like the, there's a ton of uh, can'ts, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. You can't have any caffeine. Uh, you can't do this. You can't do that. Uh, nothing to eat or drink, but just four hours prior. So, But that still, I just didn't eat. Uh, no medications day of. Uh, if you take blood high blood pressure medicine, uh, do not take it 24 hours prior. Uh, bring a list of medications. No caffeine 12 hours prior to test. 12 hours? Yeah, yeah. How are you supposed um, to? How are you supposed to get through the day? I'm telling you, huh? Just willpower. Um, no smoking. Go ahead. Uh, I don't eight have anything hours to say. Prior Greg, you to have anything to say? I got nothing. To say. We have Go nothing ahead. to say. Uh, it says the length of the test is approximately 30 minutes, and then oh, it tells boy. you what to wear. Where you know 30 minutes. You know what to wear, and then it says bring a sweater or jacket. Is that? Is, is that? Are you shirtless or something with stuff mm-hmm. all over you? Mm-hmm. Sweater. You jacket? got. You, you would not believe the number of things are going to be stuck on you. Really? Yeah. And bring some body glide too. Okay. See, You're going to need See, it. I thought you just said you cared. <laughs> I've got some if you need some. Body glide. Body glide. What's wrong with you? So it's going to be fine. I, it's, That's a long half hour, though. Do, do they say how long? Do they just see how long you can go? Do they give you a time? Or do you? Or do they? No, no. They have it designed, and they say, here's what we're going to do, and here's the intervals we're going to go through, and they just watch how your body's reacting. So... So they stop you, or they, or they or stop you just you. go to you? No, they stop. You. Okay. What they'll do is go. All right, let's try this right here. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to increase, mm-hmm. increase the incline, going to increase the tempo. Okay. For the next two minutes, we're going to go at this tempo. Let us know if you're in trouble. 
you know, and then in you go. They're not going to try to talk to you and, and like you answer questions while you talk uh, mm-hmm. doing it because Greg hates that. Greg, remember? Can I tell you what's going to bother you? You could, can't breathe to answer. <gasps> Can I tell you what's going to bother you? A lot of note taking. God, they write a lot of stuff down. I said, I'm going to want to know what they're saying. I know. Uh, Alan and Trustful. Alan, go ahead. I hey, guys. I didn't know Ryan Greenwood was in the studio today. You know, usually, uh, usually those, you know, health scares are left up to, to Ryan, not Speedy. I, Kind of filling the void. This morning. Yeah, we're 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 filling the void. You know, you're you're exactly right. And if only JT, the only thing better than Ryan Greenwood uh, when it comes to health scares is JT. You, we would have JT right now. He'd already be down there. He'd already be on the treadmill going, "What's what 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 what, what my numbers look like?" Golly. Yes. Oh yeah. Why did I even say anything? Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to John in Decatur. John, go ahead. Welcome to Rick and Bubba. <laughs> All right, man. First, this has been a rough year, monkey grass and green acres. Yes, it has. Thank you but, very uh, much. You know, first we find out y'all are going off the air, and now we hear that Speedy's got a heart condition. <laughs> I mean, y'all are it's <laughs> rough to go this year. <laughs> right. Guys, no, no, no. Well, this is your Why fault. are you both grinning? I'm not. I don't, I'm not. I'm, I'm the, trying to the hold The Burgess back. Brothers. I'm, is hold, that true? I'm holding back. No. Greg, you know what? I'm holding back. It was back. something the doctor had scheduled. I'm holding back saying my work is done here. Gosh, I'm <laughs> uh, Nathan out of Anniston. Nathan, go uh, ahead. Calling from Calhoun County. Go. Yeah, anyway. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see uh, the Willie and Wanda, uh, that uh, Roll Tide Willie. They got on Wanda. We don't know about it. Are you saying, do you think yeah. Willie and Roll Tide Willie are the same person? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. I could see that, but but no. They're, they're two different people, but I could certainly understand where you would have that question. I, I, I really can, but no, that's incorrect. Jay in Alabama. Jay, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Yeah, I can't breathe. Hey, guys, going to just let you know, uh, get, really going to miss you guys. Uh, God bless y'all. Thank, Thank you. y'all for what y'all have done. Thank you. want to give a shout-out to uh, the girl in Athens, the young lady in Athens that got uh, that got uh, killed. Uh, man, I can only imagine what her mom and dad's going through to help those feelings. And just want to give a shout-out for prayers for them. Okay, yeah, that's that's a tough story, especially when it looks like, I mean, uh, that – it could have been avoided. Yeah. You know, when you think about this open border and these people that come in unvetted, see, that's why you can't play games with that when someone says that and you call them a racist when really they're just talking about security. Um, sad, sad thing. But uh, thank you for reminding all of us about that, and I know they're covered in prayers. Top of the hour, if you leave us, have a big day. If you got more Rick and Bubba, we'll be right back. Bubba. Yeah. It, it like the the ground view, absorbing the, the ground yeah. view is is um is yeah, really really moment. talks about I mean tells you how fast they're going. This view here uh that's shot from the yes. ground as they're coming by that that'll Look show that. you how God. and of course got lost in the you know the hype of all this through the crash. The the move that Denny Hamlin made to win the race was incredible. It, it was. really was. was it? Yeah, yeah. they yeah. they like they paired up and blew by him. Mm-hmm. And then he immediately dropped down behind him and picked the draft back up. I mean, it was awesome. They, and like I say, they're going through the trial and they're flying. Down see, so right, so smooth. so uh, let's see here. Right, uh, let's go on Twitter. Uh, it can be at its worst when reporters are, are trying to be first and people that claim that they know and they got third party information. Why, why would we do that? The, if you were to have searched Ryan Newman on Twitter, the second highest search was Ryan Newman's dead. Why, and and I don't know why, why society we, do that? we are where this is one of our lowest points, but um, it, for a while it was scary and you didn't know what the facts were, but you wanted to wait and see. And then finally NASCAR issued a statement saying he was uh, he suffered serious injuries, but they were non life threatening. Um, so and, and they, we still don't know, uh, but for the lot for I guess what maybe a, an hour it was right or so at, it was right at two hours an hour and a half to two hours were 90 minutes for sure it may have been closer to two hours by the time you got the word from NASCAR and his team yeah uh but then no one but, knew. but the way they were treating it it did seem it, yeah it, yeah they heard that he had been in a wreck you know we were doing the XFL game you know it's one of those things again looking at this wreck and the Dale Earnhardt wreck the ones who look the worst usually give you hope because that yeah. that car is absorbing mm-hmm. all this impact. With Dale Earnhardt, he goes from 200 miles an hour to zero, and that's when you die. Yeah, and they because your, your internal yeah. organs can't change. And they put all the new 
features that, that right. are required you from that wall, point to now. Yeah. That's why they haven't had one. Yeah. Right. And like, like I say, this here, him flipping around those cars, but when he got hit in the door. Right, that was the concern. Yeah. But, but you uh, see the collapse of a wall in the footage there. That yeah, they say all that, that is yeah. came from Earnhardt and getting killed. Yeah. So, well, you have you have kinetic energy you have to bleed off, right. and that's mm-hmm. why, you know, you have to have cr- – it's got to go somewhere. So if you give right. it something to do, something to tear up, it gets off of the people. Mm-hmm. That's why they make these crumple zones in these cars now, and they really do work, even though – if you just look at old common sense, it appeared that it wouldn't. But if you look at the physics of it, it actually works. Right. So Ryan Newman is stable. He he is in bad shape, but I yeah. mean, but non life yeah. threatening. But, but, but non life threatening. Se- the, I think the wording was serious condition, but non life threatening. Right. Yeah. So there you go. And he finished ninth. He did. He slid he across. He did. And he, did. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was clicking along pretty good on that time. <laughs> he was. Mm-hmm. And right. Um, boom. There's the one. That's the guy. You that, see the whole body of the car just, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. stretch like it was. Hey, and Speedy and I were talking about this. I'm telling y'all, Jeff Gordon's reaction, response, and and the way he was talking. I, that's what that's that was my tale. That this was majorly the last thing he said was, bad. "Oh my, he, he, oh my goodness, he's he's upside down, he's sliding through." And I'm I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. And then he didn't say another. He didn't word. say another word until the very end, and then he was fighting back tears. As they were leaving the broadcast, and you were like, wow, okay, so this is not good at all. Yeah, so uh, thankfully, non-life-threatening, and uh, we, we even have people who were there yesterday. Oh, wow. Top of the hour, we'll be back. More of the Rick and Bubba Show coming up. Thank you for being with us. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Here we go, six minutes past the hour. From uh, the Big Boy Studio, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler all here. Bubba out. Uh, should be back with us on Wednesday uh, as uh, we work through this final hour. We'll see if we can't get in some more of your phone calls, too, coming up this hour. Uh, you can uh, uh, get those opportunities are just around the corner. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, we're continuing to unpack uh, stories from the weekend. Beautiful weather where we live, uh, and as we mentioned way back er, early in the program, our Greg and I, our sister turns 50 this week, and we couldn't be more joyful uh, because you know the only thing better than one of us when we first turned 50 is uh, our sister, a woman oh, yeah. turning 50. That's even more fun, and so we're we're trying to trying to do a family celebration this weekend uh, at the farm, and so that means what prep? You got to prep the farm. And uh, so the weather was beautiful. So I had two two experiences this weekend involving this. One of them is uh, Sherry is this new thing that if Sherry finds something in our house that she doesn't want up in the house anymore, she will just do these piles and say, take that all to camp house. Yep. And then when I say, well, what about the little white house, the she shack? No, I have everything where I wanted in the she shack, and uh, everything is where it should be. There's no adding to it. It's it's decorated, and everything's where it is. 
I said, well, the camp house is, it, it's starting to, to feel less rugged and now kind of becoming a museum of our family's life. I mean, and there's, if it doesn't, if it doesn't have a hunting theme, I, I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why it's there. Yeah. And, and, uh, she said, well, cause it, that you have places to put some of these things that I don't want to do away with, but I, I still won't. And, um, I'm like, okay. And, you know, and it's, um, you know, some of it, I'm just like, I, I mean, y'all are not going to like what we got put on the, in front of the fireplace this weekend. What? A couple of little lanterns or something. Just have, have a yard stuff. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know about this. Chilton uh, County the, trade show? In, in the camp house a lot. About that. In the camp house a lot. And, uh, and she went over to those pictures you did on the yeah. refrigerator. Oh, no. Well, what is this? Uh-oh. And I said, well, the Speedy did those. You blame me? And well, I panicked. And and she said, uh, "Well, well, I mean, you you should have a picture of every one of the kids with the deer up here. This these seem kind of random." They I said, were. I said, "Well, we want you know we want turkeys and deer mm-hmm. and like when you're having your deer, meeting, deer, you deer go, that hey, we, deer that we killed here." That's and that's what you see. She said, "Well, I see a lot of pictures of you with deer." And I said, well, I said, well, I'm not trying to bring attention to myself, but that's just what happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I took them out. I, I tend to take out more deer here than anybody else. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to point anything at me or it's just what happened. And and so. Now she's mad at me. So, so, and they're moving around, a lot of moving around, all, going all through Camp House. And uh, so um, I, I'm like, um, can, why don't, I'm with you, Greg. I'm like, why don't we just, why, couldn't we just do away with that? Don't name mean. Yeah. And. Uh, Donate and, um, and 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 it's like um, you know and just a lot of and I, and I don't I don't know how you say this I said I just feel like you're in here a lot <laughs> and she goes what did you just say oh, I just feel like you're in here a lot I think we should be over at that house over there <laughs> that's a couple house right you know this is camp house yeah. and uh, and so we there's more stuff up at camp house uh, a lot of pictures of the kids starting to show up. Mm. And when they're oh, like, no. like, like when they're little, I mean, <laughs> what's up with that? Well, and we made the mistake. This is this is on me because we did something as a joke, and y'all saw it when we called that back room baby Brody room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because we had an extra portrait of Brody when he was when he was a baby. Yeah. And I just put it up there as a joke, yeah. and then I have that that buck he shot mm-hmm. the antlers that he thought was a doe, and that's when Brody we need Brody need glasses. When when he told me he had accidentally shot a buck trying to shoot a doe, I thought I was going to see a spike with a little bitty, you know, breaking the skin yeah. nubs. And I go over there, and it's like a six point. And I'm like, you need glasses, <laughs> you know. And so uh, so we have that up there, and baby Brody. And we're doing that to embarrass Brody, not that we're opening a door to this. You know, this becomes yeah, some family right, home. Right. You know, and so she goes back there in the twin beds, and she's like putting pictures of the boys up there by their beds and all that. I'm like, baby, I'm I just don't know about this. So, and then I'll go over and click on that thing I've got that, that lights up, that has a deer, and it makes the bird sounds. Oh, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I said, this is a little more Camp House. This is, Camp House is gaudy. Uh, none of it really makes sense. Billy Bass up there it, singing yeah, the it's, fish yeah. thing. It's, it's, yeah, I it's, love that. It's, it's guys. It's you dudes. Have one of those. It's mm-hmm. dudes. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, Bring back so my I said, this kind of comes from that same place that asks, why, how many more deer heads do I need? The, the, no man, there's no. We don't have a number for that. Mm-mm. I don't. It's how many more deer I kill. Well, yeah. it's like, you know, I mean, it's, um, if it's better than the other, yeah, at some point, out. I mean, how many deer heads do you need? I said, baby, every deer head is unique. That's right. They all have that, a story. That deer and that deer are not even the same deer. No, maybe you didn't know that. Very unique. They all have their own story. How they came out right behind me. <laughs> so, uh, so we, so we go through this, Sorry. and we're 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 working to get all this done, and so she says. We go out. She goes, oh, coming up next week, there's going to be rain in the forecast before the party, so you need to load up the wood by the fire pit and then put it in one of your vehicles and just put it inside the barn in the garage so it'll be dry when we get here Saturday and we'll put it back over there. And I was like, mm, that, uh, now that, that sounds like that's going to get in the way of fishing. <laughs> and... Uh, and so she's like, no, we, we, you got to have that done. For, and I'm not going to be able to do that because we need to get back. But you need to come back tomorrow to church. And that's your, you got to, you got to, you got we got to clean this place up and barn did them. And I'm like, uh, it's like you're a kid just standing yeah, there. Yeah. And so I thought to myself, gonna, gonna, I had to get into this mode. So we, we finished church on Sunday. We did all that on Saturday. So now it's just me going. And I walk in, and I put on one of my work shirts. 
I put on some work pants, Carhartt kind of stuff. I said, baby, you enjoy the rest of the day. I'm going to work the land. And she goes, what? We'll move a little wood, get that wood pile for you. Saw a tree down, probably got to deal with it. <laughs> got some work to do. Don't know when I'll be back. Get my electric chainsaw. <laughs> and what I'm thinking is I'm going fishing. Yeah. And, I, and I'll get down there and get some version of this done and then fish. So because um, the fishing, it's, it's time now. Okay. So probably not the first thing she wanted me to do is I got all the rods ready. That probably was not. <laughs> but that well, probably that is important. There, well, we got to have them. Got to have hey, them. How can but we there fish? You were, and there they how were. can we fish if rods they're not wood, ready? Rods wood. I got to put the tables up for the meal. You know, she prefers the L shape. I disagree with that. Uh, but I did it just like she wanted. We're sweeping out the barn. And I look and I see a tree down. And uh, and it's so rotten that unfortunately my electric chainsaw, it, it, it's, it could be problematic. It's hard as a rock. Mm. So I, I pick it up and I, and I connect it to the very vehicle that I will go get wood. And I'm going to drag it off. Oh, and so uh, let's drag this out of the way. So I'm going to be out here by the pond working the land in my work clothes <laughs> and my cap. So I'm pulling it, and, I, and I'm feeling pretty, pretty manly because uh-huh. I'm pulling the tree with a vehicle. Diesel, of course, because I mean business. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel it laboring a little bit, the vehicle. <laughs> and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm now pretty far out in the pasture. Uh, <laughs> Quite a height if this thing doesn't come through for you. <laughs> and um, and, I, and I'm there. working the land. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about even sending her a selfie, you know, of a man working the land. Mm-hmm. Pulling a tree out of the way so it won't be in the way for the party. Yeah. Working the land. <laughs> uh, and it goes dead <laughs> out in the middle of the pasture. Oh, boy. <laughs> dead as a wedge. What? And when I begin to so now you really got the log. In when, the and when I and when I begin to assess the situation, it didn't take long. I simply looked at the gas gauge, oh, or the, or the fuel, oh, and I was out of fuel. So it was. I just didn't check the fuel. You and, got uh, so excited. Working the land. <laughs> and and <it's> so, <laughs> how far walk you got? Oh, in the middle of the pasture. Put it this way: Speedy will go. He'll go less distance on the stress test. Okay, today. there it is. Oh, uh, that's going to be a big one. Now you officially go. Especially with symptoms. Got to walk. And you ever, have you ever when you have these kind of walks in front of you, the stupid things you think of. At one point, like an idiot, I thought, "Tell you what I'll do. I'll walk to the lift kit, go get the fuel, drive the lift kit back out here." Oh, you idiot! Then you still, but now you, you got the to, lift kit you, out you here. Now I got the lift kit out here. There's no way I don't walk this distance twice. Yeah, yeah cool. you're, you're walking. You gotta go no back way. And get it. You're walking. No way. Hmm. And uh, and if, how bad do you get on yourself on stuff like that? No, just stupid. You're I mean, I, I'm yeah, so I'm hollering stupid. Cost, you stupid. So so now this is now taking up daylight. I'm losing daylight uh-huh. now. Because this is this is not which a, means fishing time. Fish is yeah, gone. yeah, yeah. And I still haven't got the wood yet. Oh. And that and now there's things on the list that have to be done. Yeah. Because then I'm then well you didn't yeah. you know she can come down and see it. You're right. And I hey I was my t- at that point if I, if I just simply check the fuel just simply check the fuel you don't have to change you're not changing the carpet around Mm-mm. I mean you're not taking it apart you just you just have the fuel yeah, just, what what are you time. doing you idiot <laughs> this is me talking to myself yeah, right and then all of a sudden you go from testosterone through the roof to just a loser mm-hmm. just an old defeated yep. loser you know and it's usually one of those kind of things where somebody will engage you when you're getting the fuel hey man what's going on and then before so I could said you. had to move a tree now I had to say ran out of gas <laughs> ran out of gas in the middle <laughs> of the night <laughs> ran out of diesel <laughs> I had to hike and go get it while pulling it got through. my cardio in yeah that, you did get your steps in you know when you have work clothes on though they're not designed for a workout <laughs> no, no they're not not a brisk walk <laughs> no <laughs> and that fuel can's always a lot heavier than you thought it'd be. Oh, About yeah. halfway there. Oh, yeah. You're ready, switching hands? Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did, didn't Start get, off, man. You know how much I fished? <laughs> I'd be none. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Debt. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. 20 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. We're back. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Thank you for being with us today. 
Bubba, the birthday celebration. Uh, I know you guys had that over the weekend. We talked about that a little bit, but today the official day for yeah. one of the Rick and Bubba kids. Yeah, my son, Hunter Bussey, uh, 22 today, Rick. How about that? Double deuce, Hunter Buss. Yeah, 22 years since you came to the hospital dressed as a doctor. I did. I did. <laughs> and, doctor. Uh, yep. Uh, of course, I clearly, I clearly had a cartoon ID on there right, just right. Uh, for anyone to notice. Uh, Not got everybody noticed that. But no, Betty most of us did. Betty didn't notice it. Threatened to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I just came in with my gloves. Said, "Let's see how you're progressing." <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, dressed in full doctor suit. Doctor, it was great. Well, it seems like everybody else is. You know. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's like a bus day. Yeah. And the. Uh, <laughs> And Do course, I know you? Yeah. And then sadly on the way out, I gave medical advice to somebody. Yeah. But I did tell them to get a second opinion. So uh, instead of just simply saying I'm just pretending to be a yeah. doctor, I kind of went with it. For a right, bit. right. Well, happy, birthday. I can't remember happy what, birthday, Hunter. Love you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Was it Hunter or Caitlin that you wanted me to get a Frosty for Betty? That was Hunter. It was Hunter? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That was a one request. I want a yeah. fr- I need a you, Frosty you were from coming, You were coming in, you know, kind of after the fact and said, can I bring anything? Yeah. I said, Betty, do you need anything? She said, I want a Frosty. <laughs> You got it. All right, yeah. You, you've done a lot of work. They're yeah, in you a, got it. They're in a position yep. to, uh, to, to yeah. get anything they want at that point, aren't yep. they? Yep. And how about this? I bought it. Now, of course you did. That 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 might have been a modern medical miracle right there. <laughs> 99 cents. 99 cents. <laughs> so, so anyway. A uh, great day. We, yeah. We had, it yeah. was exciting. It was a lot of fun. You know, a little nerve-wracking, but a lot of fun. 22 years ago. Yeah. Wow, that went by fast. It's fun now that it's over and you could enjoy it. Oh, sure. It, you know? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a little unnerving while it's going on for the first one. Right. Yeah. Second time, a little more relaxed. Kind of yeah. knew what to expect. Right, yeah. And you're a business end guy. I don't get that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am too. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I, t- I got down there to take the yeah, snap. Absolutely. <laughs> Call an audible. Well, I was just noticing they're showing the video of Hunter's yeah. celebration of the weekend. Could Betty not find her a big clock? That's got to be that. the biggest clock I've ever seen you know, in my whole life. You know, Betty's, uh, you know, she, she does interior decorating. Right, so. sure. That's you a, know, it's one of them, that's her thing. You yeah, know, so. that's a, it's, it's a let me inspired you. by Flavor Flay. Hey, Greg, look, <laughs> look, right, look right here. If you yeah, ever if you want to, hey, <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> yeah, that's as, so funny. As, as y'all get older, you'll be able to see that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 need your glasses on that one. Yeah. Bubba, I may be wrong. See it from out in the yard. Yeah. It seems like that Lisa and I <clears throat> came by, and Taylor was little. Yes. And he was in his full karate uniform. Yes. I think he did yes. karate. Yeah, we have pictures of that. By the way. <laughs> I see him. My memory's still there. Really? Well, mm-hmm. then, of course, I don't remember that. Yes, he thought he was this karate person. He was making all of it up. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, but, times you get did, so he didn't take real karate. He, just he had, took it. Okay. But, but he would add stuff. Okay. He <laughs> wasn't serious. Well, <laughs> he would add stuff. It is yeah. so strange. He was trying to be a power ranger. You know, <laughs> and all the kids are, are, have grown up, you know, and, and that, you know, as they should, and it's wonderful, but. When I see Taylor, when I see Taylor, and now he is married, has his own child, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I think about him in that car seat and us talking about seeing Christmas lights and him screaming bloody murder, see, that still owns me. (laughs) Or when Rick would act like cocky was coming over and he'd just just terrify him. That's the name of a mascot. uh, uh, Speedy (laughs) set up a meeting with him to to show it was a person. Yeah, one. and I think that was more horrifying than the- <laughs> every time I pass through the square in Jacksonville, Alabama. That because that's where the meeting took yeah, place. I, was, I think about that mm-hmm. moment. <laughs> he was. He, we just thought, okay, here it is. It's gonna, we're going to resolve. Now, this it. is this is what I think of. Yeah, look, now we finally is, we finally get get Taylor <laughs> calmed down that we're not going to see Christmas lights. Well. And and as Greg shuts the door and Rick will announce, who wants to go see Christmas lights? <laughs> <laughs> the key is he would take his head and throw it back in the seat. I'm just and Greg would just look at me like I. Uh, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. Tell you what we're going to do now is go see Christmas lights. At least that's what we're doing. <laughs> Great. I was trying to go to the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all all men now. Yeah. yeah that's that's strange. Yeah. So happy birthday, Hunter Bus. Uh, Gracious. Uh, we have a. Uh, we has got that beard. Going. He yeah. does. He yeah. does. Um, a familiar sound. For those of you that um, listened to um, Rush Limbaugh over the last how many ever years he's been doing it, it's been a long time. 30-something. And, and so we, we always knew this is from the pretenders, my city is gone. And we know that Chrissy Hind is, is a liberal and uh, has never been a huge fan. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. All right, we're back. 
Uh, 22 minutes past the hour. By the way, funny emails. People are asking, why don't you just say, look, King doesn't do that. Oh, I forgot about that. King's not into that. Uh, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having to pick my King moments. Yeah, I should say, you don't need to be yeah, loose with that. To, I, I am stoked. I hope, it all, I hope it all works out, Greg, because that will be a good time. You know, because your, your grandkids have never had a chance to come to the farm. No, they haven't. And, uh, I think and they're at the age now, but most of them, that they'll enjoy it. Hey, tell Greg now if he wants to bring him youngins down there. I mean, <laughs> hey, these things, these work vehicles and these recreational vehicles, and, and they need to learn the difference. Oh, Lord. and I said, Gary, we're talking about little kids that their dads, their dads would ride them around. Yeah, they they got a few years for that. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, I do have one issue though, and that we're gonna have to be so strategic if it all works out, and I think it will. What's that? The little four wheelers don't work anymore. They're not possible. And they're too young for that anyway. Yeah. But what if they see them? Yeah. I almost thought about throwing a blanket over them. <laughs> you know, I mean, because you know how let's little kids. Let's just kid, keep them out, you know out, how little out kid, of that room. Okay, let's just keep them out of that room. But yeah. they're too young for it anyway. I mean, there's nobody old enough to get on one of those. Yeah. yeah. Ellis looks like he's old enough, but he's not. Well, and what we do, and I tell Cherry, it's one of the joys of my kids when they were little. And I think every, if, you have, if you're fortunate enough to have four-wheelers, is to put one in front of you. And ride yeah. them around. Yeah. I just love that. I, I I can't get enough of that. So you know the the, the dads that come, put the sure. kids in there, granddaddy, you whatever, ride them around. Oh yeah. Of course, eventually, you know, the the great uncle have to get involved. Yeah. And then and, and and my my goal is that, that for them to absolutely just love me before they leave. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna win them. I'm picturing me in one of the re, uh, one of the work vehicles, and they're all just piled in there. Oh yeah. And I and they're all singing. You know. Well, you got plenty of things down there that would definitely make sure. Them. You know, it was funny. Your side. You know, one of the things I kept thinking about because we were talking about fishing, and I just thought about Pistol Pace Jones. No, Rick. And I, and I told Sherry, I said he's got to catch a fish early, quick, early, quick. And, and if he misses one, quick, forget it, <laughs> quick. <He's> so, done. <laughs> Ellis, they'll handle it. Won't bother right, right. Right. <laughs> well, Ellis will want to figure out how the how the rods put together. Yeah, exactly. You know, but that's funny. So, uh, so hopefully it's all going to work out, and we'll celebrate. Yeah, Sissy we'll have a great time. Fifty. But uh, five oh, we know that I've got uh, Dino. I've got it all done now, and Ready. all and all the vehicles will be fueled. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah so it's, I just uh, leave them in. How stupid. I mean, what is how? that, Rick? You know what that is? Step one. That's so stupid. That's step one. So stupid. So you uh, ran out of you ran out of gas in the field. Why didn't you take the gas in the truck, go fill it up, and then and then you could just take the truck to get the, the get the cart, and then there you go. Problem solved. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. That 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 idiotic plan actually crept in my mind at one yeah. time. Okay, wait. So yeah, wait, right, I, right, now you, I see the problem. Yeah, that. Yeah. What if you walked first, got the truck? No, okay. no. You need another Anytime person. Anytime the truck's involved, you're truck involved. first. No, the, the only the only okay. hope you don't walk the the the, 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 the <laughs> is you have to have another person. There. Yeah, you're yeah. walking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now that, I see. Do I'm doing the math now. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're walking it. Yeah. Let me tell you where I was. Fire pit. Oh, that's really? a walk. Are you serious? I had to walk away from Florida. Go around oh, yeah. and then. Oh, that was long. It was terrible. <laughs> uh, that's a walk. Got to think about things. Don't <laughs> can. You know, uh, most of the walk included. I didn't realize how many times I could call myself stupid. Well, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, job, apparently man. a lot. You stupid. You uh, what about man. when you feel it going down? You're like, no, 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 no. Nope. And and it's such a mix. It, it, it's such a mix of emotions when you realize it's fuel. You're elated your vehicle didn't have a major problem, but then you feel stupid. It could have been. Avoided. Yeah, you almost yeah. wanted to have a major problem. Yeah. So, so anyway, uh, Speedy's gone for his stress test. Oh boy! So he'll he'll be back t- Rick, tomorrow. You should have done him like you did him. You had him. Worked, Who are you? You had him worked into a frenzy. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, but see, the fact you've had one, you had more clout when you were messing with him mm-hmm. than I did. Mm-hmm. He just thought I was messing with him, which I was. Look, yeah, t- that wasn't what y'all did. That wasn't the right thing to do, what y'all were doing. Uh, uh, y'all, yeah, thank you. Yeah. By the way, ain't nobody. we got no hero in here. Okay, uh, no one's an example of how we should be in here. Okay, you're right. Uh, but the uh, I, I, a minute ago, he was leaving. I said, you gone? He said, I'm going to use the bathroom and go out. And I said, no, I'm going to tell you, it's it's rough, but when you have to do the fireman's carry, <laughs> I said, uh, I said you'll be surprised how big that log is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you, you know, he, ever since he brought it up, I've been. Oh, great. He's worried about it for four or five days. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So, Wendy Williams, speaking of health problems, her, wow. her son now confirms that the TV host has alcohol induced dementia. We mentioned earlier she also has that eye bulging thing. Man, I, that was disease. weird. What I didn't it, even know that was what a is thing. What is that called? Graves disease. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, Bubba yeah. said that uh, Barbara Bush had that. Really? Mm hmm. 
Really? I thought she had something that made her look like 20 years older than she was. Well, okay, well, that's, that, I'm sure that's not what it's called. She was one yeah, of these people right. who never aged, but she looked 80 when she was 40. Right. You she, know what I'm saying? Like she, she, she looked 80 her whole life. She jumped ahead and then stayed there for quite a yes, while. Yes. So says that uh, um, that it, that alcohol, he says, has affected her headspace and her brain. Now, see, I, that part, I watched some of it. You did see she it. is bizarre. But your eyes bulging, and, and she can't help it. Because of that disease, right. but when Why you're don't you talking, remember that? when you're being bizarre and your eyes are bulging because she's saying just crazy stuff, yeah. that's a combo. It's hard. So to the eye with. bulge is not related, but it adds to the situation. Oh yeah, I got you. Scary, but I I, I didn't know that it was alcohol related. No, I didn't know. I, and again, I, I don't know if they said that on the show or not, or is this a, the latest? When did you watch it? It was on over the weekend. I, I watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it, but uh, it, she's bizarro. Well, Greg, she's got she's got issues. And she was very successful. She was in radio for years before yeah. she was ever yeah. on TV. Absolutely, yeah. made a lot of money. Yeah, did well. I didn't. I didn't realize had a deadbeat was... husband. Really? Yeah, he was a good. One. <laughs> <laughs> he did, you know, I'm talking. About he he latched on her and, and oh, okay. Rick, I'm her manager. One of oh, he was a kept man. Yeah, yeah. and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be your manager. Of course, you gotta watch him. Don't let him don't let him get away from your sight too long. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Ended badly. So you're saying that the the problem with a kept husband like him is that your wife's working a lot? Yeah, he had a lot of hand, a time on his hands. He has a lot of free time? Yeah. He didn't handle it well. <laughs> he did. It. That's not sound did like. Did not handle it well. Well, so so I guess that I didn't even realize she was off the air or anything. I didn't, no, know I didn't either yeah, I didn't until this all came out. And then, boy, she blessed, she's way, way wow. gone. Y'all, I'm watching a clip from this. This is horrifying. This is very bad. That's this tough. is sad. Well, no wonder people don't like that people have put it out. Really. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. Y'all are. Is it necessary not, to put this out? Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Her friend asks her, are you excited about the Oscars this weekend? And she says, what's Oscars? Like, she doesn't she doesn't know what anything So you all. made sure we did know that line, even though we didn't want it. Yeah. Bottom of the hour, we'll Thanks, be back. Buddy. Thanks, Adler. That's okay. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Of Rush Limbaugh, but, um, you know, the, you see the, the, the a lot of the artists, they don't want their songs played at Trump rallies, and certainly they wouldn't want Rush Limbaugh to, to play their bed music if they could stop it. And but, uh, but Chrissy Hind never really made a move to keep Rush Limbaugh from using it. Which she, we found strange, and we didn't know why. And she would, uh, you know, obviously not agree with Rush on a lot of things, but it's kind of there's some clarity to it today uh, because she actually gave what they're calling a surprising message to President Trump on Monday, and it says as follows that her father would have been so delighted to hear that the president honored the controversial conservative radio icon Rush Limbaugh with the Presidential Medal of Freedom the nation's highest civilian honor. And uh, she, she wrote an open letter to the president uh, that, um, you know, that she, uh, she let the song be used by Limbaugh, though she did not agree with everything that Limbaugh, uh, you know, believed in. Her father mm-hmm. loved Rush Limbaugh, so she let it ride. How about that? And that her father would have been delighted to see him be honored. For her to congratulate mm-hmm. Trump and him, that's uh, and didn't she <laughs> mention that her father would have enjoyed his presidency? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. she did go that far. She mm-hmm. that, that, that she kind of hated her dad. Never saw that. this was the presidency he had been hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> I can't you know, imagine. Right. So I she's can basically imagine. taking the thing. We don't agree on everything, but that don't make us enemies. You yeah. talking about level headed? Yeah, we yeah. Can actually, that's nice. Mm. Yeah, talk about what things. a pleasant change. Yeah, she said the other day when you gave the award to Rush Limbaugh, my father would have been so delighted. He loved listening to Rush, which is why I allowed my song, My City Was Gone, to be used on his radio show. My father and I didn't always see eye to eye. We argued a lot. Uh, but uh, isn't that the American way? The right to disagree without having your head chopped off. Soon I'll be participating in a protest in London against, uh, for some reason, she's into this Julian Assange thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's not um, about that. And she said, and I know my dad would have been mortified, but I feel strong <laughs> about it. it was, you know what she's saying? You know, it's just, and then she goes on to why she thinks he should be released um, or extradited or, or not be extradited. But uh, she's just saying, isn't, but isn't that really American, uh, yeah. America to say I can, you know, and now she may be in trouble because the, the, a lot of the far left, they don't believe what she believes anymore. They believe if somebody opposes you, you got to destroy them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Um, and you, you know, mean to cancel culture? Right. And you have to, you have to believe what they believe or you'll be, like you said, Bob, be canceled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she said her own father that they didn't agree on everything, but 
she allowed her song to be used because her father liked the show and she knows her father would have enjoyed this presidency and they didn't agree on everything and they argued a lot, but isn't that the American way? We did that without harming each other or worried that we would get our heads chopped off for saying the wrong thing. Pretty level-headed conversation yeah, from, 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 look, I'll have to say, um, I, I bet Chrissy Hine and I don't mm-hmm. agree on a whole lot. but She's I, a big PETA person. Yeah, that's, her mm-hmm. big that's a little weird. What, you know, whatever. Well, but that's her. That's, her that's pro- right. As long as she doesn't expect me to be that way, I'm, yeah. good. I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. She can go off and be concerned about the plight of that, and, and that, that'll be fine. But, again, even PETA themselves, I'd like to ask Chrissy, do you kind of think they've lost their way? They're kind of going weird. You know, when yeah. you start out trying to stop puppy farms and people who abuse animals – you know, I think we all can stay right there. Yeah. I mean, that's I think that's that's to be applauded. But then you get into uh, all this bizarro, you know, animals and humans are the same, or animals are more are, are better people yeah. than than You're flashing people. Bernie Sanders over dairy cows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is still very strange. <laughs> How, when do, when did we start? That one. When did we start flashing Bernie Sanders over dairy cows? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've kind of we've kind of lost our way a little bit here, haven't we? Think about this. Why would they be flashing Bernie? I mean, he probably would be more in their line. Yeah, I, if I you're going to get out and flash, wouldn't you do Trump? I or, know. I don't or, know why they attack Bernie. Yeah. Unless Bernie somehow has come out as pro dairy farmer. I, I didn't know he was. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, that's that's one of the weirder protests we've seen in a while. Yeah. Phone calls coming in next. Any topic you want to talk about, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Teachers, don't forget, read across America, Rick and Bubba's world's largest classroom coming Monday, March 2nd. If you'd like for your classroom to be part of that, then go to rickandbubba.com under events. Look at March 2nd and then just follow the, the steps there. We'll come back. Your phone calls are next. We go phone trolling at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And Bubba's show back. No Bubba for the rest of today and likely out tomorrow, but uh, back, uh, Lord willing, on Wednesday. A field of greens. I love, love, love getting the emails on field of greens. Now, some of you have been asking me about the different flavors, uh, and they they really have some great ones. Uh, It's a variety of flavors. Now, I will tell you that the original I can put in a blender, which is key, uh, put in a blender uh, with just water, and it's fine to me. Now, if you're somebody that uh, you would like to have a, a something that has a little different taste, you can. Uh, none of them taste like some of these old green drinks that people tried in the past, you know, that were like, you know, felt like you were drinking grass. None of them are like that. But they do have some new flavors. Uh, wild berry, uh, strawberry lemonade, lemon lime. They're, they're, all, they're all new. Uh, Sherry and I have tried... The wild berry, she actually prefers that. So there you go. I, I, I do the original. I've had the strawberry lemonade. It's good. I uh, haven't had the lemon lime, but uh, these are available, uh, and uh, you can get these by going to fieldofgreens.com. It really doesn't matter what the flavor that you like. What really matters is what this product is doing, uh, nutrition the way nature intended. I, a clean energy, I've noticed uh, that. Uh, the the help with the immune system through all the cold and flu seasons, uh, it's it's been amazing. Things that uh, normally for me before field of greens are like yeah I always get a little sick during this time of year or whatever, it just hasn't happened. Uh, healthier hair, skin, uh, you can see that. Uh, and and let me tell you, if you have not gotten yours yet, uh, when when they are telling you the one hundred percent money back guarantee, if for any reason you don't like it. They'll give you 100% of your money back. Uh, and uh, and if you're a fan of this show, which we thank you for that, we can get you free rush shipping at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba, and we get you 15% off. Uh, all of these vegetables, these super vegetables and super fruits, are hand-picked, scientifically proven 
to help your body's major organs. And you will see a difference. Your doctors will see a difference. So go to fieldofgreens.com. If you have any other questions about the product, let me know. Or you can go to rickandbubba.com right there under the sponsors button. So the ongoing war uh, with Ukraine and Russia, by the way, that's still going. Yeah, uh, we've got to. For what we can gather, pretty funny Babylon Bee a few days ago. Some of you may have seen it. Uh, headline, awkward. Putin and Zelensky both show up at the same Biden rally. That's that. funny. That's funny. That's a good one right there. Uh, so what's really going on, we don't really know. Uh, I, I, you know, in the beginning, it seemed like a pretty simple narrative. Horrible, evil Russia tries to overtake innocent uh, Ukraine. As time has gone on, it seems to just be getting, you know, this, this whole obsession with Zelensky for a while was weird to me. Uh, you know, it, became, it was a, it was a little bit of it just seemed to be we, we elevated oh, him without asking superstar. any questions whatsoever. But now he, Zelensky is uh, is on MSNBC and people are trying to suggest that he's high. High? Uh, uh, yeah. That, like on drugs or he something. Been hitting or, so many or maybe he'd been you know, smoked one of those good ones. I, I don't know. He still looks got like, that style shirt. He's always got. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's been hanging out with Henry the Horse smoke, uh, snorting that green stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, so, so here we go. And you can this see I just returned he's just fidgety. Along the front line. In he's the sniffling. And, in the and soldiers there told me they have to ration their He's ammunition. kind of jittery. They don't have enough weapons to advance. They can only defend themselves. In some cases, they're losing sniffing. territory. Mm -hmm. It's like Hunter Biden. What happens huh. to your country? if this American aid doesn't arrive. We will lose a lot of people. We will lose territories. I understand why they don't let him speak very much, by the way. This <laughs> <laughs> bad sounds better. Uh, evil sounds yeah, I don't know. I, I can't make a call on whether he's really, I mean, like I say, he could just be listening to the translation in his earpiece and be confused. Yeah, I, I, it's I, I, hard yeah. to go. H hard to make that call. Uh, but, uh, but I, you know, this, you're assuming a lot. I don't know. I, I don't know why I don't trust this guy, but I just don't. I know from the beginning, it's been a weird feeling. Right. There it is. I said it. Uh, but I don't know what the end game is here. I, I understand the, uh, you know, you, you don't want Russia to, you know, there's a, there, the new narrative is that Russia can win this. They're just piddling around and, and not, um, because they know it's hurting us financially. I, I don't know. Uh, but but there you go. What um, what weirded me out the most was when we you had people in in D.C. asking for billions and billions and billions of dollars, but then Republicans say, "Well, what is the goal, though? What is the goal for this billions of dollars? What what's the end? How do we yeah. win this?" Yeah. yeah, and they didn't have an answer. So that to me just, just said, "Oh, we're just this is about money. This is about um, yeah, the military industrial complex wanting more money." Well, no doubt you want to say, I don't mind investing, but I'd like to know what the game plan is and how we get to, you know, Russia being turned back in a Ukrainian victory. Um, you know, if, if certainly you would say of the two, I, I think that's what I would prefer. Uh, but you got to have a game plan to actually accomplish that. And um, I, I think we're in a position, it feels like to me, that we want to look like we're doing something, uh, but what we're doing doesn't appear to be all that effective, but yet that's better than not do anything. Because if we don't do anything, then Russia will will grab this ground, and then 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 what happens when they go to a NATO country? You go, yeah, I got you, but is is money infinity? Do we? Yeah. Is there ever a point where you know we can't afford it? You, uh, you know, progress. Yeah, what, what I, I, I don't know. What's it I, going I really to? CNN making a difference. CNN's Caitlin Collins asked Zelensky. Um, how would Trump deal with all this? Okay. And um, Zelensky seems a lot more calm. He doesn't seem as pale and sniffly and jittery as he did in that last segment, but he also kind of gave some info about that, if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, I hear you. Donald Trump appears that he is on the verge of becoming the Republican nominee for president. The last time I interviewed him, he refused to say if he wanted Ukraine or Russia to win this war. Are you prepared for him to be reelected? The decision who will be the president, decision of your society. But one moment. I hope it's not. I hope it's. It will not be so. But this way. But but anyway. So if 
uh, Donald Trump doesn't doesn't know whom he will support, Ukraine or Russia. I think that he will have challenges with his society because to support Russia, it means be against Americans. Yeah, well, that, that's but that's a CNN reporter trying to set Donald Trump up. That's not exactly the choice he's making. What he, yeah. what, the reason why he wasn't going to commit to that is he's like, I'll have to get in here and, and look at the situation, see where we are, and is what we're doing the best way to what the best way to accomplish the goals? And um, you know, I, I think he's reading. He needed to say, "Well, I'm, I'm going to be pro Russian." Right. Yeah. I don't know if I am or not, but I could be. Right. That's yeah. the way she portrayed it. Yeah. Right. And, and that's that's really not what what Trump was saying. Trump, Absolutely. True. Trump is not going to answer hypotheticals because they're hypotheticals. Uh, you know, when I get in, I need to see what's actually going on. Yeah, and that was the interview where Trump said, I just want people to stop dying. Yeah, right. I just want people to stop dying. <laughs> right. Which Trump? I thought was a great answer. Right. I, I thought that was a pretty good answer. Of course, kind of hard to achieve that goal. Uh, if, um, you know, it, it looks like people are going to continue to be killed no matter what happens. I think the thing that all Americans, well, not all, but a lot of people would like is just somebody to say, and I, and I assume they are, we're, we're vetting all this out. This is the game plan. Here's how it's going. Here's why it's important. And, and to keep, you know, every time you're in a leadership position, you always have to be able to communicate to the people that you're in leadership over what you're doing and why you're doing it. Uh, and, and usually, if you do that and your case is a good one, you find yourself being questioned a lot less. You know, and, and so I don't know. Uh, it's it's just one of those things that well, I tell you what I think Americans are growing tired of. We're going to continue to throw money at this and don't ask us questions, because if you do, you hate Ukraine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think everybody's tired of that. Yeah, I, I think everybody's sick of funding, fun, funding, uh, funding endless wars. And Trump, I've said it before, Trump is the first president in my lifetime to not start a new war. The first one in my entire life. Trump did not start a new war. Also, for everybody saying that Trump is a huge buddy of Putin's and all this stuff, Putin invaded Crimea during the Obama administration. Putin didn't do anything during the Trump administration, and then during Biden, he starts this war in Ukraine. So that doesn't add up. What everybody is saying about them being buddy-buddy, that does not make any sense. Yeah, you know, Reagan taught us peace uh, through strength, and, and I think when we have strong leaders, our enemies don't behave the way they do when they think we don't. Oh, no doubt When about they it. think we have weak leaders. Yeah, and yeah. believe me. Yeah, yeah. We'll be back 15 minutes to the top of the hour. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. We'll come back. We'll hit any stories that we might have missed, uh, see if we can't squeeze uh, some phone calls out of you as well. Uh, if you so desire, 866, we be big. We'll wrap up this hour when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We're going to get you six minutes past the hour. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler, team Rick and Bubba all on the field this hour. Also, we've got uh, interns in Rick and Bubba University. As they're banging out a degree in common sense. Common sense, of course, now a superpower. Uh, we have Happy Gilmore and Stretch Armstrong, our Rick and Bubba University students today. I'm Professor Rick, and welcome back, Professor Bussy. Bussy, glad to be here, Rick, and thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba experience. Bubba, the the Bachelor, the latest series has uh, has, uh, and it's been out a while, but this latest one has has uh, garnered a little interest. Uh, because uh, you um, are, are acquaintances with uh, the uh, the family, one of the families is represented, and it's tied uh, to Auburn, Alabama, uh, and Auburn University. Where, you mean Team Matty P, Rick? Uh, yeah, is that they, what you're talking they, about? Talking about is that it? Team yep. Matty P. Yep. And um, and so we uh, obviously have um, kids who graduated from Auburn are currently attending Auburn, uh, and uh, I know that you and uh, Coach Bruce Pearl are Lake buddies. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, coach. Hey, hey, coach. Hey, coach. Hey, coach. Hey, coach. Hey, Lake Martin. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, so you started sending out a, a text that uh, w- that you thought that this was about to be featured last night, and and when I dialed over, I thought I was going to see you know a 
a TV show uh, about some, you know, looking for love and all this. And when I turned it on, Coach Bruce Pearl was doing a recruiting video. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, we have the master promoter on the line hey, now, Rick. What's Coach, up? hey, go, hey, go. Hey guys, War Eagle, and good morning. <laughs> Coach, I, I get so I, I just laugh when I look online and I see what people are saying, and one of them basically said only Bruce Pearl <laughs> could get on primetime TV on a highly rated show and basically do a recruiting video. Well done, <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I I heard from my mom and dad, uh, and 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 I finally made it. I, I made it on The Bachelor all these years of work, coaching, and doing everything, being on ESPN. All of it pales in comparison to a five-minute cameo on The Bachelor. I know. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's so funny. My wife didn't – she was a little confused. So the first thing we saw when we turned over was you. Mm-hmm. And she said, well, he doesn't look like the way I thought he would. I said, who are you talking about? She goes, The Bachelor. <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and, and I said, no, that's not The Bachelor. That's Coach Pearl. <laughs> he seems a little old for this. Well, Hey, you know, I, I think I think there there were a lot of really cool things about that uh, series segment, and I think the fact that Madison, you know, wanted you know Auburn to be featured, wanted wanted Auburn basketball to be that story to be told about her dad, and 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 how much Auburn Arena and and everything you know kind of meant to her and to her family, and then, and then obviously um, you know the Pruitts controlled the story. The, the, the television producers or anybody else in creative, uh, they didn't tell the story they wanted to tell. Uh, the Pruitts told the story they wanted to tell about family, about God first, about prayer, about priorities, um, you know, about what love is supposed to be. And I was so proud of them. Of course, you know, completely not surprised. And Bubba, you, you know them really well. And, 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 and you know, what, a, what an amazing family they truly are. I I keep sitting there though, boy. It's just tough being a dad, and I I keep trying to put myself in Chad's position. How hard that must be to sit at home and watch, even though she's doing a great job. Yeah. It's still a difficult yeah. situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I think I think, listen. It, it it it's entertainment, okay, and um and obviously you know for Madison and 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 whatever her career is going to be, whatever her professional life's going to be, you know the experience, the opportunity you know, travel and, and do different things and meet different people. And, you know, who knows what it does uh, or if it does anything, you know, for her and, 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 and for her future. But the bottom line is, you know, she she's approaching it just like you would expect her to approach it. You know, uh, excited, um, but but cautious, proceeding cautiously. And, and, and there are going to there are there are going to be things uh, about it that a Christian family would be concerned about. And she's concerned about them, right. and I think that's playing out right in front of you know everybody's eyes. And hey, coach, you had a little uh, cameo from uh, Charles Barkley last night. Did you did you make that call? How did uh, how did all that go down? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean Charles Charles is willing to do anything. <laughs> you know, I mean he, <laughs> I mean he's such a great he's such a great volunteer and hey, he's right. such a great Auburn man. And you know, he just thought it was cool. You know, to you know to you know, typically when you when you got to go after. A, uh, 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 an athlete or somebody prominent like that. They're like. Uh, we're back. Nine minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba show no Bubba today, likely no Bubba tomorrow, uh, but Lord willing, back on Wednesday. All right, so the XFL, uh, as we know, has combined with the USFL, right? And then this spring we have the UFL, yes. United Football League. They're well, united, Rick. Yeah, as, as we have uh, noticed... Uh, throughout uh, these spring uh, leagues, the NFL, when they see that they're doing something that they think is a good idea, they consider it. As a matter of fact, it was the XFL, the first one, back when we were play-by-play for the Birmingham Bolts, uh, which was a thrill a minute if you didn't get to hear that broadcast. But um, 
they the NFL loved the the camera that was on the on the wire that was you know giving us shots all over the field in yeah. the huddle, all of that, and they actually adopted that. Well, it looks like that the NFL is going to consider the XFL kickoff rule change during the 2024 season. Uh, now, I didn't watch much of the XFL. I saw the documentary on it, so I really didn't know what they were talking about. But they're talking about the XFL, the kicker lines up at his own 30-yard line, and the other 10 members of the kickoff team line up at the opponent's 35-yard line, five yards away from the returning team's blockers. Yeah. And then the kicker and one returner are the only players allowed to move before the ball is touched. So they're going, the collisions are not as bad because they're closer together. Basically. Right. So you still have a fielded kick, and you still have people playing defense and blocking and tackling, but we're not running at each other wide open. Yes, so that the collisions aren't near as bad. Because it feels like now, the way the kickers all kick it out of the end zone, it's almost like we don't really have very many returns anyway. I was going to say, do we even they, need a kickoff? You I mean, really don't. I, is it that big of a – I know it's exciting to get the game and, you know, everybody's going. Sure. But at the same time, I wasn't sure what, if I wanted to do roll or War Eagle, yeah, I and I, I knew I would get in trouble either yeah, way. Rah, rah, rah. And so I just kind of – Just made one up. Just made one up. Because but, even now, they can fair catch it and yeah. get it on 25, yeah. even if they're, you know, inside the 10. But can't we do the same thing if we just start on the 20? I agree. Yeah. I mean, I hate to take away somebody. You know, we got special team players, you yeah. got kickers, but. Where are you on this idea? I don't really care. Five. I mean, do you see the picture? I think no. that's. Uh, I mean, it's it, kind of close. It, it's it close. Bad. Real close. Greg, it's me and you yeah, right here. Really like, we're five years, close yards than I apart. It was, right here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Are, are we that? I don't think it make or break how successful this it goes or yeah. is. Um, but so, different, so yeah. Well, there whatever. You go. So, so I mean, it, that, I'm not that, going. That's one thing to consider. Um, yeah, Greg, you being the music person, yeah. So we just talked about the new, you know, documentary is out. The one night in pop, or the biggest night in pop, oh, yeah. or yeah, about yeah. about the We Are the World recording, mm-hmm. you know, and bringing all these artists in. We and, are. and everybody doing We Are the World and what that was like. It's a really good documentary if you haven't seen. Oh, it's it. great. Uh, but Lost, now, I, re- now right. I remember that the Europeans did. Do they know it's Christmas at all? They actually That's, did theirs first. Yes, and we of the world copied that. And Rick, don't forget about when the '80s metal. That's bands. where I was going. Oh, okay, go ahead. No, no, there's more. But you, I was going to say, do you remember the metal bands? Stars. What, what was that stars. one called? We are stars. We are stars, and that was all metal bands. Yeah, headed up by Ronnie James Dio. Do you remember that the Canadians did one? Did not. Did you? So it would have been. Well, let me guess. Brian, Cana- a- Brian Adams, Lover Boy. Trying to think of Canadian artist that we would know. Uh, what's his name? Getty Lee from Rush. Okay, I believe okay. is in here. Y'all, I, this is this showed up in my feed the Did other day. Did we go day. way back, Glass Tiger? And I'm like, what Greg. in the world is this? The name of the song was Tear, there's, there's Tears. Tears are not enough. Tears are not enough. And, the name and these are all the Canadian song. artists. Yes. Oh, is that Anne Murray right there? Remember her? We are I Canada. Do remember. So I do see Mike Reno oh. from Loverboy back there before he got fat. Yeah, yeah, Mike. And they're touring a lot lately, but Mike's, Mike's put on. Still heavy? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you all want to hear the we, 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 are, we Are the World Canada yeah. version? Can you can you play it? I say we just go for it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's hear it. Uh, yeah, I doubt anybody's going to care. Get it. Neil Young. Neil Young's Canadian. I forgot that. I did not know that. It's not as many. Is that Joni Mitchell? Yes, it's Joni Mitchell. Who's that? Who's that person? Not sure. I think that was Brittany Griner. <laughs> Are you getting? Sure what that is. Mike Reno, we got fat. <laughs> okay. That's not okay. very good. Y'all. That's okay. not great. Y'all. That's not great. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> that uh 
There may be a reason we don't remember that one, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest. We are stars. I mean, it, it was. I really thought when we said this is the reason, one of the reasons I wanted it, because I thought, okay, I'm about to see something pretty special that I've never seen before. That's funny. And, Adler, and give us wow, some wear stars. that was not any good at all. Good. We we are just, some good. It's just called We Are Star. I've never heard Isn't of that. It what? It? We Are Stars it was metal. All, it was all metal bands. Yes, Ronnie James Dio. Was it, and it was for fundraising, too? Yes, it, yeah, was, it was just because, like it you was know, the metal version. Yeah, you know how concerned metal artists are of, about starving children all over the world. Absolutely, they're known for it. Right. So, Y'all uh, don't remember, we are star. No, I I've know. never heard oh, of that in my hey, life. Great Greg. solos. You think it ain't got some good guitar solos? Excellent. Oh, I'm sure it does. But I, I was kind of like Helmsy on the Canadian thing. I thought, well, here's a little pearl I missed. Yeah. But guess what? Y'all were in great. I was excited. I was like, okay, this would be. <laughs> oh, Brian Adams. Yeah. Yeah, there was no mm. pearl there. You want a weird story? Here we go. Since we're on the Canadian bands. Yeah. I don't know how I heard this. All right. You know, Lover Boys back to her, and, and they were talking about the members of the band that were actually original. The original bass player's not here. You know why? He got lost at sea. No. Yes. He was a, he was a big boat guy, and they got in a storm, and they, they said he was up there on the wheel. All of a sudden, they look, and he's gone, swooped over the side, and nobody ever saw him again. Goodness. Wait a minute. The original basis of Loverboy is not with the current lineup because he was lost at sea? Yes. That's an awful There's your story. trivia question. I did not know I that. found stars. Uh, that's terrible, Greg. I'm sorry, but there I, I was is. looking for stars while we were talking about oh, that. Yeah. Here, here, it's got Ronnie James Dio. Oh, yeah. It's got the guy from, uh, I mean, it's got a bunch of people. Did you know this one, Adler? No, I've never Helms? heard of it. Oh, look at the crowd. Oh, there's Kevin DeBro from Quiet Ryan. We can be strong. We I think that's the guy from uh, Blue Oyster Cult. I like oh, that wow. better than that last one we played. Look, oh, it's they're a great just, song. They're, it's We Are the World, but metal version. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I, I will have to agree with y'all. I There's think, I, think I, like the, I think I like that better oh, than Canada. it's a great song. Than, you got to hear the solos. Than Canada. You kidding me? Wow, so I had... And, I like uh, it better than We Are the World. Dio, Greg, <laughs> Judas Priest, Quiet Riot. Oh, they got them Queens all. Everybody's Riot, here. Dawkin. How did you miss that, Adam? I didn't know about this. We are stars. <laughs> wow. They shred too, Adler. Oh, I'm going to check it out. Ingway Mom's thing. Uh, top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.